Thank you again for spawning in. All the animals in the back, appreciate it. Always love seeing everyone uh, do that. Oh my god, yo, Anth, what the heck? Thank you so much for the 34 months. Thank you so much, holy crap. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me go here and put out some buns in the chat. Oh my gosh. Your Renaissance finals on the way? Nice, wait, is, th I thought, did you, is that another one that you got? Or, oh, was it the CD that you got earlier last time? But that's exciting, Tux. I, um, I know my Persona final box set is supposed to arrive soon, too. Also, Nightywing, thank you so much for the 59 months as well. Oh my god, thank you. Oh, I see, because they had originally sold out. Gotcha. Panic Simmer, thanks for the 45 months as well. <laughs> Holy crap. Thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you for kicking off the hype train. Unruthful, oh my god, for five years. Holy shit. Thank you so much, Unruthful, for the five years. And Gracie Grace for the 37 months as well. Oh my god. Thank you all so much. Damn. Oh my god, that is so many... Big resubs, back to back to back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But I've been playing a lot of Coral Island these past couple of days. Um, even though it's in early access and a lot of the uh, stuff isn't added to the game yet, there's still been a pretty decent enough to check out. We got our first cow yesterday, big, big deal. We also have made it to summer officially. We're on the second day of summer now. And um, what else have we done? We've decorated our farm a little bit, kind of. We have like a very basic layout going. So finally got around to kind of just doing that a little bit. And um, yeah, that's basically been what we've been up to over here. So I'm gonna go this way and then we will go ahead and uh, get back into the swing of things. Let me get the uh, Animal Crossing music queued up just in case I need to rely on that later on. And then we'll go over here. Okay. So, oh, that's right. It's raining today, which is great. So that is fantastic. Let's go out here. And um, we have one of this. So the bronze kelp essence, I really like this about the game, being able to go deep sea diving to get bronze kelp and silver kelp, and then using it to upgrade your seeds and trees and everything. So like actually using the science laboratory to improve your farm is really sick. Also, Travi, thank you for the 22 months as well. Thank you so much. So all of that's good to go. Um, I did go fishing uh, yesterday for a bit and I was able to make a little bit more money. Ordered sushi after building your chair. Oh, nice. Oh my God. Fantastic. Uh, what makes it different from Stardew Valley? Oh, well, you can go deep sea diving in this one, which is really fun, like I just mentioned. And you can upgrade your seeds that way, which is really cool. Uh, we're going to be going back to doing some deep sea diving soon, but I need to... So when you go deep sea diving, there's a bunch of, like, turtles and stuff. And the turtles have different requests for you. So sometimes they'll be like, oh, like, I want a bronze quality potato. Or I want... Uh, in this case, they want large... Uh, bronze milk. So in order to do that, I have to raise my relationship with my animals here. Um, so the romance scene is going to be added later on. But yes, I am going after specifically Raphael. So I like that you can sort by favorites, Big actually. Boobs. So here I have what? Raphael, which is great. Um, um, shall... Anyways, so... <laughs> thank you for redeeming the big boobs. Because right now, I think you can get them up. Well, I, you might be able to go past all the way to like, I don't know if you can go past five hearts, but in the game currently, I think the characters have up to their four heart event. And later, as the updates keep coming out, they're going to add five heart events, six heart events. Eventually, they're going to add marriage and children into the game as part of their roadmap for full release. Uh, multiplayer is going to come in full release too. So yeah, in the like the first initial update, it's gonna be like early like feedback with bug fixes, optimization, quality of life, um, and then the, the next update will be the tree planting festival, five hearts for all NPCs, wildlife animals, um, outfits for different NPCs. After that, they're gonna put the pet festival, summer outfits, the wind gate mining area because the mining has different elements. So right now we have access to earth and water. And um, we'll eventually get access to wind. And that update, when we get wind, we'll also get the six hearts for all the NPCs and the next batch of story in the town. 
After that will come the Merfolk update. So right now you can go diving and underwater right now. Um, you can kind of see all these like Merfolk villages and stuff, but um, you, you can't interact with the Merfolk just yet because they haven't been added into early access just yet, but they will be. Um, and then after that, they're going to be adding in the Spooky Festival for fall, uh, all the fall outfits, the Seven Heart events for all NPCs. There's going to be a new area that you can access called the Deep Forest. I think we've seen a hint of it towards the north part of town. Um, and on all of these, I'm also kind of going over it, but they're going to keep adding more clothing and decor. After the Spooky Festival, they're going to add the Winter Fair Festival with the winter outfits, the third part of the story quest, adoptable pets, more decor. Uh, then for after they're done with the seasons, it's the end game update. So that's when they're going to add in Firegate. So that's going to be the last mining shaft, the eight heart events for all NPCs. Uh, you can go diving into the ocean even deeper, which is kind of wild because we've been exploring the ocean for like quite a bit. And the ocean already is pretty massive, but there's going to be deep sea diving. Uh, after end game update will be marriage and children. So that's finally when you can like settle down with NPCs. You'll get the 10 heart event, marriage, children. Uh, children will actually have portraits and dialogue. You actually get to see them grow up um, even more so than Stardew, I believe. So I, you'll see them as babies, toddlers, children, maybe I'm not sure about teens, but the, they do have a system in place where they are going to grow up as time goes on. And then after all that's done, this is like going to be next year stuff. Uh, this 1.0 update, that's like official release that will have the Merfolk NPC, the Merfolk Festival, Spooky Day Outfits, a tourist system, um, Founders Hall, and then after that will be mod support, multiplayer up to four people, uh, update with kids growing up, and update on island hopping. So because the Kickstarter has been back so much, you're actually going to be able to visit surrounding islands and also interact with that stuff too. So think of it, this game is very much like um, a lot of influence, definitely from Stardew, Harvest Moon, Animal Crossing, Rune Factory. It's like takes all the goodness of all these life sim and farm sim games and kind of combines it into this one unique package. And I can't compare this game to anything else with like the diving stuff, really. I mean, I know there's like, I guess like Subnautica, but like Subnautica, that's completely different. You know what I mean? I'm like trying to think like... I've never really played a game where I kind of just go diving into the ocean and get a bunch of stuff and resources in a farm sim. So that's what I've been really liking. And that's why I've been putting such a huge emphasis on trying to get deeper into the ocean because I was like trying to just focus on the ocean, but it has this synergy that goes with the farming. And like I mentioned, you get resources from the ocean to give to the science laboratory, to the scientists there. They'll take the resources you get from the ocean to benefit your farm as well. So yeah, it's pretty great. Yeah, my time in Porsche. That's another one. There's just so many. I I mentioned I, I've compared it to that multiple times in the past too. There's just there's too many to list off at the top of my head. But yeah, if you like farm sim games, you'll like this game. It's a good game. I've already logged in like 30 hours into it. I really really like it. It's super super good. Diamond Simulator flopped. <laughs> it's true. I'm sorry. Who is she? I don't know her. All right. I only know Coral Island, obviously. Well, I need to put this back over here and bring this this way here. I almost imagine if I just blew up my entire fucking house. That would have been great. Um, so I'm trying to save up money for some seeds right now. I did uh, plant some blueberries. I planted some chili peppers, uh, bell peppers. So I'm going to go get... Hopefully the store is open today. Is it open? Let's see. The store is open at 9. Okay, good, 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 good. So we'll go over there in a moment and we will go get some more seeds for sure. What did you name that chest with the Oh, it's because I don't know how to spell forgeables without looking it up. And I my game did crash like once <laughs> in the like 20, 30 hours that I've played. Um here, let me do this. Or or oh my god, hold on. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, let me catch up with chat real quick. Sorry. Um let me go this way. Yeah, me too, Benita. I really, really like that too. Forageables. Okay, there we go. Period. We know how to spell. All right. Aquila and the bee. More like arcade and the bee, bitch. I'm going to take the trophy. Watch out. I should go around town and go and pick up some more things. Because there's like new flowers and stuff I can pick up. There's like white hibiscus and um, there's some other seed that's around here too. Oh, bye. Okay, there's also new bugs that I can catch and whatnot as well. I went fishing for a while last night, 
before I ended stream. Oh, there's Cosmos too. Nice. That looks like how uh, Polish people say forage. I should ask my Polish friend if that's how you spell it. Oh, the, I um, my my milk chest or whatever is just called Moo in all caps. Ooh, I got a new beetle. Hell yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is where like for Animal Crossing, this is kind of where it comes into me, where you can go around catching bugs and stuff, and uh, you can actually sell them for a pretty decent amount of coins actually. Let's go here. My milk chest for my cow. Hello. Where I store all my milk. <laughs> what do you mean? Here you go. Got a new beetle in here. Uh, our museum is currently getting an expansion too, which I'm very, very excited about because uh, it's already a very big museum. But yeah, we've started a, a pick starter campaign in the game with Scott and uh, we've got a lot of backers already. So uh, the campaign's running for a week. So later this week, we should probably see that. And uh, yeah, we're shirtless for summer. It's raining. I don't have my shirt on me in my inventory, so <laughs> I, but it's all good. We wore a shirt for all of spring, so I feel like I'm rewarded uh, to go around town shirtless again. So these are the birthdays for the month. Valentina's birthday is tomorrow. All right. Um, let me go to the beach because I need to go get more shells and stuff. And I've uh, got 18 out of 20 coral sites at the moment. So I just, yeah, I need to get the bronze quality milk first before I can go down further. Yeah, calendar's fixed. Just say you hate shirts. I hate them. They're the worst. All right. Uh, Raphael, I know. Well, I, I can't wait for when the patch drops where the outfits get implemented for the different seasons. Because if you go here, you can see that like every single NPC here will have four outfits. Um, right now, though, it's not implemented just yet. So... You just see their spring outfits for the moment, but they have shown previews of what all the other outfits are going to look like. And Raphael wears like a white tank top and shows his muscles for all of summer. So summer already will be my favorite season in the game. I hate summer in real life, but in Coral Island, it'll be my favorite for sure. Let's go up um, over this way because there's some stuff that we can get over here too. Oh my God, hi. Uh, geez, I can't even get fresh air out here without taking a mouthful of water. Is this how fish feel? I feel sticky. Oh! <laughs> Hi, Leah. I try to take pictures with daisies in the background. They get a lot of likes, but I won't take any with that patchy grass. So shabby. I appreciate that you work hard, Andrew, but my advice, you can still look after your appearance. <laughs> oh my god. Here, um, I'm going to give you this. Do you like this? I don't know. Aw, oh, thanks. You're so sweet. Oh my god. I guess that'll... Oh, I got a f another catfish. Nice. Yeah, I like how that this game, uh, it feels very modern in the sense that, you know, we have things like launching the Kickstarter parody campaigns. We have a parody of the Conan O'Brien show and like all these like uh, Gordon Ramsay and there's like Final Fantasy references in this game. There's references to Harvest Moon. A lot of pop culture in this game. There's a Spongebob reference apparently someone was saying. I haven't bumped into that just yet. Uh, and also the fact that they're an influencer and they're like taking stuff for lots of likes and everything and yeah, that, I that's pretty fun. I like that they get to explore that in this game. Welcome on in, Alpha. Did I hear a sticky? You sure did. Where's the RE reference? I know. That's what we need. I, I'm gonna... Uh, fund this uh, Ariana Digital Concert 2.0 in Core Island. That's what I'm going to do. Let's go here. Are Scott and Alice siblings? Um, Let me see. Do they live together? Actually, I'm not positive. I do not know. There, there are, There is a lot of like familial, uh, like family connections in this game. So they might be. I'm, I honestly can't remember. Let's go in here. Yeah, Alice and Suki are sisters. Raphael and Pablo are brothers. Uh... And then they are related to, like, Valentina is their niece. And they're, so, yeah, they, there's a lot of connections in the town, for sure. Let me go here. Okay, so, I was looking at Scott yesterday, and I think he's probably related to, like, Suki and Alice as well. Let me go get nine of these. Okay, we got hot pepper, blueberries. Ooh, starfruit seeds. Okay, let's get some of, uh, some wheat get some of the more affordable ones we can get flowers oh let's do sunflowers oh, eight days oh wait this is five days no let's do this first actually we'll do sunflowers next i only need eight of these because the scarecrow's in the middle 
So we got corn, wheat, um, these flower seeds. We already have some radishes. We can get more if we want to, but... Oh, tomatoes grows in 10 days. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's get nine of those. And then... Grows in 13 days, nine days. Uh, 12 days. Gotcha. Uh, maybe I can grow two batches of flowers. That way I get more honey to make, I guess. Or... Hmm. What's they're all so expensive? <laughs> all right, I'll try to get as many star fruit seeds as I can. That's 13 days though. Damn it. Oh my god. No, I, need, I need well, no, we can go fishing for money. The, the fishing actually was kind of profitable, it wasn't too bad. I found a pretty decent fishing spot. I was having pretty bad luck with it initially, but um, I've got much better luck with it. Okay, we, we got some more stuff to plant, that'll do, and then we can come back tomorrow for some more once we get some more money. So that'll be fine. <laughs> Literally, that's uh, that's what we really need in the world, AJ. Truly. Let's go back down to the farm. That way we can plant this stuff. And then I might go to the mines, maybe. Or no, it's we could go fishing, actually, a, a bit. It's probably not the most exciting thing to do right off the bat in stream. But, I mean, I, I could go and get some more money for tomorrow to get even more seeds. Because, um, as you can see, it takes a long time for a lot of these to grow. So, okay, let me get um, my trash out. I need to turn this into compost so I can make more fertilizer. So, let me go this way. And then throw this into this machine to make more compost. And then let me craft some more fertilizer. Okay, we got 50. Let's see. We got the hoe out already. Good, 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 good. Okay. Let's go here. This is our little farm area that we got here. This is where I'm with my flowers. So actually, let me decide where, what goes where. We'll put corn here. We'll put these flowers this way. Um, the star fruit can go here. Then wheat can go this way. And then the tomatoes can go this way. Okay, so I actually only need a couple more seeds, actually. Go this, do that. All right, very good. And then let's get fertilizer um, for sure on the tomatoes because these continue to grow. So I can't really like, get rid of those afterwards. I think all these other ones are one time or actually the corn also I think keeps giving. So we'll go with that. Uh, we should have actually enough. I, I don't need to necessarily worry about it. Let's go. Yeah, 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 we're good. We're good on fertilizer. I just need to make a couple more for the last batch. Okay, so corn goes here. Beautiful. And then the flowers will go this way. Get pretty. And then wheat here. No, um, this song is not an anim or it's not in the game. Uh, the game doesn't play music sometimes, so I have an Animal Crossing playlist on side so I can listen to it. That way I just have music to listen to. Um, there we go. Put this here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I really like the sign ability. Um, it helps me a lot visually just to remember what's where. So I have um, a perk basically where sometimes certain crops will go faster than others. So sometimes we'll get some in advance, but just that way we can kind of uh, keep all of that in check. Let's go here and let's make, um, this is good though, because we can start saving up for a silo or no mill. We need a mill, which I think is 2000, so I can get hay. Uh, let's put this over here. Okay, that's all good. And then, yeah, let's go to the mines. Why not? Maybe we can get some gems down there to sell to make some money. And go this way. I'm going to get my uh, candy tree seeds just in case. Explosives. And I definitely need my sword. So let me bring that with me too. I did. I got my cow. I'll go show you. We have Mookade. Mookade is arriving. I normally let them roam out and about, but right now it's raining. So I have the doors shut, but here they are. 
little Mukade. They're happy. They're four days old. Um, so I'm really relying on them to give me the large bronze quality milk that I need for the ocean. Because that's what's um, preventing me from advancing at the moment. Actually, since I need to make some money, let's convert some stuff into... Here, we'll, um, we'll get a couple potatoes and then some cauliflower. Hold on to one of them. So let's put this in here. That way we can make potato juice and cauliflower juice. That sounds disgusting. Um, <laughs> but hey, there's apparently a market for it. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I can go quick travel over there. Yeah, the cows in this game are so cute. We're going to get a baby one next time. The baby ones are cheaper because, you know, it takes a while for them to grow up. But um, they're adorable. So I'm going to wait. Um, I, I need to get a couple other things first, but I definitely want to get more animals for sure. Very, very excited to do that. Let's go down this way. We've made it to, like, the icy part. Oh, we really need a shirt. <laughs> My bad. It's fine. It actually, it doesn't matter. It doesn't like. <laughs> they don't actually get cold or anything, but, um. Yeah, no. I'm sure they are freezing, but it's fine. Oh, sweet. So, yeah, this is, uh. The. Once I get to the bottom of this, we. I think that's, uh, the only one that we can reach to the bottom of, and then future ones will come in an update. Now let's go use an explosive right here. See if we can find a way down. Very nice, very nice. There it is. I also do need stone, actually. I had a bunch and I sold quite a bit. Yeah, it's fine. We, we built up enough uh, to, you know, handle the cold. It's fine. So, I don't... Ooh. Yes. Definitely want to get this. Ooh, hell yeah. That's very lucky. Wait, ooh, we're getting really good luck, actually. Already on 434. Hell yeah. Go do this. And um, I need to... Oh, right, I need to ship bronze quality fruit. So finally, now that it's summertime, whenever those actually get around here, I'll be able to do that. My favorite Animal Crossing villager is Stitches. I love Stitches. Uh, Goldie's really cute, too. Yeah, me too. I I imagine, because I know like in the roadmap, they said that they're going to keep enhancing the battle system. So yeah, I do hope that also involves more variety with the monsters. Because so far in the game, we have the spiders and the like slime monsters, basically. There's a nice cluster of rocks over there. I actually might use my last bit of dynamite over there, maybe. Yeah, that seems like a good spot to use it. Get out of here for a moment. Be any luck. Double ore. Oh, yep, that there it was. All right, let me grab this stuff. May as well defeat these to get the resources. I haven't found any recipes to use the spider fur or yet, but or the monster ensigns. Well, I'm not sure. I d actually do not know if there is a luck system or not, to be honest. Um, like, the game hasn't established if there is or not. Yeah, they drop spider fur. Ooh, I got a new gem. I can go donate that to the museum. But yeah, the spiders have a small chance to drop spider fur. And then the slimes drop, like, goop. And monster essence also. What's this here? Is that topaz? Oh, it's amber. I think I also haven't donated that to the museum, actually. Well, I'll need to go over there before I have my character go to bed. Make sure I do that. I try to do my best to make sure to donate the first of everything. Just like in Animal Crossing, you know, whenever I get a new thing, I would always go and give it to Blathers. And then after that, I'd be more than um, inclined to sell or get rid of whatever else it is. Though I always felt bad about Blathers because he's always like, Oh, I wish I could contribute this to my personal collection. I'm like, take it. I'm like, I have so many spare fossils. Please. Also, Decapool, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. Go there. Good morning, Bushwalker. Let's go here and do this. I'm not, like, super duper eager to get to the final four, to be honest. But, I mean, if we can, that'd be cool. The, the Earth one was 40 floors, so there's a decent chance this one might be, too. Do this. Yeah, today, well, it's Saturday, so 
On weekends, I'm, a, I'm able to stream a lot earlier because I don't have to work. Thank God. Not always the case. Sometimes I do have to work weekends, but lately it's been, thankfully, not the case. But we also got lucky because there was very big clusters of rocks and I used the most expensive or the so there's different levels of dynamite. There's dynamite one, two, and three. And I was using dynamite three there to clear out big passageways. So I was able to get down there too, which was great. Do this. Oh yeah, I still haven't played much of Junker Queen. That's the character I've played the least of the new ones. I've mainly played Kimiko and Sojourn. Sojourn's been really fun actually. Uh, AJ just got their achievement the other day where you have to slide and get a headshot at the same time, which um, is a trip. I bet, yep, I've streamed it a lot. On the first few days, I streamed it, I think, for like a good seven, eight hours each day, actually. It was very fun. Because I was doing the drops thing so you could get the Kiriko skin. Because um, thankfully, for this event and the next event that's coming up, Blizzard is letting any streamer do drops for their game. So whenever the second batch comes out, I'll definitely take advantage of that. Uh, and I streamed my dailies the other day, too. I kind of sprinkle it in sometimes towards the end of stream because... Uh, I'm level 50 in the battle pass, which is good. I mean, there's still like a whole bunch of time left on it and I only need to go up 30 more levels. So the pacing for the battle pass has actually been pretty good. I was a little nervous about it because, you know, with so many games having battle passes, it can be overwhelming. Now that Dead by Daylight also extended theirs too. <laughs> Their rift has a bunch more levels now. Yeah, you have, ooh, you have, yeah, you ha uh, ooh, till tomorrow? Did, like, I don't know if it, like, ends tonight at midnight or what, but, yeah, you should definitely connect and uh, watch a, a stream. Uh, it requires six hours total. If you watch six hours of any Overwatch 2 stream that has drops enabled with your account connected, you'll get the Kiriko skin and the voice line. Um, and then the 16th will be the last day to do that. After that, uh, they're going to... I don't know how quickly, but... There's going to be another one to get a gun buddy of a donut and I think a Kiwiko spray too. Yeah, so, well, they give you a couple weeks to do it. Um, like, it doesn't have to be on one sitting or anything. They, they started it when Overwatch 2 launched a couple weeks ago. And uh, you, you just have to accumulate six hours watch throughout the week. So you can do it in a day or you can, like, I, I chipped away at it. Like, I watched a couple hours here, a couple hours there, and that worked. All right, sounds good, Aqua. I know, I'm so addicted to this game. It's so fun. Really, really good. You haven't done it at all? Yeah. That's why, like, um, I, I, um, whenever I was streaming Overwatch 2, I kept, like, doing my whole spiel. I'm, I'm sure it was, like, probably annoying to hear me, like, say that over and over again that day. But, like, I really needed to emphasize to people. I'm like, connect your account. I'm like, it takes six hours. And then the next batch that's coming out, it'll also take six hours total uh, for a couple... You have like two weeks to do it, but it'll be the little donut charm and the spray, which is very cute. Alrighty. So, well, we still have some time to go back to the mines. Might not get all the way to the bottom, which is fine. But I, I want to go out and at least get some more stone and everything. Which will be good. Oh, the Punker Queen skin. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. Um, So the Halloween event for Overwatch 2 is going to be dropping next. Is it next week, actually? Let me see, or is it two weeks from now? Two weeks from now. And um, there's going to be a new Kiriko skin. And uh, it's really cute. It's a little witch skin. It's like Mercy has their own little apprentice or something. So I'm excited to check that out. All right. There should be plenty of energy for the time that we have left. Let's bounce on out of here. And then go, or you know what, uh, actually, let's use this remaining energy to go fishing for a little bit. We, we went to the mines, you know, we, we went down a couple levels, we found some extra gems that we can sell. Ooh, speaking of gems, um, though, I need to go to the museum real quick so that I can donate some of these. So I'm going to head over there first, and then we'll worry about the other stuff later oh also actually i need to stop by the shrine and i need to make a list of the things that i need to put for the offering for the goddess that way i can work on that i just realized because 
Um, I did the one for spring already. And I did the resources one. Uh, I don't know, like diving, I, I've only been able to get the sea salt. I haven't been able to get anything else at the moment. So we'll see how that goes. Go this way. Put this and this. Very good. Confirm. Wheat. And then we'll go over here. We can sell the remaining diamonds and gems, thankfully. So, let's see. Valentina's birthday is tomorrow. So I'll be sure to give them a present tomorrow, right? Yes. Okay. We got it. It's Raphael's niece, you know? Gotta impress the family. Here we got some uh, grass. Go up here. I think this is where the shrine is. Nope. <laughs> Close. I think it's up this way. There we go. <laughs> Close enough. So we need to... And the good thing here is uh, there is a quick travel point around here. Oh, hello. My birthday is on the 13th. And do you know who else has a birthday on the 13th? Eva. We made it tradition to exchange gifts every year. It's a little inside joke. I get my ingredients from Sam. Cute. All right. Thanks for the reminder. Got a dual birthday then. Good to know. Good to know. Let's go up here and see what we need to get. I'm going to need to actually go and open my list that I'm working on. Hold on. Let me go get that real quick. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, go to desktop real quick. Where's my list at? Do, 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 do. Is this it? Yes, this is it. Okay. So for summer, um, we need to do blueberry, a chili pepper. Oh, nice. I actually have one of these. Okay, cool. And then um, a sunflower. Shit, I should have gotten a sunflower after all. I'll have to wait a little bit longer. That's okay. Um, blueberry, uh, chili. Okay, so I have these two already planted. Sunflower, and then, uh, okay, cool. So I got all that down, just so I remember. Eat. And then for fall, pumpkins, rice, orchard, orchid, excuse me. Um, a fig. Ooh, fairy roses. Nice. But yeah, for this, I haven't come across any of these items yet. So I'll have to see how that goes later on. Let's go over back to the farm so i can deposit some stuff and then i need to get um a fishing pole so we can fish for a little bit all these things you know i'm gonna sell a thing of monster essence just to see how much money it's worth i'm kind of curious and um all the gems and the diamonds go down here and put this away very good um, let's see. Oh no, Shay. Oh no, that's so, I'm so sad that happened. Yeah, well, all of yes, I, so, it's so funny. Like, <laughs> I swear, yesterday I streamed for nine hours, and for the, all of the nine hours, I had a shirt on. <laughs> for the whole duration of it. Um, but then, because it was summer, I'm like, oh, it's summertime. I'm like, let me take my shirt off. Um, and then... It rained. <laughs> I, I was like, oop. So it looks a little funny right now, but um, all good. Oh, wait. Put this over here. Okay, put that back here. Get my fishing pole out. And then, oh, I did not mean to change that again. Whoopsies. That's fine. Okay, put this there. So I need to get out. I guess that's all I really need right now. We don't really need anything else for the time being. All right, let's go do some fishing for a bit then. Also, what day is it today? It's uh, Tuesday. Um, so in a little bit, actually, there's a secret shop we can go to. But um, we can't really afford anything. There's uh, this little secret shop that sells, like, artifacts and whatnot. But it's all good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we're a cow for uh, Halloween this month. And I've... Uh, set up a system with my friend Captain Steel Pants where you can spawn your own cows and animals behind me. And it's just one channel point. 
spawns in as the color of your Twitch username. And you can also jump around and randomize your color afterward with exclamation point jump and exclamation point random. Yeah, the secret shop. At least this place did treat us well yesterday. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Nice. Here we go. Very good, very good. The wheat. Oh my god, the fire! Giddy setting me on fire, please. Oh my god. Um, so I I'm not too sure actually for I I was hoping to find maybe yeah, some like holiday related or winter related like things on the marketplace. I can't really find any. What I could do, if worst comes to worst, I could just give all the animals little, um, like, hats, <laughs> I guess. Or, like, the option to wear a hat. Because I know not everyone celebrates, um, like, if I was going to give Santa hats, for instance, I know not everyone celebrates Christmas, so not everyone would want to wear a Santa hat. But I could, I, I have that ability. Like, I have the ability now to, like, let people customize their animals i just have to like set up the logic and stuff behind it but yeah like if i could find cute little maybe even like snowmen or something like that would be i think fun or like maybe some yetis or something but well the thing is also like i i have to remember this is only for october <laughs> so uh when we are done with october we'll be back to my office where I stream from. Uh, we'll still use this environment when I play farm sim games, I think. But for the most part, when I play other games and whatnot, we'll go to, um, we'll use my default VTuber out, uh, office and everything and my outfit. But um, I will still implement stuff from this world into my office space. So there will, in November, they will be a redemption to change my outfit to be a cow outfit for a few minutes. And uh, then it'll revert to the normal one. So stuff like that. And um, I, as far as the animal spawn, like my, I don't know. I think I have an idea of what I could do where I could... Um, make them really miniature in the background. Like they'd be really, really tiny. <laughs> Cause I could set them to be like a 10th of the scale. Cause my, you know, this is a whole field, but my office is, well, it's a, it's an office space. There's enough room for me and headbutt. And really that's about it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking of putting like a little miniature farm on the table that headbutt sits next to. And then I would maybe be able to make it so that I could still walk around and look at all the animals because I could shrink myself. So I have to come up with a creative way to make like a shrink ray or something so that I size down and scale and then jump onto the table and see all the little miniature animals or, and whatnot. So, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I was going for. So I'm glad that that, uh, you know comes across <laughs> which is very good come on fishies I, well I only need nine more seeds actually I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy sunflower seeds tomorrow if I can afford them I'm gonna get some sunflower seeds because I need to get that for the sesogen so I must do that also, we leveled up fishing to level two the other day, and because of that, we can make sashimi now, which is nice. I'm hoping to get to the point where I can generate enough revenue to buy coffee daily, um, because uh, the uh, what's it called? Raiden, let me know that most people in this town like coffee. The only person that does not like coffee in this game is Leah. <laughs> But Leah likes flowers, and flowers are easy to find. So just give Leah flowers, basically. Yeah, for winter, I do have a holiday outfit planned. Um, so I've got that going. Um, as far as the environment, I'm not too sure. Like, 
I I'm gonna try to see if I can get a Christmas tree or something, or um, some like holiday lights, maybe some presents or something. Try to make it feel a little bit festive. I also have an idea in the Discord where I might, um, like, I don't know if y'all remember in elementary school and whatnot where you'd get, I don't know, like everyone would draw an ornament or something and the teacher would put them up like on the whiteboard or whatever. <laughs> so I was thinking, I'm like, we could probably find a template and people could like use MS Paint or like Photoshop or whatever to make an ornament and um, we could put them in the environment. Like I've got plenty of room on the walls and we could just like, um, put them all around there. So I think that'd be kind of cute. So uh, yeah, I'll make a channel for that on the Discord when the time comes. I'll just have to find a template and like, um, I could maybe even make a template actually. I could make like, for those that may not be super familiar with like using, cause there's something called Photo P, which is like an online tool that basically, it's like a free Photoshop basically. So you could open it in that and like basically pick whatever color you'd like and like pre-made pattern like i can make a really easy template that way everyone can participate um so that'd be fun i got in trouble with your class one time when you did that what did you draw what did you do <laughs> what the what in the world <laughs> oh no oh my god yeah i i know skitty i'm like maybe it's just that they like to take pictures with it and then that's it and they're like all right that's um that's the end you drew a heart but it looked like oh well that's not oh my god the amount of times that i've seen on tiktok though where a parent is showing off a child's artwork and it looks like the most inappropriate sketch and they ask them what it is and it's like oh it's it's you or it's yeah it's a heart or whatever <laughs> <laughs> that's wild that your teacher got upset at you for that like they thought you intentionally did that it's wild that's really funny though I'm sorry you got yelled at though I swear I got in trouble for like the stupidest shit in school sometimes oh here I remember like a teacher legitimately got mad at me for having to go use the restroom in their class and I always thought I was doing that to like get out of their lecture and everything and whatnot but I'm like dude I drink a lot of water and it's like after lunch, I'm like, I got to go pee. I'm sorry. I can't just hold it in. <laughs> like, I got to go. You just got to go pee. And it's like, it's not like I was taking forever. It's like, it was like literally down the hall. I'd be back like in a minute. And I wasn't even doing bad in the class or anything. And like, I did my, like, I don't know. I did not know what the issue was at all. I'm like, this is ridiculous. I remember that like honestly still being an issue in high school where like sometimes the high school teachers wouldn't let you go and use the restroom. You're like, what the fuck? Like, thank God in college, like no one gave a shit and <laughs> you could just go whenever you wanted. What a concept. Imagine being able to relieve yourself when needed. Also, Skitty, thank you for the 14 months. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, star. I mean, arcade bon, arcade bon. Oh my god, thank you so much again for the 14 months. Like, ideally, I would love to be able to do something like this for every holiday. Um, the reality is, I just, I, it, it takes so much uh, time to do. And um, it's like, I still need to find time to stream and stuff. And, you know, I have to work. But um, it, it'll, the, the holiday thing will probably be a lot more chill. Uh, because I'm also working on some other things in the background that are kind of for next year um but yeah it'll, it'll we'll still do it'll still be decorated but it's gonna be simple it's not gonna be because the thing like i have to i have to make the things or i have to find something that someone's already made that i can purchase the rights to use uh and the thing is with my style it's kind of hard to find stuff pre-made that like fits my aesthetic which is why a lot of the time I have to go out of my way to commission a lot of things. Um, let's see, I'm, I'm pretty sure I donated these things. I'm not sure actually. Let me go over here. But yeah, I would just say like, we'll still do something, but it's not gonna be all out like this where we have a brand new world and whatnot. <laughs> um, but it'll, it'll still look cute, it'll look cute. All right, let's go here and then we can go and Put this in here. Okay, good. I'm glad I checked because I had not donated this just yet. All right, let's go. 
Welcome on in, Dobbs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I mean, in an ideal world, God, I would love to do this full time. I really would. That, nothing would make me happier than being able to stream full time and work on VTubing and stuff all day. But um, realistically, I can't do that. <laughs> but maybe, maybe in the future one day, I'll be able to. Sell those fishies. Go do this. And sell this too. Very good. Okay, put that there. Put this in here. And then we're off to bed. So we can buy sunflower seeds tomorrow. Do this. Go to bed. Alrighty, fishing is now level three. Oh, that's right. We got more skill points. I should definitely go do that. Oh, wow. Okay, actually, holy crap. That brought in a lot of money. Okay. Oh, good, good, good. All right, we can definitely go and buy some more seeds then with no issue today. Wheat. I like, I want to kind of sort of expand the farm space, but I think I need to cool it. Oh, I can finally move the bee house. Oh, thank God. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to work on today then. I think I'm going to work on moving all of this more towards the right then. Um, let me put this back here and then bring this stuff in here because the only problem is that there's this giant rock in the way that I can't get rid of right now, <laughs> this here. And I can't get rid of this stump either currently, but I can try to make this look cute. Let me get rid of some of this stuff here and kind of see how I want to go about this. The because I just want to make like a nice little area for all these machines and stuff. That way they don't look so out of place. They're kind of just like chilling there. Thing. Um, so we got these here. We could maybe try to put another farm to the right. Or hold on, let me see something real quick. I think I wanted to check something. Um, let me see. Maybe we could do... Let me go find my wood real quick. Go here. And then... Make... Crafting... Where is it? Oh, here we go. Wood floor tiles. Go make a couple of these. Okay, then, let's see, let's see, do maybe something like this. Welcome in, Rosa. Because we more to make, and then we don't have to go all the way down. Maybe we can make a cute little, like, thing for flowers specifically go here just to be there as decorative pieces if we're gonna have like the beehive uh beehives <laughs> the yeah the, the beyonce stands are coming um the bee houses over here be kind of cool you need to actually deposit flowers into them but if they're just like around a little flower field that'd be kind of cute okay. yes queen bee <laughs> uh, the only thing is yeah this is gonna block Oh god, I really need to upgrade my tools so I can get rid of that, fortunately. I wonder if this is gonna work. Hold on, I'm gonna have to come up with a, another solution. Um, let's see. Well, I guess I... No, we'll just, we'll just leave that our, be our farm area, but this wood floor is really nice to separate it from all the stone we have going on. So let's see, yeah, I'll make this like... Oh, you can actually put it under like this, okay. Go here. Anything for you, Beyonce? This way. Put it this. Okay, and then put this here. Okay, I'm going to go get more... to bring this up. Good, good. Sorry, yeah, I thought that this was something I was going to want to do, but I think we're going to ultimately just end up... Well, actually, it still could work. Sorry, I'm... 
thinking a million things at once. Let me go get my bee houses and stuff. Oh, right. Um, for now, I'm going to just deposit this in here. I'll move it later, but for the meantime, I need space. So I need my bee houses here. I need... Oh, which I have three of. Um, I got... Let's see. Oh, let me get my wooden fences out, too. I don't need the scarecrow because we're going to leave that as it is. That's fine. Yeah, Alyssa. Oh, that's going to be so nice. I can't wait. I know. I think they're slated for a 2023 release. I think. So that'll, that'll be so fun. Let's definitely do this area over here, though. This song's cute, by the way. I don't think I've heard this one just yet. This here. Go. Good, good, good. Bring these up here. Okay. Fill in these gaps. Okay, I'm gonna make more. Good thing we chopped down a bunch of trees to get a lot of this stuff. Oh, actually, hold on. Let me look at my notes. Okay, yeah, I only need 50 wood for the mill. And the mill is 2,000. Oh, we can get the mill today, actually. Do that. Go to the car if the carpenters are open today, we'll go and uh, check that out. Welcome on in, Sanius. Make. Oh, actually, that was perfect. Okay, cool. So now we got this nice flooring down here. So we can put. I think I want the bee houses to be close to my house because those are kind of cute. Like, put one there. Maybe a one tile gap between them. Yeah, I think so. That'll be good. And then maybe we can put flowers in front here. That'll look cute. Put like a little row of flowers here. And like just leave them there for decoration. Maybe a batch of four. Oh no, how did that happen? I'm so sorry that you lost so much, uh, so many hours that way. Can we just make it all connected? I guess we could do something like that. Okay. Then over here we can put the furnace. That's fine. Right this way. And then we'll put the sign here. Test back this way. Okay. So now I gotta go get my stuff. I happen to everyone the Game Pass version. Oh no, they uploaded the wrong version of the game and when they updated it, it wiped the save. Oh my god, I'm so sorry that happened. That's really unfortunate that that um, occurred. Oh my god. That is very, very upsetting. I'm so sorry. Uh... That's crazy. This here. Grab this. It's there. And bring my goodies over this way. This, this, this. Oh, I think that's all good. Yeah. Bring this here. Uh, hello, fire flower there and then all oh, right i still have a recycling okay so i might well i can't really bring that down much more um oh the recycling machine looks kind of cute though actually uh i might yes Sorry, I'm having a dilemma. <laughs> I don't know if I like this big open gap here for flowers. I might just prefer to just leave that alone, maybe. Let me go bring this back. I think because the flowers are expensive and like, I don't know. I just, I don't think I have the luxury of having decorative flowers just yet. <laughs> eventually, eventually. Okay, and then we can kind of just put this like in the middle here, I guess. This on there, so it matches up with that. And we'll put one here. There we go. It's not the prettiest looking thing, but it'll do. 
Um, I kind of made a mistake of making so many bee houses. I really didn't need that many. Oh, right. So this process wood into charcoal. Oh, I haven't made one of these yet. I need bronze ore and stone. And stone. Okay. Let me go make one, I guess. At least it looks a little bit more organized than before. It still it needs some work for sure. Oh, oh, that's the bombs were down there. Okay. Um. Oh, I got the bars out. Oh shit. I sh okay. My bad. I need to actually go to the mines and get a bunch of bronze ore then. Um, that's actually not that bad now. Okay, that's fine. And then I was gonna grab this to. Let me put this on the outskirts here. There we go, just kind of like frame this a little bit better. We could still put um the stone that way, I guess. Yeah, I, I really need to reorganize this whole farm some at some point, but not right now. Uh, because this doesn't really make sense, I just realized, but that's fine. Let me go back here. Go here, bring this way, and this. Um, S2. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I'm like, I'm trying to get there. Like, they're starting, like, I'm starting to learn some of the restrictions that this game has in terms of, like, decorating certain things. So, and, uh, oh, let's not go. Oh, I have to get rid of this down. Oops, not that one. Not bad. Actually, I, I will make it there. That's fine. There, do this. Good, good, good. Okay, and then let me get more storm stone or tile. There. Okay. So we got a little pathway leading this way. Then this oh the store's open already. Whoops, I need to go get seeds and stuff. I need to water my crops too. <laughs> go here. Like this. Okay, cool. Uh, do we want to go all the way up here? No, I, th I think that's fine, actually, the way we have it there. Okay. Let's focus on actually... Okay, well, there's a couple things I have to do. <laughs> so, I need to get... Okay, let's get... Uh, 20 things of scrap. I need to get... Uh, 50 wood. So, let me just bring the exact amount I need. That way, it'll get out of my inventory afterwards and then i need two bronze uh bars we'll get two bronze bars all right we got two of those and then i think i'm gonna put the mill over to the top left here i'm hoping i have enough space to put it here we should so let me go over to the carpenters oh yeah are they open so they are open okay and then we're gonna need to go buy seeds so I'm gonna get some sunflower seeds. Um, that'll be good. And then I might get one um, shallot seed because I need to get one for the offering. So I might just plant there. So that sign kind of like by the farm a little bit just to get that going. Does the yeah the stone one holds a uh, double I believe. It holds um it holds up to forty. So, Carpenter, all right, we need to get a mill. Yeah. So, the mill. All right, and then eventually we'll get the silo. Good. So yeah, the stone chests help a lot. Like, the moment I was able to make it, I made a bunch of them. Ooh, the dragonfly. Flower, hold on. Oh, is What's-His-Face open today? Oh, he is. Oh, my God, okay. Definitely worth checking out the caravan up here, by the way, because dude sells um, some pretty good stuff here on occasion. Oh, we're close today. What? You lied. <laughs> Map is a big old liar. All right. That's fine. Oh, wait, this is for the mill. Well, um, if for the mill. Let me see. Where do we want? Go. That's kind of cute. Uh, we might still put it over here. Maybe. Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll put the silo to the left and we'll just put the mill here. It's, I know it's a bit of an odd spot. 
No. Where else am I gonna put it? I put it this way. Somewhere. Yes, we could. You know what? Sure. Put it over here. Uh. How about this way? Kind of cute. I'll, I'm gonna put some space behind for the fence, though. Like right, right here. Do one more down. Now one more up, and one. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's where we'll put that. Now we need to go to the store and buy seeds before I forget, and we got a water. Alright, we're good. We got plenty of time. I'm freaking out for no reason. <laughs> I need to chill. Oh, fuck. It's, uh, okay, where's Valentina? It's their birthday. Um, Valentina, are you at school? You're at school. Okay, let's go to the school then, actually, before I forget. <laughs> and, uh, well, hopefully one of these flowers will be a good gift, I hope. I can't imagine they would be too upset about it. And then the store will still be there, so that's right. Because it's their birthday today. I almost forgot. Go pick this up over here. They'll feel a little weird about picking up flowers from the graveyard, but... Well, the other one was really, like, it was placed literally, like, right in front of the tombstone. I was like, oops, do you like Cosmos? <laughs> yeah, you do. Okay, good, good, good. I rented this horror film yesterday, Alakazam, a classic, I think. I watch it every summer. Anyway, I haven't had the chance to watch it. I think I'm going to need to pay late fees again. Pablo keeps inviting me to the tavern, but I keep telling him I just want to be inside. It's too hot to do anything. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, uh, the pets will be added in a future update, but uh, there is an, uh, you can adopt animals in the future, and th there's going to be a pet festival, too. Uh, oh, here they are. Oh my god. Wow, you actually kind of see them doing things at school. Unless we watch TV after school on Fridays. On normal days, I usually go with dad to the forest until dinner time. No, not the part that's by your house. We go exploring on the other side of the forest. Crickets are my favorite summer bugs. Kenny said that we should keep our distance from them because they can sense sound and vibration. We don't want to spook them. I'm going to play at the beach after school. A lot of play after school, but only until dinner time. All the, they look busy studying. Okay. They're busy studying. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Here's your birthday present. I hope you like it. There you go. Thank you. I love birthday gifts. Yay. Mr. Barnes said we don't need to know what we want to be when we grow up yet. He also said sometimes adults aren't sure about what they want to be either. And that's okay. I'm sleepy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Arts and crafts. All right. Let me go up here. There's no set time for school to start or end since we don't have that many students. What? Even without a set time, the kids are pretty consistent about arriving before 9 a.m. and are usually done before 4 p.m. What kind of... That's wild. <laughs> hey, but anyway. Enjoy the present, Randy. All right, let's go shopping. So we'll go get some seeds. Maybe we could buy some outdoor furniture? Maybe? No, no, no. We gotta save our coins. So that we can upgrade our house, actually. That's what we need to do. Because I want to unlock the ability to cook and stuff. So, we'll, we'll do that. But let's go to the shop. Alright. Whose birthday is next? I think it's the mayor's, right? Yeah, on the 5th, it's the mayor's birthday. Yeah, we're gonna get the sun. Oh, it's closed today. Actually, we the uh, it's yeah. I can't get any uh, seeds today, unfortunately. My bad. Hello, Mark. Need to put out more waters for the animals. This hot? Maybe a bit, but nothing unbearable. Whatcha? Okay, so we'll just go water our crops then, and we'll buy the seeds tomorrow. Cause yeah, the shop is closed on Wednesdays. I think also on. Or I think on some days they close earlier or something. Something like that. Nice, we got another one of these here. Let me make sure I put more because this is very valuable. We need to make sure that we always have this going in. So 
we'll put that away for now. And then we'll go over this way and put our flowers away, scrap away. There we go. And then we need to get our watering can out. Okay, so let's do this. And we need to go fill this with water. Go. Good. Okay. Here we go. That. We have sprinklers that we can craft and stuff, but the sprinklers that I can make right now, they're not really that worth it. They don't cover like a super great range just yet. But I'm sure as we continue to level up our farming skill, we'll unlock better um, recipes to do so. This. Corn on the way. They're annoying. Awesome. Um, I think I'm going to also maybe get some more wood or yeah, the most of the time's already passed. So, oh, to harvest honey, you have to put flowers into the bee houses. Also, Ditsby, thank you so much for the, or I'm sorry. Uh, Ditsby, oh no, Ditsby, thank you so much for the ball. So, <laughs> I thought I, uh, or I don't know if I mispronounced your name. I'm sorry if I did. But yeah, you just put flowers into the bee houses, and then you, um, it takes a little while, but if you interact with it, it, it'll, it should start, like, vibrating and kind of shaking, and, like, if you interact with it, it should say that there's, like, one honey in it or whatever. You can put up to three flowers at a time per house. You've got flowers in it, but it says it's full and they aren't moving. Oh, no, you shouldn't need anything else. That should be it, and, um... There should be like a little progress wheel. I don't have any in right now, but there should be like a little wheel that's like circling around to let you know that it's like in progress. Um, so yeah, you, you shouldn't need any other materials to make the honey. Um, I mean, it might That could potentially be a bug maybe. Um, yeah, no problem. I'm sorry that's not working properly for you. Get my net out again. Axe and my scythe. Let me put this away because I haven't been really using this all that much lately. Okay, so that's good. There we go. I've been playing for about, I think, like 20 hours at this point now, more or less. So it's um, it's been uh, it's been really fun though. I've been really liking this game. Oh my god, I need to go let the cow out. I'm so sorry. I was so preoccupied with other things. Oh God, not that. Hello? Uh oh, why isn't this working? Is it too late to do this? Uh, hold on, let me see. Let me go in here. Let me know if there's a way to change controls. Oh, I'm not sure. I don't know if they're, um, if it's possible. Oh, he, they can be milked. Um, It'd be in settings most likely. Oh, you can't change it just yet. Gotcha. Go in here. Then this. This way. Very good. Your X and R buttons are broken. Like on your on your keyboard, they don't um or are you playing on controller somehow? Uh hey Moon Forest. Yeah, we just started summer recently. Oh, I need to make more stone path over there. I just realized. Right now, I'm kind of just trying to adjust my layout of my farm a little bit. And I might... The stone here, maybe. I might leave this to be dirt path. Oh, your keyboard X and R buttons are broken. Oh, gosh. Yeah, if you open up Windows, you can... Like, if you can type in on-screen keyboard, you, like, every Windows PC has that by default, and you might be able to use that while in the game, maybe? I know that's kind of like a weird workaround, but that's a good suggestion. That that might help out. Yeah, you can probably, like, uh, use an on-screen keyboard, like the, the one that comes with Windows, to do that, potentially. Here, and grab this. We'll 
just leave like a little gap here, I think. Or what we could do, we could use the other little stones here. Yeah, I don't I don't know if it'll work, but it might be worth a shot to um give that a chance. What if I should just make this wood up here? Okay. Yeah, hopefully that'll work out for you. Actually, I have some in here, don't I? Yeah. Just replace all this with that. It'll look cute. I think it'll look make more sense with the grass coming in through these little pebble stones rather than this here. Because this just looks kind of wild. <laughs> I've been meaning to change that for a while, but now that I've got a off day to do it, because we don't have any needs to purchase right now. Uh, and that's right. I might have not been able to afford all the sunflower seeds now I think about it, because I, um, I spent all that money on the mill construction. But I need it so that I can... Take care of my animals. That. That. Need one more of these suckers. Oops. Oh, click the wrong thing. Okay, that's good. Then I'm gonna use these extra ones here to fill in this gap here. Oh, what's this here? Oh! <laughs> I didn't realize that could happen. Gotcha. Alright. Over here. Very nice. That looks a lot better. Yeah, it totally does. I, I'm glad that we have this cute little playlist to listen to whenever there's no music in the game. <laughs> I think it makes it more of a little pleasant experience. Um, God, I really need to upgrade my tools. After I get my house upgrade, I'm going to upgrade my tools because I need... This shit's in the way for me for properly decorating my farm, and I needed to adjust tiles to be a little bit weird to accommodate for that, and it's been really frustrating. <laughs> so, house upgrade first, then we'll work on tool upgrades afterwards. Like, uh, I'm like, please. I'm like, I've had to really sacrifice putting things exactly where I want it just because of that. It's so rude. Welcome back, Aquamady. Go here. Uh... They're not too hard to unlock. You get them, I think you just have to do a little bit of farming. And then as you level up farming, you'll get it. And the um, thing is, you have to buy the silver kelp, I think. Well, I haven't had access to, like, finding that naturally. But, um, yeah, you can unlock sprinklers that way. And you can buy kelp from the science lab. You can find plenty of bronze kelp down underneath, like, in the water. But the silver kelp, I haven't come across yet myself. Um... Go and do this and head here. Oh, there we go. Let's do this. That way we can fish easier. Behind. The oh, okay. Gotcha. Let me see. I'm going to sell a couple of these things just so that I can make a little bit of money. Oh, yeah. How much is. Uh. Yeah, I think I'm rank E. I, I believe that's what the mayor said, that I did go up in rank. That there. Put the sugar cane, actually. And this one. And put this over here. That way I can make um, some nectar. And then I'm going to chip this. And then let's go sh uh, fishing a little bit more so we can make some more money. 
because um, my crops are still very much in the process of growing. Actually, wait, let's walk to the pier. That's fine because maybe we'll find some more forageable goods along the way, actually. Or we'll find this, which we can sell too. Yeah, I barely made it to summer. Um, so, but don't like there hasn't really been any like spoilery stuff. If that's if you're worried about that, like, because the the other outfits haven't been implemented yet. So that's on the roadmap. But yeah, the other seasonal outfits and stuff will come in the future. Um, and then I think like I don't think any of the like events are properly in place right now either. So. Like the, the, I think the villagers still kind of conspire around the area that like the event's meant to be held at, but nothing actually like initiates. Um, so far the dialogue has definitely changed for sure. But um, yeah, for sure. I just wanted to let you know, cause I didn't want you to, um, that way you didn't feel like, oh no, like I'm gonna get stuff spoiled. <laughs> uh, no, it's only keyboard and mouse right now. Um, Though I did see that there is, um, I saw like, I think a steam guide or a forum post on how to get this to work on a steam deck, which is like the portable gaming device. I guess there's like a way, like a workaround to get it working on that apparently. Oh, there's also steam controller support too, which provides partial controller support. So yeah, that might be an option too. But the oh okay gotcha yeah I I just use mouse and keyboard but um I don't know like how what their priority is for controller support and early access but yeah I as you can see here at the bottom right for any of you that are watching and don't know this game is still very much in development and um, they've got a lot of stuff that they're still gonna be rolling out this game. I remember um, AJ um, in chat was playing the alpha for this a few months ago. And uh, since then I was watching their stream and they were like talking about all the difference from alpha to this. And they've made a lot of improvements and changes since then. So I feel confident that, you know, as time goes by, we'll get some good updates uh, in terms of the save file, so they said that, well, it's very unfortunate that what happened to the Game Pass people and how they accidentally updated the wrong version, which ended up wiping the save data. I'm so sorry to those that were affected by that. That, that really, really sucks. Um, in their FAQ in regards to early access, when, when it comes to the save data, it says that they're going to do their best to make it so that your current save data will transfer over and that like you won't have to like make a new save file or anything. But if the game changes pretty substantially, that they may have to partially reset progress kind of. Like basically they said that they're going to make it so you keep your farm layout, your inventory, your money, uh, and your mastery. So all the skill points that you've put in and everything is meant to retain if they end up having to revert the progress. So like, let's say like, oh, they added in marriage and children and all these things, but they're like, but we're gonna have to reset like all the town. Uh, but like, theoretically, they're saying that you should be able to keep like most of the stuff that you've been working towards. Um, I guess there's always the chance that that might not happen if there's an unfortunate incident that happened with the Game Pass people or what, but it seems like they've built the game from the ground up to be able to support to retain that data. Um, so it, yeah, I, I guess they kind of came up with some stuff like that, which makes sense. I, I can kind of like imagine in my head how that kind of works. Um, but I honestly, when full release comes out, I would probably, I'll probably make a new save file anyway um, and kind of just start from scratch and kind of see how it goes or or if it if it really is that you get to just keep everything and you play from the start then maybe i could do that to kind of just like breeze through it and uh keep my farm layout and all that stuff and um you know kind of just focus on relationships or whatnot but i don't mind doing multiple playthroughs of farm sim games to be honest like with stardew valley i did two completely separate 100 percent complete playthrough games Granted, the first 100% was, I think, around 1.4. 
And then I did a 100% co-op playthrough with Bun Bun with the last Stardew Valley patch that came out. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a new game plus. That is how they would treat it so that you retain your character and your, like, decorating and inventory, all that good stuff. But you're essentially starting the game from scratch again in a way. So I'm like, I think that's cool. And, and hopefully they can... Uh, Keep their word on that. So yeah, that's what the FAQ had said, and um, there's there's a whole blog post about it. If you just go on Google and you type in Coral Island roadmap, they they have their whole list of how they're gonna roll things out, um, and they they they've been pretty transparent about that. I've also I joined their Discord too. That way I can kind of get live updates and stuff. I wasn't really following this game that much to be honest with you. Like I knew if it's an when it was announced, I knew I was going to be excited for it, that I wanted to play it. Um, but it wasn't until, like, a couple weeks ago, and I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, it's already, it's already going to early access? Like, I was really surprised. And, um, yeah, I was a little cautious. I was like, oh, I don't know if it's going to be, like, worth it or not. Because, you know, early access sometimes can be a little scary. <laughs> but um, I feel like there's a pretty decent amount of gameplay in here at least of the farm sim stuff to keep me busy and entertained so it's fun checking it out i think i'll probably play one year of this game and then uh, i might after that point maybe stop um and wait for like another update or something i'm not too sure also i know this is just because i played this last night but y'all i'm having the biggest case of deja vu right now i haven't experienced deja vu in like a long time but I know it's just because this is what I was doing last night, but I just had that weird sensation. <laughs> I don't know why it just freaked me out so bad. I hate experiencing deja vu. I don't like it. I I can't remember the last time I'd done that. I, it must have probably been with another game that I just do the same thing over and over again. <laughs> that was really weird. But um, yeah, anyway. Uh, I get started today. I'm in Discord. I mostly pay attention to monthly updates. Oh, yeah. So that's um as you ask for it on the switch, right? So yeah, after 1.0 releases, which is the actual like uh launch of the game, yeah, we can look forward to playing it on console, which will be great. And then um a little after the game comes out, they're gonna work on a multiplayer update, which will be fun. And also the ability to go island hopping and everything too. Oh, the on-screen keyboard works. Okay, good. Oh, I'm glad that that works for now. I'm sorry that you're having some difficulties with that. But yeah, the roadmap looks really great and promising, and it'll be fun. Um, I'll kind of basically treat it like Disney Dreamlight Valley. Like, that's what I've been doing with Disney Dreamlight Valley. That's another game that's in early access right now. I played through everything. I did all the quests, and I got a, like, layout going for my valley. So now I'm just waiting for updates that roll out. That way I can, like, go back to the game, check out what's new, and then, you know, leave it as is, check some other games out, and, like, come back to it later. So it's been a good cadence, I feel. Do that. And uh, speaking of, we'll go back and check out some more Disney Dreamlight Valley uh, next week. Next Wednesday, I believe, is when the patch is dropping. So I will definitely check that out. Grab this stuff here and let's go sell it. So we'll sell the bug, this, and the fishies. We'll hold on to everything else for the meantime. Go. And we're off to bed. Ooh, Aqua, that's what I'm saving up for right now to upgrade my house. That way I can get a kitchen. I'm excited. And then I'm gonna upgrade my tools. Oh, nice. Oh my God, giving Valentina that gift went up two hearts. Mark went up one as well. And so did Randy. Made 930 coins. Okay, we should definitely be able to buy our sunflower seeds at the shop then. That's good. Go over here. Ooh, let's see. Is this about the Kickstarter campaign? It is. It's official. The campaign's closed and we reached four times our original goal. That's blowing my mind. We're starting construction of the Founders Hall as soon as possible. We'll have a grand or an open party and everything. I'll come get you on the day of the grand opening. Cool. Yeah, our museum expansion is almost there. Let me go grab my watering can. Here we are. The mushroom man is my heart's heart right now. Oh my god, nice. Um, they're really cute. I'm glad that they're easy to please too. Just gotta give them those mushrooms. <laughs> Just so good. 
this. Thankfully, the the chance of like the water staying uh, wet, uh, or what? Sorry, the plant still being watered the following day is really nice. It actually is helping out a lot. This way, this scarecrow too is actually super fantastic, and is thankfully taking care of all of these crops around this area. Oh, no water remaining. Okay, hold on. Let me go over here. Go. Very good. There we go. So, let me check this shop real quick. Okay, it does open at 9. Very good. We'll head there and get some sunflowers. This. That. Okay, let me go get some fertilizer real quick. I have uh, seven. I need to make some more. So I have compost and sap. We should have enough. Go this way. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Oops. I did not mean to do that. Uh, That's fine. I wish I could lock the sign so I don't replace the symbols by accident. <laughs> Uh, what symbol did I have up there before? I don't remember. You know what? Actually, the scarecrow would be even cuter, actually. We'll make it the scarecrow symbol. Why not? Alrighty. Here, put this. Oh, let me go say hello to Mukade. There you go. I don't know if they be milked or not, but we'll wait for them to get out. Um, this is all good. That's doing fine for now. I think. Let's see. Hello, little cow. You have two hearts now when you're six days old. Okay. You're giving me the most basic milk, though. <laughs> you know what? Let me... I'm going to sell one thing of milk just to see how much it's valued at because I don't know the value yet. So let me ship one of these. That way I can see. Here. And we will keep our fertilizer. Very good. Um, and it's... Other than the seeds, I... There's something I felt like there's something else I wanted to do, but I can't remember right now. I'm having the biggest blink right now. Oh right, I wanted to go to the mines to get more bronze ore so that I can make the kiln or whatever. So I can uh, I can use wood to get more charcoal and whatnot because I'm I'm low on charcoal and I need it to smelt more stuff if I want to get more upgrades for my weapons and stuff in the future. And uh, going to the mines might be good too because I can probably find more gems and stuff to make more money. I think the mayor's birthday is tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow. So we're good right now. All right. In the meantime, let's go talk to some people. Oh, do not give trash as a gift. Nope. <laughs> Remember to eat your greens. The more color on your plate, the better. I sound more and more nosy. I hope you don't think I'm trying to police folks. If Sam stops bringing supplies in from the mainland, maybe more people would start farming again. I may talk to him about it, but I don't know if that would be the right call. Probably not. Also, Thick Pumpkin, thanks for the follow. Thank you so much. Let's go see what they're up to over here. Don't you just love Karen's haircut? The lady working at Pufferfish? That was me. I did that. <laughs> well, of course I still volunteer at the school. Why wouldn't I? Oh, wait. You know what? Actually, speaking of Pufferfish, we should maybe go over here and talk to the Pufferfish lady. Not Karen, but... um, Their name... Reyna? One of your favorite villagers? They're so cute. See. You have to go behind the counter to talk to them. Good day, how may I help you? Are you looking for something in particular? No, oh, actually, you know, I haven't really gone around the- Oh, wait, you can see Karen here. Would you look at who's here, if not the farmer? What can I do for you? The window in my office gives full visibility to the workers. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Human behavior for dummies? A crystal ball? Oh my god. And she's got like surveillance all behind there too? 
What in the world? Oh my god. Then employees only go down there. There's like a little waiting zone this way. Oh my god. I know, right, Fireflower? You hope there's secretly a robot? I would believe that. 100%. Absolutely. Oh, there they are. Hello. Some of my best work is from my dark days. It just seems easier to create when I'm in the depths. Hard to do on summer. A good bout of emotion can be addictive. It's my sole source of inspiration. Without it, life is boring, and boring is not a way to live. No, we're, we're wearing shorts. We're wearing shorts. Look. <laughs> I promise. See, this is our underwear. <laughs> But we have shorts on. They are white short pants. Can be worn. <laughs> Little puppy. Go say hi to Antonio. My daughter's very good at art. I want to send her to summer art programs when she's a bit older. Where I reside, the end, is beautiful this time of year. It's right on top of the water, you see. Maybe I'll stay a little longer this summer. Valentina can play in the sun the whole day in this heat. I don't know. I don't think it's healthy, right? What do you think? Eating something cold like cold fish or ice cream would be good right about now. Um, I also did see... So, even though there's only a couple hard events in the game, we've seen a few of them. We've seen both Pablo's and Raphael's now. Ooh, we got... Oh, I, oh that's... Oh, that's a forageable. I need to go put that at the shrine. Wait, wait, we're actually by the shrine right now, so let me head over there and put that in there. I didn't realize. Okay, grab this. We'll give one of those to Raphael, see if he likes those. It's fine. Well, initially, because if you do run around in the town naked, um, the villagers do comment on it, which was great. We got some really funny reactions out of it on the first day, so... I was um, intentionally running around with no clothing on for a while. Yeah, if you take off all your clothes and go talk, they won't get like, you won't get negative relationship or anything. They just have like fi funny dialogue with it and whatnot. There we go. Nice. Uh, so we just need to get the sunflower seeds. Okay. Go into town then and uh, go get those. Actually, let me see if I can get to Raphael again. Yeah, yeah. It's like not everyone commented about it, but um, I'd say a, a pretty decent chunk of them actually did say something. Give this to Leah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, you hooligan. I think, um, or I think the, the shopkeeper was the one that took most like offense to it, who uh, <laughs> really, really was not vibing with it. And uh, one of the older NPCs in this game, too, did not appreciate that very much. Oh, so Moon Forest, there, it's a shop, actually. So, yeah, if you go to the lab... Um, oh, I actually need to go there because I need to get an upgrade. Yeah, I'll go show you right now. Let me give this real quick. Oh, I think I might have given them two gifts this week already. Let me see. Ah, I did. All right, let me give this to Pablo then, and then I'll go to the science lab to show you. Which is thankfully right next to where I'm at anyway, so that works out. Their house is so freaking cute. I really like it. Okay, here you go. Enjoy. Thank you. You're very generous. No worries. Get out of here. Yeah, if you go this way, over by the lab, here it is. So, walk in here, and it's right in the front. There's like a little kiosk right this way. And then you can receive, uh, or you can go shop here to upgrade your produce quality. So, I turned in five bronze kelp essence to upgrade the quality of all of my crops. And I also did it to upgrade the quality of um, fruit. So, I still need to do it for fruit trees and for hay. And then the next one is for silver kelp, and you can buy silver kelp here and gold kelp too. Um, yeah, it's a permanent upgrade. So it takes a couple days. You have to come back and redeem it. Um, yeah, yeah, it says seed upgrade level one increases the chance to yield higher quality crops. Uh, so that's why 
this is, I think, where a cool, unique aspect from Coral Island comes in. Like, I haven't really seen this in any other game before. So this is how you get re like rewarded for doing all that deep sea diving, finding all that kelp, turning it into essence, bringing it into the lab to better improve the quality of like a bunch of your stuff in your farm. So I really like this whole aspect. Um, I want to get back to diving, but again, we we've been kind of a uh, put at a gate hold where we need to get bronze quality milk, large milk specifically. So it's going to be a little bit until we can get that because um, it took a while for us to get our cow all set up and running. <laughs> but yeah, the the turtle wants some milk, bronze quality large milk. So we need sunflower seeds. Let's get nine of these. Big boobs. Big boobs. <laughs> oh, so um, I I did give the potato already. So I got a potato done, and there was a couple other things they wanted too. It was like first was a cucumber, then a potato, and then something else. I can't remember what the other thing was, but um, yeah, did all that. I feel like it would just flow. Is potato? No, that's a spring crop, uh, I believe. Yeah, it's a spring one. So yeah, there's a couple of those down there. Oh shit! <laughs> Let me grow it as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah. Um, be sure to put some fertilizer with it or something. That way you can increase the chances of a uh, it being bronze. So, uh, and there was something else. I just I can't remember what the other turtle wanted, but. Yeah, that, that is something that they asked for. So, I think... Um, it Yeah, I don't know if potato... Like, I know some of the crops in this game like are multi-season, so I'm not... Oh, cucumber? Okay, yeah. Luckily, they accept silver and gold as well. Oh! Oh, that's good to know, Moon Forest. I, I wasn't sure about that. I didn't try. But okay, if you like get a higher quality, it'll still function. That's good to know. Go here. Uh, put this away. Put this over here. Wait, that's the wrong area. My bad. Um, okay, I need to get my... Or I already fertilized the ground, I'm pretty sure, over here. With, or, yep, we're good. Okay, put this here. And then... Oh, no! My symbol! Crap! <laughs> I forgot to put... Ah! Um... Uh, th this looks like a sunflower. <laughs> it does not look like a sunflower. <laughs> That's our sunflower. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, I got too eager to put them all there. That's okay. Fine. All right. There we are. Here's our sunflowers. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, that's okay. Upgrading your seeds to be safe. Yeah, smart. That's a good idea this okay um let's go to the mines so i'm gonna put this away um put this all away too for now just so that we have plenty of room bring the candy and the scuba snacks just in case and off we go um i'll just go to the like even if you go to the air one like you still have a chance of uh bumping into bronze so that's what we'll do. That way we can potentially get down farther. We'll go to floor 30. Yeah, it's really fun. I like it. I think it's definitely a fun game. I've been playing it for about 20 hours already and I've been enjoying myself. Um, like I mentioned earlier, there's still a lot of stuff that's not in the game that's going to come out slowly over time. But I was just really curious and wanted to give this game a shot. How do you want different caves? You have to get to the very bottom of the Earth Cave first which I think was floor 40. And you can get access to the water one too, which I'm in right now. I don't know if I said air or water. I meant to say water. Um, these are the only ones available currently, but in uh, one of the upcoming patches, they're gonna add access to the third one, which I believe is gonna be air. And then fire is actually gonna be added towards like the very late end game. But um, yeah. Welcome on in, Carter. Thanks for stopping on by. Let's see if there's any nodes, actually. Yeah, okay, cool. Got this here. There's actually a lot of space up there. 
Good thing we've already donated a diamond, so we can sell that for some spare cash. Any silver or anything? No, just some... Man, this is a big floor. Oh, yeah, no, there's some silver or iron or whatever over there. Go grab that. Go. Gimme, gimme. Got some silver ore. Sweet. Very nice. I um, probably... Next time, if I really want to get, like, farther into the mines, I'd probably come back with some bombs or something. Actually, this floor is way too big, and there's just way too much stone, so I'm going to ditch it because I'm going to spend too much of my energy here just getting stone, and that's not what I'm here for. So, actually, let me bounce out of here. Maybe go up to, like, a higher floor. Or maybe I will go to the other one. This one has much more bronze. Let's go to, like, floor or five and see how this goes. Oh, right here. Yeah, if you see this on the ground, go up to it and be sure to hit it. Because you can follow a trail. And then get a bunch of copper. There we go. Or bronze. <laughs> Sorry. Which is what I need. Also got this here. I can sell for more money too. Very good. Oh, and nice. There's some here. Good, 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 good. Double ore. Sweet. I think I just need 20 of these, so it shouldn't take that long to find that many. We're already at 15. And we had some left over, so that should be good. Um, I'd say I got used to the map. Like, it maybe took me... Like, by the end of the first day of playing the game, I got a very good sense of, like, where everything was at. I'll ref The main reason I use the map now is to see if a certain shop is open or not. But yeah, I've definitely gotten used to the map layout. Actually, it was funny. Last night I was exploring the town and there was actually one little part of the beach that I had not been to uh, over by like, there's like a lighthouse area that I just completely, for whatever reason, disregarded initially. But um, yeah, now I know where to go without any issue. The, the layout makes sense. And also like there's quick travel, like you eventually unlock quick travel in this game and that helps out a lot too. For sure. This. Get over here. Slime. Thank you. Okay. This should be good. This is all the ones we need. That way we can make our kiln. And then we can use wood to make more charcoal to smelt more bars. Okay, let's get out of here though. We don't need to be there for much of anything else. Go back here. Back to the farm. Yeah, the quick travel, which we just used right now, is really, really nice. All the diamond. Oh, and this too. Go back uh, to get stone. Or actually, I might have enough stone in my inventory to do this. Let me see. I do. Yay. Okay, so now I've made stone. I know I feel kind of weird having these right next to my <laughs> bees and everything. Maybe I'll just bring this over to the left for now. Well, there's all this stuff here, which seems like it's going to be important later on, apparently. I don't know. Let's see. I can't interact with this. It lets me put stuff here, at least. So, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll just make it over here. Maybe I'll just have this be my little spot. But I can leave the bees over this way. That may be kind of cute. Here, let me go this way. Bring these back with me. And put it kind of out of sight. Um, Let me put some tiles under here, though, if it'll let me. It might not. Sometimes it's a little picky about where you can and can't put floor tiles. Let's see. Oh, it lets me put some for the most part. Okay. Welcome on in, uh, Jin Teso. Welcome on in. This. And then combine this stack. Make some more flooring here. Go. Good. 
Oh, I can't use it there. Okay, so it has to be this wide. It can go down a bit more if we need to. I actually have like this kind of go upwards a bit too, actually. Um Don't mind me. I'm just making this here. Okay, so let's put this here. Thank you, Cosmic Waves, for the follow. There. Oh, wait, I can't put it there. Oh, just not here for some reason. Okay. I see. Interesting. Okay. Well, if that's the case, bring that out here. This in by one. I feel like that'll look better. Ooh, near Zara's bow? Okay, thanks for the heads up. I will try to do that. There. Do this. Hmm. Okay, maybe we will put this over here, actually. Sorry, I changed my mind. <laughs> Just because I want to put a one-tile gap between these, if, I, if possible. Actually, I actually want to put this in the center here. There. Up there. Good. Oh, because you yeah, you're checking out. Yeah. Sorry that you're having issues with your account and 2FA. I know how much of a nightmare that can be sometimes. Oh, I still have this. Shoot. Okay, let me, let me see. This here. Let's see. I put this. Sorry, I'm trying to think where I can make room for this uh object here. The recycle maybe I could just remove this for now and put that somewhere else like if I swap these around because the recycle machine looks more aesthetic <laughs> it's just these particular ones they're actually the kiln's not too bad I think that looks kind of cute but I don't really want that over here that's fine let me grab this over here your phone got uh oh I see what you're saying cosmic gotcha 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 this this way oops find those this chest to the left. This here. That there. Here. Oh, thank you, HB. We're we're slowly, 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 slowly putting more decorative elements to it. I need to upgrade my weapons though, because or my tools and my weapon, I guess. Uh, because there's a few things along the way that are kind of blocking, like, <laughs> what I had envisioned for my layout. Oh my god, Ren Ren, thank you so much, by the way, for the 61 months. Holy crap. Um, hey, I hope you are well. Glad I managed to catch some of the stream before I head off to sleep. My god. 61 months. Wow. Thank you so arcade much. Arcade bun, arcade bun. Oh my goodness. I um, appreciate so much for the 61 months. That's a crazy long time. And I'm glad you're able to stop by the stream before you go and catch the hay too. Thank you, thank you, thank you again for the freaking 61 months. That's wild. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to center these a bit more. And thank you everyone for putting the buns out for Ren Ren. Thank you so much. This here. One here. There. Then I think I might have her. Okay. Maybe don't maybe not even here. Maybe I'll even put this down this way. Yeah. That'll be cute for now. Do you yes, you do. I think you if you don't go to bed by two, um, 
you pass out and you don't recover all of your energy the following day. Um, I believe that is the maximum amount of time that you can go out. What here? That, okay. Bring posts and kind of bet leave this this way. Good, good, good. Good tree stumps in the way, but whatever. <laughs> Fine. Hate that tree stump with all my life. Uh, how many? This goes out. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Make a gate. Oops. There we go. There we go. I like that we can jump over the fences too. That makes me really happy for whatever reason. Okay, cool. And then eventually uh, I can put like a fourth one here, which I know might be excessive, but they're kind of cute. I like them and it's just little decorative things there. Oh, what else can I craft? Let me see. So we've made some kegs already. Um, we can make a makeshift arch. I don't know if that'd be very cute here, to be honest. <laughs> um, we can also make... Uh, oh, you know, I haven't made any mason jars, actually. Which need some glass, too. Also, love her, hate him. And Orsi K, thanks for the follows, too. Thank you so much. I don't have much glass left, actually. Um... I can use that with the sandstone, right? Was it? Let me see. Turns out honey was a visual bug. Oh, good. Okay, I'm glad that it's working for you. Wait, two. That's that. What is uh? Where's? Oh, there we go. That's how we make that. Okay, gotcha. Compostman. Okay, okay, okay. There's all that. Um, what I was gonna do. Yeah, Orsi, I... Oh my gosh, I've been playing this game for such long sessions, too. And same sensation. I'm like... I mean, hell, it, I, it doesn't even feel like it's been two hours and I've been playing for two hours. I feel like it's been 30 minutes. Um, yeah, it's 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 a trip. It really is how fast uh, time goes with this game. So I think what I'm going to do here... Because um, eventually, once I upgrade my house, I can also get like furniture and stuff. And I can go here and uh, try to get all that good stuff. So here, let me go and try to get that shark y'all were talking about. Let me see if I can see if I can catch one. Go zoom over there. We've got a little bit of energy left. If anything, we got some candy here that we can use to replenish that if needed. That'll be good. Go over here. Uh, it's the mayor's birthday tomorrow, so I'll be sure to give him something. Here, actually. Go ahead and eat one of these. They've been kind of clogging up my inventory anyway. That way we can go fishing. I, I remember I actually tried fishing by Zara's spot for like a while initially, and I didn't get any bites at all. Um, <laughs> so I would have never thought to try over there again, to be honest, just because I had such bad luck initially. Oh, hi. Tina hangs out over here. Probably uh, hoping to get some extra food. Patrons there. Is this where her boat is? Yeah. Okay. Go here. Let's do some fishing for a little bit. Oh wait, the music's still going on. My bad. <laughs> From 9 in the morning. Oh, to 4 p.m. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. So maybe I should go to my normal spot for right now then actually. What friendship am I working on? Uh, Raphael um, and Pablo are the ones I've been giving gifts to a lot. Mark a little bit too. And then I've been kind of trying my best to talk to people in town as often as I can. But there's just, there's so many that I get a little overwhelmed sometimes. So um, sometimes I'll just kind of go past them because I'm like, I got so many other things to do. <laughs> like, but um. Yeah, uh, I've been putting a focus on th them at least, so I have been trying to improve my relationship with those individuals at least. Yeah, I, I really like them. They're really cute. I like the fact that they're super introverted. Um, I I've made progress with their whole relationship and storyline that's going on right now, so 
I don't know if we'll see any other cutscenes with him in early access just yet, but we've seen at least one. Oh, Scott's fishing over here too. I'm gonna go to my lucky spot here. The spot here has treated me well, so we'll chill here for a bit. Get some more money. And then uh, we'll try to see if we can catch a shark tomorrow for the heck of it. That way we can donate it to the museum. See if we can catch multiple so we can sell another one. Uh, a liar. Rude. Go back here. Come on, little fishies. Don't be shy. Oh, there you are. Come on in, little fishy. There you are. I also did level up, so they're meant to be less resistant now, so they should be easier to catch. So thankfully, um, after getting the hang of this, I really haven't been struggling with the fishing all that much. For once. <laughs> At first, it was definitely a bit of an issue. Yeah, oh my god, Charlie, welcome on in. I promise these are shorts. They're shorts. <laughs> I did run around in boxer briefs for a while, but I got the shortest shorts I could. <laughs> oh my god. It's so funny. You can call them shorts. Yeah, listen. Here, I'll show you right now real quick. We go over here. Got a mackerel. Nice. Look. See? This is the underwear. <laughs> this is when you have no clothes on. Which, to be fair, I guess is not that much of a difference from what we had. The, the shorts are a little bit more bulkier. I, <laughs> hopefully no one will judge us for fishing completely nothing but our underwear out here at uh, late at night. What a ball. Boom. Have you... um? Yeah, I gotta feel the breeze. It's summer, you know? Yeah. It's a swimsuit, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to get our clothes wet. Exactly. Everything's under control. Uh, I was talking about this earlier, though, Charlie. The uh, reason I played as this for a moment in the game, though, is because there's actually a reaction from the villagers in the game when you're not wearing any clothes. That was pretty fun. I really scared this poor grandpa because, like... First, he starts uh, freaking out about this evil corporation that's moving in, and he's like yelling in all caps. And then he looks at me, and he's like, "You're not wearing any clothing. Like, what's wrong with you?" <laughs> that he was really. I think. Oh, it was Sunny. Yeah, Sunny was really going through it that day, stressing out by so much in life at the moment. Sorry for giving you a heart attack, Sunny. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Real grandpa energy, right? Oh my god. Um, it's good. We're barely getting around to being able to kind of like decorate it a little bit, sort of. Because we've like got a pretty decent amount of resources to um, use for decorating. And then... Getting to the point where I can get some revenue to, um, what's it called? Get some outdoor furniture and stuff. There's actually a pretty decent catalog already in the game. There's a furniture shop for a bunch of interior and exterior stuff. So, this is what the farm is like right now. So, um, got a little scarecrow this way with all my little props here and some flowers. And then my cow is over this way and they've got all this uh grass out here and uh they i did interact with them today right i think i did yeah they're six days old now i think i already pet them so we're, we should be good yeah so like oh man my in spring my farm was a mess it was every like all the crops were mixed together and like this little rectangle and like it was so bad. Like, nothing was even next to each other. It was it was a mess. It was really, really ugly. 
<laughs> but uh, we've been able to kind of uh, organize it. We've got this nice little system here with like symbols with the chests and everything. So that's been good. Um, oh, right. I wanted to see how much a thing of milk goes for. Well, I, you know, I think it's kind of hard to make it so that like, honestly, the farm doesn't look like a mess in the beginning. I mean, it's definitely possible, but oh man, I didn't know what I was doing and it just looked like a disaster. <laughs> Wait, I thought I sold one. Oh, I'm about to sell one of these. You know, go ahead and sell these. That's fine. I, I get milk on the daily. It should be fine. I just, I need a little bit of extra cash right now, so... We'll just sell that. Oh, wait. So I have... Let me see. Three there. That's good. Let me go over this way and put this in here. That there. I need to get my tools out. So let me get the net, the hoe, the scythe, watering can, my axe. Okay. There we go. I also, I normally do wear this shirt. I did spend money on it um, for spring. So there's a whole little clothing store in this game. And they have a pretty decent amount of uh, clothing in there too. And more will come in the future. You start off with like um, one of these outfits of your choosing in the start. So you, there's a bunch of different like colors that you can pick. Um, and then... Yeah, there's like, oh, actually, let me see if I can show you. Um, oh, well, I guess this is kind of like a little bit of a spoiler if you haven't gone to this point yet. If you haven't checked out this shop here, just a heads up if you want to look away for a moment. But um, <laughs> I, I I know, I think you would appreciate this, Charlie. Oh, we got a cricket. Nice. So, is it here? Oh, yeah, see, look. We've got the OG farmer hat here. <laughs> There's also a panda outfit you can get, a Santa Claus hat, a piggy bank. Oh, eggplant seeds too. Nice. Um, yeah, and there's also a concerned ape reference with concerned uh, monkey, which is really cute. Yeah, the OG hat. Isn't that so cute? A little nod back to um, the OG. <laughs> and yeah, this game's in early access right now. Um... But there, I'll show you around the shops and stuff, actually. Wait, I've already donated this cricket, right? Let me see. Uh, let me see. Caught. Insects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can sell this. I'll, I'll show you uh, here. I'm working on saving up to upgrade my... No, for me too, Moonforest. Like, initially it did, and then someone mentioned in chat. And I was like, oh my god. So, like, you know, you can go here and you can... Organize and decorate your room very much like an Animal Crossing, Stardew, all that good stuff. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff there. I'm gonna have my character go to sleep. How's the? I, I've been really enjoying it. Like, there's still a lot that is gonna be added into the game later. Ooh, nice. We actually made a pretty decent amount of money there. So I'm trying to save up five thousand coins so I can get my house upgrade. Um, that's what I'm saving up for. Oh, wait, is the museum ready? Oh, Joko, I hope you're doing okay. Here's a little something for you. Oh my God, Joko, thank you. So, this here, go water my crops. Hopefully some of them will be ready soon. My big money makers coming soon. There. But yeah, I mean, I've played this game for about 20 hours already and I'm barely starting summer. We start in spring. And I've been really, really enjoying it. Um, I'll show you around and kind of... If anyone that's tuning in and kind of wants to get a general sense of what you can do in the game so far, I'll kind of go around and do as much as I can today. So, of course, you know, the main thing is that this is a farm sim game. So the gameplay mirrors Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley, um, all those types of farm sim games. And uh, you can also... One thing that's special about this game that you, I haven't seen in any other farm sim games is you can actually go deep sea diving. And under the sea, there's a whole bunch of trash that you help clean up. And you're working with the scientist Ling and uh, one of their relatives, I, I forget their name, Surya, I think. Um, you're helping them basically use like the science and like kind of magic to restore oral back to life and you're like cleaning up the space um this game has a lot of magic elements to it so we've run into spirits 
Uh, there's eventually going to be merfolks in the games. Um, watered all that. Let me go and pick up my cow. So you can get animals. Um, actually, let me let the animal out. Right now, you can, I know you can get chickens. You can get cows. Um, I don't know if you can... Like, there's goats and stuff up there. There's, like, peacocks and other animals as well. But I'm assuming at some point you can unlock... Um, you can grab a lot of the crops and stuff and turn them into other things. So, you know, you've got your kegs and your bee houses and stuff to make, like, honey and nectar and juices and all that. Yay! Three hearts now. All right, cool. Still giving us regular old milk, though. Oh, yeah. How much does one thing of milk go for? Let me go see. Go this way and check it out. So over here, we've got... Oh, it goes for 75 a pop. Okay, not too bad, actually. So it's pretty early right now, but um, we've watered our crops so we can walk out over here and uh, check out some goodies over this way. So down this way, uh, you can do bug catching in this game, which is really fun. So you can catch, you know, various butterflies and um, other like insects and you can donate them to the museum. Uh, you can find forageable goods and they change each season. Find different like little flowers and mushrooms and everything. We'll go over by the museum and see if I need to donate any of these. I'm not too sure. But if I don't need to, then I just sell them for some extra cash. Um, Alberly, hello. Welcome on in. This is where the inn is. But here, let me show you what the diving's like. So you go down this way. And you can go diving. And you can catch things underwater too. So there's kelp, seaweed, a bunch of sea life that you can catch down here too. So, over this way, see, I need to, if you get lost, you can call the anchor quickly. This is Kibble, the bot Kibble that helps us in our little underwater here. Um, but they want a large milk of bronze quality before I can go and access over this stuff and clean that area up. I need to heal 20 coral sites. So that's why you can see this coral over here, it's all dead and desaturated and tainted with oil. But see, this is some over here that we've already cleaned up this way. So we've actually, Brought a lot of life back to it and everything. And we can go here and get fiber, seaweed. Um, there's also a bunch of like seashells and stuff that you can pick up and everything. Um, and eventually you're gonna have to upgrade your scuba gear to go deeper in the water. This is meant to indicate like how deep you can go. So our suit goes to a maximum of like down that depth. And we'll need to upgrade our stuff to go down even more but i think about the point skills limited oh i don't mind i mean they still feel very useful i know that the tier two skills aren't available right now but um the other ones that like we have currently have been super super um great so far i still need to get ranching ones i'll have, oh potentially for feed to stay filled the next day that's nice oh that that's actually really good too so yeah, the, the deep sea diving is cool because like when you go and you get, there's like kelp that you can find too. And the kelp you can actually bring over to the science lab. And the science lab that's ran by Ling, you can actually use that to upgrade the quality of like your seeds, your hay, fruit, um, even uh, other elements like that. Uh, this is Theo here. I see seals, turtles, all kinds of wild animals swimming in the shore in the summer. I talk to them too sometimes for fun. I wouldn't sail too far if I were you. Not in this heat. You might run into a storm at sea. Nothing. Uh, over here, by the way, we've also got like a little beach shack store here. So you can buy like food here and whatnot. Oh, it's not open right now. It'll be open in a few minutes. But the world is pretty big already and it's going to be expanded upon even more in the future. Um, little coffee shop over this way. I don't think I have anything to buy at the store today, do I? Yeah, we can ignore that for right now. But I can go show you. So you go in here, and this is where you can go do your shopping. You can upgrade your bags in here and whatnot. So I've got most of everything. I've already planted radishes before. The only thing I haven't planted so far will be, I think, the star fruit. 
uh, okra and melon. So those will be the next things that I get. Actually, I might get melon next just because it takes so long to grow. So I may as well like, oh, the star fruit also takes really long to grow. Oh God. Yeah, so I'll get those next. Um, I can make some money. Go back here. I'm not taking advantage. Oh, gotcha. I mean, that's totally valid. For me, I I don't, it doesn't bother me or anything. I I can understand your frustration with that though, for sure. Uh, this is where you can do all the upgrades. So if you go this way, this is where you bring the bronze kelp to upgrade your seeds, plants, fruit trees, and hay. Then you can get silver, gold, and whatever this quality is to keep upgrading that. That might be for like a future update. But you've got a blacksmith where you can go and um, take coffers to. They can also upgrade your weapons and your equipment. Actually, I do need to go there because I do have one on hand. And I think I still need to give Pablo a present. So go and do that. And let's see if he's in the shop today. He is. At least I think I still need to give him something. Oh, no, I've already given him. All right, we're good. We're good. I don't need a proper heater. I work in front of the furnace all day. Must take a lot of planning to run a farm. What to plant and when and so on. Ooh. If we get any new artifacts by any chance. See. Okay, we got a snow globe. That's an extra, so we can sell that for some extra coin. Oh, you know what? We're right by the stores. I don't know if they're open right now, actually. Yeah, um, the roadmap has when the events are going to be coming in. I know the, the tree planting event is going to be the first one that they add in. And then, um, I mean, this this is what you get with early access. It's not done. It's going to, yeah, stuff is going to come in as it goes on. The sandless item in Pablo's room? No, I have not. Oh, my God. I'll need to go back over there and investigate. But this is the furniture shop. So eventually we'll come back here and buy some more goodies so we can decorate our room. I've been going for the beach style, but there's a lot of really, oh, this is really cute. There's a little aquarium here. But we got the beach style this way. So this is the set that I've been going for. It's very cute. Uh, and then over here, we ha have outdoor furniture. There's no preview items for, like, no preview pictures, but you can still get them and use them, I imagine. I, I like that you can also spend money to just, like, buy the tiles and stuff if you don't want to, like, go out of your way to use resources. But if you got, like, a bunch of money, you can just opt for it that way, which is great. And um, there's also similar styles here that match the interior. But there's also some that are just completely separate, like the uh, Halloween style, for instance, which will definitely do this. Because, I mean, obviously it's October. And by the time we get to fall, I think we'll have enough revenue to really go out with uh, decorating for a Halloween style, which will be cute. And then the clothing store should be open in just a few minutes, which will be good. That way I can show you the different styles that you can get there. Oh, I missed. Damn it. <laughs> well, that's okay. Oh, yeah, I need to get my fishing pole, actually. I'm uh, from California. Pretty... This? Let me move that in real quick. Yeah, here you can do shopping and, you know, make outfits. And I like that they thought... Because, like, the most annoying thing in Animal Crossing was how you can never buy multiple things at once. But yeah, you can make a whole outfit here. And uh, there's a bunch of different styles. Glasses, there's different like shoes and stuff. Full outfits, there's different little hats that you can do. There's even um, bags as well. Oh wow, it even carries over. That's Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it keeps going. Uh, there's also full outfits you can purchase too. So, um, yeah. And then the salon is right next door. So they, they bumped up the price. <laughs> Before it was only, I think, 50 coins to change your appearance, but now I think it's 500. But if you ever want to change your character's appearance, you can go here and you can change your hairstyle, anything about your character. Hairstyle, hair color. You can also change body type. Um, and the nice thing about this game is you have a color wheel for everything. So you can really go for whatever hair color you want and you can you know, make it work. There's also a selection at the bottom of, like, pre-made swatches that you can pick from, which is cool. 
And uh, yeah, there's different eyebrow styles. And again, with the eyebrows, the eyes and everything, same thing, you can use the color wheel for all of those. Um, for the body, you can also change the body mass as well. And um, same thing, you can also change the skin tone to be whatever you'd like. So if you go here, do the saturation, uh, you can go here and like really pinpoint it. I, what you can do too, you can use like this like as a base and it'll like, oh, well in the character creator anyway, it like actually puts the values in here. They might've changed that maybe. But yeah, you, you can really like pinpoint and try to find, kind of find more like kind of what's down there. Um, and you can, you know, mess around with the saturation and whatnot. Or if you want to play like a fantasy character and if you want to have like skin or whatever, you can do that too if you'd like. Um, yeah, the body mass slider is really good. Um, yeah, I've tried fishing quite a bit. I do like it. You, uh, yeah, you can't play, uh, right now in early access, it only supports, uh, mouse and keyboard. Controller support is on the roadmap, but, um, I don't know exactly when that's going to be implemented. Oh, wait, also, hold on. It's the mayor's birthday today, isn't it? Yeah, where is he? Um, I don't know where he hangs out, to be honest. He's not one that I usually go out of my way to see. Um, oh yeah, the nice thing about this game is without any mods or anything, you can actually go around and try to find where people are at. Just have the hardest time. Because like, where I can never spot them out. <laughs> I, oh, Mary's house. He's, he's in his house right now. Okay. Go over there. That's good. Yeah, um, there is a hot springs that you can go to. Uh, you, you might have it unlocked already and might not know. It's over this way. It's right above this purple house. This is the hot springs here. If you walk in, you can spend some time there and um, relax and you will regenerate energy. You can also go around and get forageable goods like, you know, flowers and mushrooms that are around town and you can consume those to regenerate some energy as well. Uh, let's see. Is he okay? Good. He's in an area. I can. Wow, his house is cute. I haven't actually seen his house yet. Summer is here. Can you believe it's almost a weekend already? Wow, look, he has an aquarium in his kitchen. What the? <laughs> Go. Thank you for the remembering my birthday. Betty's right. You are a very thoughtful person. Oh, cute. All right. Go back here. Actually, there is a quick travel spot over here, so I think I'm going to go over there. Oh, wait. I need to get this over here. That. I need to get um, my fishing pole. I forgot to come out with it. I'm going to go see if I can get a shark by Zara's house. Um, over this way, there are a bunch of different uh, sessions which are these offerings that you can make to this uh, goddess and um, get rewards for it. So we're, we're working on getting the summer one ready. So we need some hot peppers, sunflower, and blueberry. So thankfully we've got all those things planted already. The nice thing, I've unlocked fast traveling here. Um, as you progress through the game, you unlock more fast travel spots, which is really nice. So now we can go over here. I can go this way. Uh, oh wait, actually, I do need to check to see. This is the maple leaf cutter moth. Oh, I already sold one of these. Okay, maple leaf cutter. Good. Let me just look at all these and see if I've donated all these. I think I have. Okay, we totally have. Cool, so we can go ahead and sell this then. This back here. Uh, seaweed goes in diving. This goes here. Along with that. That this way. Okay, now let's get our machine rod. And go back to town. There we go. Yeah, the fishing is pretty straightforward. Um, you don't really have to like seek out any particular bubbles or anything. At least the way that it currently works in the game. You just have to kind of send out your cast. And then 
You just have to wait for the fish silhouette to approach. Oh, wow. That one went running away so fast. So let's go over here. I think we can get to Zara's houseboat from here. Yeah. Okay. Go fish for a moment. See if we're lucky and can maybe get a shark or two. We can donate one to the museum. Our museum should be getting a grand opening soon, too, because we've been doing a campaign basically to. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Okay. This might be one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, yeah, basically, see those little squiggles? The squiggles can't go all the way to the red. Oh, wow. It's, uh, oh my god. Catching these is, this is the most difficult fish I've had to catch. They're normally, I assure you, it's normally not this difficult. But I think because we're getting a shark right now, this is why this is a little bit harder. Oh my god, sorry, I'm like concentrating so much. <laughs> we're almost there. Oh my god. Okay, holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I did not realize that was going to be that ginormous. <laughs> Stars are kind of common. It's OP. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, maybe they'll, they'll, maybe they'll, excuse me, maybe they'll nerf this. Um, I know I saw in the patch notes that they had like nerfed honey because I guess like honey was making way too much money in the start. So, oh geez. Yeah, we'll just catch two of these then. I don't want to break the game too much because I do kind of like slowly progressing stuff and I don't want to like unlock stuff too quickly. Um, so we'll catch, we'll just catch one more and then we'll, that way we have one to sell and one, one to, and another one to donate. Yeah, at least they make you work for these sharks. My God. Like, I don't know if there's like a better strat for this, but uh, it seems like you kind of have to be a little patient with these. Oh my God. Hopefully this will level my fishing skill a bit too. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Come on in. Oh, almost there. All right, we're halfway to reeling it in. There we go. Nice. Oh, you brought an improved... Uh... Oh, nice. That one's bronze quality. Sweet. Okay, cool. The Titan um, honey is... Ball is still worth a lot. Ooh, okay. That's good to know in case we end up needing to make... A lot of revenue for whatever reason in the game. Holy shark, though. Go donate one and then we'll go sell one. <laughs> oh my god. Who, who threw this koi fish away? What the? <laughs> Poor little fishy. Oh my god. Alright, we did that there. Oh wait, oops, did I not do that? There we go, confirm. Alright, nice. Yay! The legendary salt water fish, the apex predator of the ocean. Cool. Very nice, very nice. All right, let's go over here. Head back to the farm so I can put this in the box. Let me make sure, I think I watered all my crops, but I just want to double check because I legitimately cannot remember. <laughs> so let me go check this with water while I'm here. All those goodies. Let me see. Everything's watered, right? Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. And I've already had the cow. Yes. Okay, good. Cow is happy. Um, what time does this shop close? Oh, it's already closed. Okay. Uh let me go over to the carpenters real quick. I wanna see how much my next house upgrade is gonna be. Because I know it is 5,000 coins, but I might need to go and get some resources. Say hi to Kenny. The bugs are always thickest in summer. Yesterday, I caught a wasp in the barn and released it outside. It stung me, but I think it was just scared. Oops, I got a little bit of pollen on my hat. Good thing it didn't land in my eyes. Is there a flower nearby? I can brush it on. Oh my god. He's very sweet. Seeds. Let's go in here. 
Let's see. Upgrade house. Okay, so let me write this down. I need 5,000 coins. And then I need 100 wood, 50 stone, 5 bronze, and 5 silver. I should have enough for all of that, I'm pretty sure. So that's good. I just need to get the actual coins for it. And then let's see, edit farm buildings, upgrade. And to upgrade it, you can increase the animal capacity. And oh, you just need 30 wood and two bronze bars. That's not bad. I don't need to upgrade it right now, but that's good to know. Uh, let me see, shop. The calendar, like, I don't know if it actually, I don't think it functions. Like, I, someone said that they bought it and like it didn't work in their house, I guess. It was a decorative thing for right now. We can eventually get a coop to get some chickens too. Oh, well, water source. Actually, that would be kind of nice to have eventually too. All right. Well, anyway, good to know that we have most of the resources that we need for, or we have all the resources we need, I think, for that. I might go and chop down some more wood though, because I think I did use quite a bit when I was crafting earlier. Got some mixed seeds. Very nice. Let's go and talk to uh, Jack. Try to stick to shady areas on my way to work in the mornings. I might melt if I spend too much time in the sun. Glad Kira's not out hunting anymore. Not that I don't think she could handle it. It's the heat. Gotcha. Look at all these cuties down here. They're adorable. Go down here. Way. Then, all uh, oh right. I wanted to see the wood. So we have 246. We're gonna use 100. Yeah. Let me go ahead and chop down some trees then. I use my energy for that. Cause this is just a resource we constantly need. I'm gonna need some to turn into charcoal too. Actually. Oh yeah. Let me make sure that I have enough iron and bronze bars. I think I do, but. Just double check up this way. So we have, um, oh yeah, we have 24 bronze and 17 silver. So we're, we're good with that. Let me go here though and still make some coal. Um, requires, wait, oh, 10 wood to just make one? Oh, damn. Okay, maybe we won't do that. That conversion rate's a little rough. You get like a decent amount of coal from the mines. It's like not super common that you find it, but if you go over there, you can find it relatively quickly. We'll do this. We also, we have the skill thing to get like hardwood potentially from chopping down trees. I don't think I've gotten any yet. So, not sure if I'm just unlucky or if that just might not be in the game yet. Pop this down. I also do want to make more wood floor tiles eventually, because they're pretty cute. I actually haven't seen what the other ones look like yet. That. Again, my plan is to expand the farm more south. Actually, maybe I should clear out this spot to the left a little bit too, because if I want to get a chicken coop, I kind of want to put it in this area here, and this area is a mess right now. So... Uh, clean this up a little bit. Though I won't be able to fully clear this out until I upgrade my tools. Of the larger rocks and uh, wood around here. That's okay. That. A little small tree. Our little tree. Nothing personal. Get rid of all the shrubs first because those are kind of in the way and they actually I underestimate them. I'm, I always think I can walk over them for whatever reason, but you cannot kind of get in the way. I have to go over to the hot springs for a moment too. Yeah, we're about to be out of energy. Okay, let's head over there and keep chopping down some trees afterward. Now though, completely drain energy. Okay, cool. 
Oh, nice. We got an earth geode, too, which we can bring to the blacksmiths later. Put this here. And I put this in here just whenever I go into town. Um, I think you just do it once. I think. Because I want to say after I gathered some crops that the, uh, it was still fertilized, I, I believe. Unless I'm mistaken, but it felt like it was anyway. Taking a bit of a roundabout area to, or way to get there, but that's okay. Actually, this, that path seems a lot more straightforward than the other one, actually. Keep taking that path next time. Okay, actually, as my character regains energy, this will be a perfect time for me to take a break, like, in real life. <laughs> but I'll be right back real quick. Um, I'm going to have my character kind of just uh, get his energy back. But yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna get some water and uh, use the restroom real quick. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, I am back. Thank you for waiting. Go back here. And do this. Oh, so Moon Forest, when you do that, um, go out of your way to get, like, close to it. So, you're, they didn't really explain this, but your character has to be relatively close to where it is. So, like, if your character is here and you're trying to place it over this way... Like, actually physically move your character up this way and then, like, try to place it while it's standing, like, one tile in front of it. And then it should turn green. I was a little confused about that, too. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I'm glad that wasn't just me. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was like, there's no way. I'm like, I, ha I went out of my way to clear out so much space to put it down. And so, yeah, someone in chat let me know that you just have to get kind of close to it and then... That worked, so, um, yeah, glad that also worked for you, too. Alrighty, let's chop down some more trees. Once our energy is depleted, we'll move on to the next day. And then, uh, we're getting closer, uh, to being able to afford our house upgrade, so I'm super stoked about that. And our first summer crops are around the corner to finally, um... Finishing, so I'm stoked about that too. Oops, this. Perfect. So many pine cones. You know, I actually can make a lot of candies if I wanted to, because if you get the tree seeds. And sap, you can craft those candies, which I maybe should do. 
Because energy, rip, like, is still a bit of an issue for me. When I'm, you know, chopping down trees or in the mines. So, yeah, the candies are really nice. They And they give you a pretty decent burst of energy in the game, too, actually. Oh, wow, wait. Are we next to a body of water down here? Oh, we totally are. <gasps> wait. Oh, that's a, this is a really pretty area, actually. Cool. Okay. Neat. This will be a great spot to put some cute little... Can you refill your water here, too? <gasps> you can. Wait. Maybe in fall, I'll move down most of my crops down here. I mean, I know I can build a well, but just having it next to this body of water would be really pretty. I think I would like that. Okay. Let's keep getting some more materials. It'll be worth it. Oh, I like this Animal Crossing song. I think this one is from... Is this GameCube? Or Wild World or something? Maybe City Folk. I feel like it's one of the older ones. I remember listening to this one a lot because... I always play really late at night. <laughs> I've just always been very much a night owl. That's why in New Leaf and eventually New Horizons, I did go for the night owl ordinance so that things would stay up later. Though, I will say, the one thing about Disney Dreamlight Valley I don't like, for whatever reason, I don't know why I don't like it in that game. I don't like the real-time clock in that game. <laughs> Only because, at least in Animal Crossing, I can time travel, you know? So if I'm sick of just playing in the nighttime constantly, I can rewind time and just, like, play a little bit earlier. But I can't do that in Disney Dreamlight Valley. And so, like, whenever I, I would stream it, or whenever I can stream it, the sun has already set. And it's all nighttime, and, like, it's fine. But I feel like my valley looks so much better in the daytime like uh, yeah th that's what i wish it was like i wish that it just had a very quick like you would have multiple days and nights as you were playing that'd be nice but yeah i'm always stuck in the afternoon and it makes me so sad i get rid of the smaller bits around here because i don't think i can chop down another tree i'll just go around and i'll get more fiber what not Nice, we've actually done a really good job of clearing out a pretty big chunk of all the mess in this farmland, actually. I mean, this area still needs a lot of work. But that's really it. Like, this this middle zone, everything else, I've kind of gone out of my way to sort of figure out, kind of. Like, we have a nice, easy way to go to the south part of town. So, yeah. Very nice. All right, let's have our character go to bed now. We got a new day tomorrow. So, put this away. This too. This can go here. All righty. Go to bed. Uh, how are you doing, Mockingbird? How's the weather going to be tomorrow, actually? Let me see. Sunny, go to bed. Relationship went up with Connor. We made 1,500 coins. We're now at... How much? 2,003? Oh, 3,900. Took a moment to update. Okay, cool. I think tomorrow we'll have enough to do our house upgrade, finally. Ooh! <gasps> what? Oh my god. Andrew, I wanted you to have this. Is that okay? Hope you like it, Raphael. He gave us some sashimi. Oh, so nice. Oh, Grandma gave us something, too. To our Andrew. It's been a while since my last letter. How are you doing there, sweetheart? We miss you every day. Ashley has given me a hard time lately. We refused her favorite food and are out most nights. We'll take her to the vet soon. Oh, Ashley's an animal? <laughs> okay, they mentioned Ashley last time. I'm like, who's Ashley? <laughs> we made you some clip-ons. Your favorite. Oh, how nice. And restore coconut coated rice balls. What? Oh, that sounds really yummy. 
And then you got raw fish with the side of spicy green paste. Ooh, delightful. So I think with Raphael and Pablo, we've given them two gifts already. I, I can't get much. Well, I'm, do I have any leftover mushroom now? Let me see. Oh, I do. Okay, we can bring two of these then if we happen to bump into either Ben or Mark. Because they love those. So we can kind of... Uh... Oh my god! Our first hot pepper! Let's go with the hot pepper over here. And uh, let's make some hot pepper juice. Increase the value of it. And we... Oh my god, and the flowers! The flowers are ready too. The wheat. Oh wait, maybe the fertilizer is one time used. Because those flowers definitely had it and it's not there anymore. I'm actually not sure then, actually. We were just talking about that a moment ago. Here, go make some honey for me. We'll use all three, may as well. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. And they're all making honey at once. Very good, very good. So, I'll buy... One, two, three, four more of those flowers. Fine. This way. So happy we have our first pepper. Which means all the other ones are going to be here very, very soon. Hell yeah. This. Um, I'm not too... Well, I guess if we put higher quality flowers into... The bee house, maybe it'll make higher quality honey. But uh, I think I'm going to save the fertilizer for the other bits of... Because uh, there's melons and star fruit that we need to get. So I'll wait for that. Or... Yeah, no, no, no. I want to save money to buy the house. So we'll, we'll wait. I was going to say, we could go ahead and buy those now. But it'll be fine. That's all watered. This here too... Oh, nice. That juice finished so quickly, actually. Good to know the kegs work super fast in this game. Oh, we gotta let the cow out soon. Okay, so we got all that watered. This one's missing water. Everything else seems good. Okay, we're gonna buy four flowers, though. That way we can keep that going. Open this here. Be cow free. Um, okay. That's good. Um, let me hold on to this meal for some other day. Same thing with the sashimi. So this is bronze quality. Very nice. Uh, we have more of this. Oh, we have other glass here too. Okay. Why did I need glass? Oh, the mason, the mason jar stuff. That's right. Um, uh, put this in here. But I'm gonna save this, because I think it's more important for the bronze kelp right now. Remember how you got bigger chests? Yes! Um, spend, if you spend time in the mines, I think that's how you can unlock the stone chest. And, um, the stone chest is what gives you 40 slots. So, those have been very, very handy, for sure. Here. Okay. Let's see. Still three hearts at the moment. Okay. Fine. Yeah, um, the mines are really, really useful for sure. Got some milk. We'll, we'll hold on to some of the milk then. Okay, so that's all good. Speaking of the mines, we could go down there again. Um, trying to think what I should do. Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can... Just to shake it up, we'll go to the mines today. So actually, let me bust out those meals, actually, after all. And I'm going to put some stuff in here. We don't need the scythe, the watering can, or the axe. Everything else is fine. I'm going to see if I can happen to bump into... Um, theme. We have... Uh, Mark at home. I never can find that man. I see him sometimes roaming around and I like don't have anything for him. There's I wish I could put like um like if we favored them, that maybe like a little border would be around them on the map or something. Cause y'all, I swear. Like I I'm not wild, like right? Like where are they sometimes? 
Like, where do they go? Like, are they in the undiscovered part of the world sometime? Because <laughs> I'm like, it's 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 wild. Like, Mark, I feel, is one of the most elusive people ever. Uh, it's like, Kenny straight up disappeared for you on your birthday. I, I swear it happens sometimes. And it's like, I will look over the map, like every pixel, j just to see if maybe I missed it or something. But like, no, it's, they're always missing somewhere. <laughs> Like, please, where are you? Why are you so close to me? You smell like a farm. I mean, valid. When's the last time you took a bath, honestly? I mean, I guess the hot springs, but that's not really much of a bath. <laughs> oh, God. At least Leah's honest, you know? Uh, say what you will about Leah, but hey, if she has a problem with you, she'll at least tell you what the problem is. <laughs> that's uh, more than you can say for most people, I say. I get this dragonfly. Hey, nice. I think I need to donate that actually. Yeah, I do. Oh, said to bring good luck. Oh my god, make a wish, everyone. I just got a dragonfly. I didn't realize they symbolized good luck. Very good. Then here, more trash. Okay. You never know what you'll find. Sometimes there will be like boy fish or something. Sweet. I'm excited because our museum should be uh, getting another little grand opening soon. That's cool. Gonna get four of those flowers. Almost ready to go shopping. The coffee cookies. Go in here. Damn, 10 kelp from a chest. Nice job. Oh, silver kelp. Oh, shit. Very nice. That's huge. Okay, so... Because how much... Yeah, these seeds are pretty expensive. Oh, my God. The melon seeds are especially expensive. Damn, dude. Holy crap. Okay. Gotcha. 13 days, 12 days. Wow. Jesus. I'm sure their turnaround is good, though. Hopefully. Aw, Taco. Look at Taco. Being so cute. I want to talk to you. There we go. He smells a lot like Luke. <laughs> They're so sweet. I love that. That's just like a daily thing for them. Like... <laughs> Always just chilling there. How would we know how Luke smells? <laughs> That's a good point. Go down there. Oh, wait. I need my watering can out after all. My bad. Oh, wait. No, I already watered it. So we're good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two. Oh, did I overcount? Oh, I did. Oops. Okay, well, that's fine. We can use that for... Oh! Oh, I see. So that's the first time I bought seeds after upgrading them. So, oh, any new seeds that I purchased now, uh, I guess have that now. Interesting, that's so cool. I, okay, I, I was wondering, I thought that it was just like inherently implying it to whatever's like in your farm, but um, it is now after you buy the seeds from there, they will be of bronze quality. Cool. All right, very, very neat. Okay, let's go down here, and hopefully we'll find some gems that we can sell for money. And we can find some diamonds and stuff. And we've got some snacks here to eat. Go here. Hop back into the mines. Very good. Oops, I missed. Also, I'm not positive, but... um. I know later tonight some of my friends might be playing Dead by Daylight, maybe. I'm not sure. But if they are, I might join them at some point later tonight. Oh, shit. Did I not bring my sword? What is wrong with me? <laughs> like, I'm going to fight them with my net. Oh, my God. I'm like, wait a minute. Like, that was my bad. Really was about to go into battle with a fishing net. I don't know what that was about. 
My bad. There we go. All right, we got our sword now. That was uh, <laughs> my mistake. All good. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. It, it might be possible though, that I might play some DVD later tonight, and uh, depending on like how energetic I am and how it's all going, um, might also play some Overwatch 2 on stream, or I might just do all this. I just kind of playing it by ear, but. Thankfully, it's Saturday, just 4 p.m. for me, so got the whole day ahead, and then I might, ooh, okay, nice, got some, uh, a note here and some copper I can get this way, yay, diamond, perfect, very nice, more of this. I usually take Sundays off, so... Oh man, I really want to play this game. <laughs> but I I did such a long stream, I, I really shouldn't burn myself out, so I might just rest tomorrow after all. I'm so sorry, I've been meaning to do movie nights on Discord, but I've just been like... These games have been uh, really... So fun. have <laughs> been really distracting me. Double gems, hell yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Thank goodness. I can sell those. But yeah, well, we should definitely have um, 5k coins tomorrow, I think. Because we should hopefully find a few more things to sell. Or we'll be really close. If we're like super duper duper close, uh, if assuming the shop's open, I can go and sell some goodies there, like some of the crops I've been holding on to. I think I might be overestimating, like, the ones that I need to hold on to, maybe. But, you know, it's just that paranoia that speaks in sometimes where I'm like, I gotta hold on to everything. Got a little bit of cash just chilling there. Yeah, it's just like any farm sim game I play, or even like Disney Dreamlight Valley, I very rarely get rid of anything. I just kind of like it onto it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Whenever you read something out of season, you're just like, no. Because, well, the good thing is we are working pretty steadily to unlocking the greenhouse. So thankfully that worry goes away once you get that because then you can just grow whatever you want. So that's always really good. In my greenhouse, I'm wondering what I should keep in there too. I feel like I'd probably opt for like either peppers or like blueberries, like some kind of crop that just keeps growing as time goes on. That way I kind of just set it and forget it and just kind of get stuff every once in a while from there. Voice? Any other nodes here? Let me. Uh, it looks like it's primarily stone here. Let me double check. This one's green? Oh, it's just regular stone. Okay. Yeah, no nodes. Okay. No worries. That's okay. Go this way. Nice. What floor are we on? Oh, not wow. We're on floor 35. Sweet. That wasn't even really what I was trying to do, but... Hey, I will gladly take that. This. Sweet. Uh, let's see. Oh, good, good, good. Another gem we can sell. Oh, inventory is full. Definitely going to get rid of these then. This is more valuable. Then I'll need to get rid of something else for this. Get rid of this singular piece of wood here. Yeah. Nothing else on this floor. Okay. Go here. Destroy these. Oops. Need to be better about saving stuff because I love to purge all of my chests. 
I feel you. I sometimes want to because I'm like, wow, there's so much money here. <laughs> like I could sure use some. Got some spiders. Get out of here. Oh, inventory's full again. Uh, get rid of the trash. Because, yeah, the spider fur barely drops. And again, I don't know if it's used for anything, but it's been something that's been kind of hard to come by. Even though we go against a lot of spiders in this game. Thank you. Guess if anything, we could go swing by the farm. Or I could consume one of these candies, actually, to make inventory space if I need to again. Thank you, by the way, Power... Uh, Karim for the follow. And for making headbutt dance. There he is, doing his little dance. <laughs> uh, for one channel point, you can also spawn yourself an, as an animal if you'd like. It's, um, thankfully, it's the cheapest channel point there is. You just have to type in, in that field, horse, alpaca, cow, or goat. And, uh, maybe... In like 30 minutes or something, I can go walk around the farm behind me and show you all your animals. This. Yeah, it's something that I set up uh, with the help of my friend, Captain Steelpants. And then we can... Yeah, let's consume this candy. Get us some more energy real quick. I thought the square farm was just like a random get... Oh, no, yeah. No, you're totally good. Yeah, um, here. Well, I, I can take a quick little break to show you. Why not? Since we're talking about it. But yeah, if you're um, watching and you haven't spawned your own animal, feel free to do so. Um, I am a VTuber here on Twitch. This is my valley. It's Arcadia Valley, my latest level that I've debuted into the world. And you can be a part of it. You can spawn in an animal in the background. After you spawn in an animal, you can do X space point jump to jump around. You can also do X space point random to randomize your color too. So if we go this way, we'll head over here. We can see there's Sammy, we've got Panic Simmer, a whole bunch of people jumping around, Pedro's jumping, uh, Ditz Viv is jumping, Princess is jumping. We've got Moon Forest, Tux is over this way. Uh, Carter, you just spawned a horse right there. There's your horsey. Uh, Bell, let me see if we can find your cow. There's your cow, Bell. So yeah, you can do x point jump to jump around. You can do x point random to randomize your uh, cow or animal color, I should say. And um, you can also, like if you want to go back to your default Twitch username color, you can just spawn in the animal again. And you're never like, you know, locked into the animal that you picked. You can um, change it around if you want. So I'm a cow right now towards like the left over there. But if I want to change to a, a horse, I can do that. And then there I am. There's my horse right over this way. Uh, it'll delete whatever animal you had previously and spawn you in as um, the new one. So yeah, it's been really, really fun to get this all going. Oh wait, I think there's a couple of you that got caught up here in the corner. So this was uh, Owl Socks Chick. And Alpha. <laughs> Sorry, you two really, really want to go out over there, but you can't. <laughs> but uh, if you ever get stuck in a corner like that, and if you want to like go back into the crowd, you just got to spawn it in again. There's Yoshime, who just spawned in. But yeah, um, thank you. I'm glad that you like it. I, uh, yeah, again, set this all up with my friend Captain Steel Pants. We set up all of the programming behind it and everything, and really proud of it. I'm so happy with how it came out. I had like the vision in my head and um i'm happy i was able to make it a reality um and it was all because basically for halloween my vtuber is wearing this little cow outfit um normally this is what my vtuber looks like and i have different layers for my vtuber's outfit here like this that i can toggle um but for halloween i would un wanted to do something more fun so went over here and now we've got this little outfit this way and it's got a little physics the cow ears flop as you can see as i move my head around and the tail also has a bunch of bounce physics too 
And you can do a bunch of silly things in the channel. For instance, you can summon a plumb bob above my VTuber's head. You can do some confetti. You can uh, flood the valley if you'd like. See, there it is. There's the flood. You can make yeah, the VTuber have bigger boobs. Um, yeah. Pecs. Anyway, so uh, which of course means that we can do the little bounce there. Oh my god, imagine Charlie. <laughs> That's the dream. That's the dream, honestly. We can also uh, set fire. So if we go here, we can set this on fire. You can change the head size of my VTuber as well to be big. And yeah, I've got um, different colors you can choose for my outfit. So it changes the artwork too. Oh wait, why didn't it change the artwork here? Did I? I might have never set up the red one here actually. Did I? Oh no, I guess not. But yeah, I've got red, orange, yellow. Got all these uh, different colors and all the artwork here. I think, yeah, you know what? I might have forgot to set up the red image actually. I think that's what it is. I totally did. Oh, I'm glad you redeemed that so I know for the future. Um, but yeah, this is some other artwork that I have here. And then I can travel between worlds. I can jump into an arcade machine and go to my main world. Uh, but if I do that, it wipes out all of the animals. Um, so I'm going to avoid that for now. I'll, I usually do it towards like more towards the end of the stream if it's like... Because then I, I I won't feel like as bad because the animals like I feel like most people at that point might not still be here. Or maybe they will. I don't know. I'm like, all right, they've been in the in the world for a few hours. <laughs> And yeah, there's, there's other things that happen too. Like if there's ever gifted subs, little presents will drop in. Or if there's ever bits, coins will um, pop up there and follow me around. Um, I've also got little props like this Persona 5 mask that my friend made me. Um, Princess Peach's crown. I also have a little Kirby that can go here too. So yeah, that's just kind of like a little quick look at um, what my VTuber app has. I've been working on this for a couple years now. It's been very fun to um, enhance upon it as time goes on and everything. And I uh, got more things in the future. Like I mentioned, I don't think my holiday, I don't think I have enough time and resources to do a whole level like this for the holidays. We'll see. I don't know. I'll have to look around. Like, unless I find something that just looks absolutely perfect that, like, could work. Um, but I'm thinking what might be more feasible for me is to decorate my usual um, room to just kind of have a, a holiday spirit. That. Let's go ahead and consume these things. This, that's what it's here for. The so courtesy of Grandma. And Raphael will quickly get a burst of energy again. And that clears out two spots here, too. Because we're on 430. We've been getting some pretty decent luck. I actually wasn't expecting to make it to 35. So maybe... I think making it to 34 might be a bit of a stretch, but we can try. That... Go here. A lot of enemies in this floor. Do I have enough to make a bomb? Can what is it to make a second bomb? Oh, you need a hot pepper and four things of coal. Okay. Gotcha. Ooh. Get out of here. Got some silver here we can get. Very good. Hell yeah. Any other nodes in here? Maybe not a full room, but only... Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Um, I re God, I really need to get started on it now. Now that we're talking about it. Like, if I want to do anything. Because what day is it? It's October 5th. We're already halfway through October? How? <laughs> I think that's a lie. There's no way. But yeah, I really need to... I, I might have to maybe skip a couple streams during like the week or something so that I can work. That's why when I was working on this farm, I didn't stream as often during the weekdays because there were just 
literally some nights I need to dedicate solely towards setting all of this up. But you know what? Now I've done most of the hard work at this point, it's more so like kind of copying and pasting a lot of stuff over. I, well, kind of. Like, I wish it was that simple, but there's a bit more to it than that. But, uh, I know what I have to do. It's just going to take quite a few hours to do it. <laughs> quite a few days. There. Beat. That. Some. Good, 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 good. That. Yeah, for sure, Pedro. Thank you. Now, I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. The The reason um, also I knew putting a lot of time into this would be good is because of just all the farm sim games that were coming out. So I know it would have a lot of multi-use, which is really good. And hi, Victoria. Yeah, we're, we're bonking so many stone right now. I think we're, our luck has ran out. I think we're going to have to bounce out of here, go back home. We made it to 437, though. Uh, we're, like, pretty close, but unless I go back to the farm and get some more consumables, which I could do. I think I have some more there, or I have scuba snacks. Or we could go again to the um, hot springs and see if we can make it a few more floors down. Let's see. Because your it saves all of that, which is nice. Like... Yeah, let, let's do that then. Let's uh, get out of here for a moment. And then very quickly, I'm going to go to the farm to, to deposit some stuff. Maybe there are some consumables I can use to speed up the process, actually. So go here. And then let's go this way. We're going to put that there. Uh, the stone. The compost. Sandstone. And then in this one, we're going to put that this that the wood goes here too i'm saving the mushrooms i know i could eat them but i'm gonna save those for um gifts because they're kind of nice for that oh some coconuts maybe actually i could use to stuff or maybe i should also hold on to that let's see what do i have here i've got a scuba snack oh and then i've got five of these candied tree seeds oh that's right i could make more of those i was talking about that earlier oh here let's sell this this and this that's good. We'll hold on to this. Go over here. Put this away. And then let me grab some seeds and some sap. And let's make a... Maybe we'll just consume all these. We're going to chop down more trees in the future anyway. Um, and these recover a pretty decent amount. Over here, we'll make... There we go. Beautiful. Amazing. Okay. Um, oh, it uses any, oh, any tree seed, not all of them at once. Oh, wait, we can totally make more. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, 30 should do. That's, that's plenty actually. Okay. So let's go here. Eat that. There we go. And then this recovers 70 each, right? Yeah. That's actually really good. Oh, perfect. And they, yeah, the fact that they can stack up that much is really nice too. There. Faster than going to the hot springs and everything. Awesome. Okay. Let's go back. Because now we have a bunch more space to get more gems and monster loot and everything. And we might be able to get to the bottom of this one. And who knows? Maybe there will be something special if we do. Not too sure. Because, you know, it is um, early development still. So that might not be in this game just yet. But... Kind of cool just to see what's down there out of curiosity anyway. Go here. Uh, where did I find... Ah, oh, here it is. Kind of retrace my path on where these things were. Did I find the hole in this level too? Oh my god, there's... Yeah, I must have because there's only 33. So where did I get the hole? Uh... 
all the way over here. Why was I over here? Oh my god, what was I doing? I went so far away from the beginning. <laughs> Jesus, I went like so... Oh my god. Yeah, your progress gets saved. So if you want to go and recover or get rid of your inventory and come back, you can retrace your steps and just for the day, basically. Um, yeah, so that's a really nice quality of life thing. Okay, we were on floor 37, right? I think this is where we last were at. Yeah, we were. Cool. Welcome back, Zealot. So we'll go here and try to get to 440 if we can. And actually, good thing we're getting more stone because surprisingly, I was kind of running low after I sold a bunch and I also um, used quite a bit to make the barn, I think. So, good. Nice. Okay, we are on floor 38. Some enemies to fight. Get them. Man, we knock back these enemies quite a bit. <laughs> Takes me off guard sometimes. Get over here. Bam. That. Eat. All of the bonkin. <laughs> Wait, let me go across the bridge and see if there's any nodes over this way. Oh god, no, but there's a bunch of slimes. Why are there this level's giant? Oh my god. Holy crap. What the Jesus. Okay. Was not expecting this to be this ginormous. Uh <laughs> we'll see if we can get down. Because this is a lot of things to go through. I did not have any dynamite with me. Fortunately, I used all of it already. Oh, thank God. Okay. Just one more floor to go. Got this. I believe. I always try to go for, like, either the ore first or to see if there's any gems nearby. And then once that runs out, I'll just go after whatever stone's there. Oh, you jerk. Get over here. Stop hiding from me. <laughs> there you are. Okay. I think that was it. I think it was just that silver. Which is kind of unfortunate. I was hoping to find some more gems for money. Yeah, the slimes have quite a bit of range. I'm like, what the hell? Ooh, double ore. Sweet. Okay, cool. Let me go grab this. Very nice. Okay, yeah, it's all stone. Then I'm gonna go back towards the start, actually, and just start clearing this out, I guess. Or what I could do, actually, is maybe focus the lighter gray rocks, actually. That's what I should do. Because those take less effort to destroy than the dark ones. Because... Um, my pickaxe isn't leveled up, so... Oh, perfect. We did it. We got to floor 40. And, uh, oh, there is an item here. We got... Oh, the Jammu! Okay, the Jammu is huge. That restores so much of your energy. This also gives you a buff of plus 100 energy. So if I drink that, it would, for the day, give me, like, 600 energy. So huge. Okay, cool. Awesome. Glad that we uh, did that. So in early access right now, these are the only two that are available. Uh, eventually, the air one will be added. And then fire is going to be actually kind of one of the last things that they're going to add. Um, they said it's like an end game content that they're going to add around then. But sweet. Okay, super glad that we went to the mines today. Kind of did it on a whim. But... Uh, that definitely paid off. That was huge. And you know what? I'll go ahead and uh, run around with this candy in my inventory. That way I can quickly restore energy if needed. I'm going to hold on to this because... Yeah, uh, the charcoal is actually a bit of like a precious resource. So I don't want to just like waste it right away. 
And thankfully, making bars honestly doesn't take like that much of a long time, so I don't mind waiting for that. Let me go get my other tools now, though. I can put my sword away since I'm not going to go to the mines for a little bit. Uh, so we'll get out our fish or our net. Um, oh, our scythe, axe, fishing pole, and the watering can. I think this is slowly becoming. Oh. Oh, I thought there was something there, but no, no, no. Soon. Soon. Okay, let me go here. And then let me go clear out this area some more. Working on clearing out this zone here because it's really pretty. It's right in front of this, like, body of water here, which I think is, like, such a nice spot. So I'm eventually going to move, I think, some crops over here. Or honestly, if I can finally clear out the space and if I can make room here, I think I might as well go ahead and make a second little place for my crops here. Because it's perfect since there's a water source nearby, I can get water really quickly. Um, granted, you can also make a well if you want to, and making a well will make it so that you can uh, restore your water anywhere, basically. But hey, if I can use the farm layout to my advantage, may as well, right? I can, especially right now, while I'm like all these resources and money is so precious to me. And, like a well is definitely a nice thing, but it's like a couple thousand and. Requires quite a bit of resources, too, so. Here, so one second. I think, uh, one moment. Okay, we're good. This. That out of the way. Perfect. Feet. Oh, I don't. Oh. Oops. Okay. Good. Don't think we have enough energy to chop down a tree, do we? Let me see. 42 energy? Find out. Mm. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Oh, God. Okay. We'll get this done tomorrow. <laughs> Let's have my character go to bed now. That way we don't get in trouble. This here. You know, real quick, actually, I might want to bring this fence to come down a bit more. Yeah, let me make a couple more. Oh, can I not place it there? Oh, that's why I did that, because it can't go all the way down here. Yeah, you can vault um, fences, which is really, really nice. It, like, I, I found out by accident. And I was like, oh, no. You should... Oh, to my for... Uh, my foraging? Oh, so two chance to drop the hardwood. Yeah, I have a skill point, but since the tier two skills aren't available for mining, I can't get it just yet. But, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, thankfully you can, like, eventually get everything, which is nice. So, like, you just have to kind of keep doing the thing. Be good. Yeah, Alpha, I... That was, like, a complete accident. And I was looking on their website, um... And, yeah, their website actually had that as, like, a little... Like, on their dev notes, they were saying how they had added that. And I was like, oh, no way, cool. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I haven't really been keeping up with this game and whatnot, just to, like, find out little fun things like that on accident. It's been great. Nice! I have new craftables for mining. I also got a 3 max energy and a new skill point for mining. Oh, and we totally have enough for the house upgrade, I think. Wait, are the car- oh, I don't know if the carpenters are going to be open today, though. Is it's raining! Nice! Hell yeah. Oh, wait. Okay, they are open at 9 today. Okay, good. Ooh, and we got more of this. Okay, let's- we're going to give a hot pepper- ooh, nice, more flowers, too. Is the shop open today? Let me see. The shop is open at 12 today. Okay. So, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Now, oh, nice. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get melons, I think. If I can afford that, it's gonna be a little, ooh, ah, actually, hmm. Hmm, dilemmas, dilemmas. Oh my God. Wait, are these ready? Oh, no, 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 they're not. Anything else ready? We all good? I'm going to go to the wiki. Yeah, finding some stuff on your own is really nice. Like, I definitely appreciate some tips that I've gotten and everything, which has been great. But yeah, getting a, a few things on your own is really, really nice. 
So, actually, no, you know what? I'm going to sell the pepper. I was going to say I could go donate this, but I need... I need to... Um, what's it called? I need money. <laughs> the sugar can be... Oh, you know what? You're right. I can probably... Oh, I think you can um, process it with the kegs if you want. <gasps> I can make beer. Oh my god, we're making beer, y'all. Oh my god. Look at us go. Okay. Cool. Making some beer. Making some honey. Um, This is exciting. You know what? I think I will sell some of the crops I've been holding on to. I'm probably gonna... Maybe I'll regret it, but... Here, I'll hold on to... Yeah, we'll keep the bronze quality one. And then we'll sell a potato. <laughs> Wait, we've already given a bronze quality potato to whatever, so let's just bring those here. That way I can get some extra revenue to buy some seeds and get the house upgrade, hopefully. Let me go chop down some stuff while we uh, wait for the shops to open. So, yeah, I'll go get my house upgrade. And then the shop will open at 12 at noon. Uh, have I given gifts to people? I have. Okay. So, well, there's a lot of people I've missed, but to the people that I care about, I've given them gifts already. <laughs> oh, shoot. Is there any birthdays that are I'm missing? I'll check the calendar when I go over to the store. I don't think so. I think it was just Valentina and the mayor's birthday this week. I think we're okay. Got more of these trees out of the way. Good. Perfect. Yeah, and I can't wait to really clear out those things down there. So I'm sure it'll be a bit. Or I don't know. After I get my house upgrade, I'm trying to think what I want to do next. Maybe I should upgrade my tools. Or at least my... Well, I'm going to need the pickaxe and the, um, the axe for sure. I want to upgrade those two at least. This down... Good. Thank you. So I need to bring out, let me see, it was 100 wood, 50 stone, 5 bronze, and 5 silver for the house upgrade. Yeah, we made sure to give her something that she liked. We actually went up two hearts with her after we gave her a flower that she liked for her birthday. So, thankfully that went really well. I was nervous because sometimes, like, the violets really do seem to upset a lot of people, and I don't understand why. <laughs> also, I gave canola to uh, the nurse or whatever. She did not appreciate that. She, like, got really offended about it. And I was so confused. I'm like, it's just canola. Like, I didn't, I don't know. Like, I, 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 it was just a forgeable. I mean, I guess it's like a bit of a random gift, but I don't know. I feel like some of the other stuff that you give them is a bit random too, like mushrooms, but. <laughs> yeah. They did not appreciate that at all. Not uh, even in the slightest. Damn, yeah, having 500 energy really lets us clear out a lot of space now. This is great. Suki chewed you out for giving her a violet. Yeah. Um, Scott doesn't like them either, I don't think. Is like, how dare you? I'm like, what do you mean? Like, it's it's literally just a flower. Whoa! No way, Victoria. Oh my god. That is amazing. Holy shit. That is so many silver clams. Go here and get rid of that. Look at all this space we have now, y'all. Kind of. Got this annoying part. <laughs> um, Cool. We'll work on this bit some other time. Let me get rid of, like, the tinier elements of it while we're waiting. Oh, the shop's open. Oh, my God. Let's go. Let's go. Never mind. We got to go. We got to go. We have... How much wood do we have in our inventory right now? We've got 200. Okay, perfect. Here, let me go, actually... Here, I'll just organize stuff. Um, Put this here. I'll get out the wood again in a moment. One second. Okay, so we need wood. Stone. Bronze and silver. Bronze. Silver. Okay. 
a good easy gift um i don't know what he or he i guess he loves onyx but i haven't like come across that i don't know how you get that uh I, i'm assuming it's probably something online Ooh, a coconut um he likes tulips though oh maybe these aren't ready yet like he likes the tulips and i think daffodils yeah he likes tulips daffodils uh cosmos uh, so I've been just giving him the flowers, um, which has been... Also, uh, just a heads up, not all of the heart events are in the game. I think it goes up to five hearts. Or, like, you can go all the way up to ten, but, like, they only have the cutscenes, I think, up to either four or five hearts um, at the moment. All right, let me go upgrade the house. All right, it's time. It's going to take... How long does this take? Awesome, thank you. I'll work on it first thing in the morning. It should be done in a couple days. Okay, yay! Oh, how exciting. And now the next upgrade. Your house... Oh, this is what it's going to look like? Oh my god, look at this. Holy crap. Okay. Cool. So, um... Let me... Ooh, there's a flower over there. Oh wait, you know, I keep forgetting that I can also turn these flowers into honey. I really need to remember that. Ooh, can I catch you? No! <laughs> okay, the shop doesn't open till 12, so we're good. We can still kind of chill for a moment. Let me go down here. Oops. Okay, let me put my resources away. Like this, this, this. So... Here, we have five of these. Let me, let me do it with the bronze quality ones from this season. Or, and from last season, too. That way we just have a queue going on and we have honey constantly being made. Our busy little bees. Okay, good. They are all full now with flowers. Cool. While mine continue to grow. So that's there. Go over this way. Do this. Okay. Uh, I don't know how long beer takes. Oh, beer takes a little while. Oh, beer takes a bit. Oops. Okay. Well, I'm not going to have enough money to buy all those seeds. So I'm going to have to focus, on, I guess, on this. So let me... Oh, actually, I have one of those flower seeds in my inventory, don't I? Yeah. So let me get a little list of what I need to get. So I need to get one, two, three, four, five. So five flowers, five wheat five flowers nine wheat right yeah five flowers nine wheat. okay cool and then i will try to buy the melons and the star fruit as fast as i can and i'll i'll probably plant them over here maybe we can do like a little bit of a design here just a little bit like it's not gonna be anything fancy because i can't really make it super fancy but i'm gonna put it down there just because it's next to the body of water. So let's get the scarecrow. Get our wood. Wooden fence. And that's it for right now. Just so that we have the little layout ready for when the time comes. Okay. Let's make some wooden floor tiles. Let's make like a hundred. Probably won't need to use all of them, but... Wait, we have some on hand. Make like a gate. That should be good. Um, okay. So first of all, we'll place you. Well, really gonna be a lot smaller than that. Here, let me let me do this first. So actually I need my stone too. Sorry. I need to get my stone. My bad. My bad. Uh, I can't dash right now for some reason. The stone and stone fence. There we go. I can dash. Okay, so I want this to go all around the farm. So that's nice and consistent. Okay. Do, 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 do. Cute. Bring this over here. Clear this out just a little bit. 
a little low on energy. I just want to make like a little. Oh, inventory is full. Um. Here, let me. Can I still place it even though it's dropped? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. There we go. That's good. Then do this. So we have one, two, three, one, two. I've just been doing like ones and nine, basically. <laughs> We're um in the summertime, so we've been just going shirtless in the meantime. Um but it's raining today. <laughs> Which is good. Don't have to water the crops this way. Here, put that there. And then this. Okay, so this is where we'll put our melons and our... Oh, it's not centered. Okay, green. Maybe we can do this. Okay, there we go. So one, two, three. Okay, that'll work. Put you here. And then we could put some more in the middle here eventually if we want to. But we won't have anything to do there. But we have the room there if we need to. So that'll be good. Okay, so that's great. Um, maybe we can also put a little fence around here. There. Put the fence here. That works. Because we're going to put like a chicken coop around here at some point. So that way it's like the chickens are kind of here. Just this space is a little functional. Okay, the shop is open. Um, I'm Again, I'm not going to have enough to buy the seeds that I need right now. But hey, we have our house upgrade coming along. We've got beer being made, which... Since it takes a while to make, I'm hoping it'll sell for a decent amount. Put these mats back here. Um, since we're not gonna... Alright, so five flower seeds and nine wheat seeds if I can happen to purchase those. And then I think we might go fishing because we need to make some revenue. Um... We could go catch like just one shark just for the sake of just catching one. <laughs> I just don't want to take advantage of that too much because it seems to be pretty strong. All right, birthdays. Let me see. So, okay. No, no. Shopkeeper's birthday is tomorrow. And uh, we'll be sure to give him something tomorrow then. Go in here. Oh, hello. Where is he? <laughs> Shop. Okay. That's for 135. Um... Okay, we got some money. Actually, let me hold on to the wheat to make that into beer. That's fine. Oh, you can cut. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. Um, so there's uh, over by Zara's boat between nine to four p.m. I guess you can get like, um, you can get a whole bunch that way. Uh, I'm trying to see. Actually, hold on, real quick. Actually, we can't... Oh, we can get really close to the starfruit seeds. Unless I just sell this directly, that might give us enough. It will give us enough. Let me do that then. Okay, because the star... Or... Do star... Yeah, because I can't do the melons. Melons are 130. But we can do starfruit. Let's do that then. Get nine of these. Okay. And we'll plant that where the wheat was... I won't be able to get more flowers right now, but yeah, I'd rather wait until I can get five of them. Yeah, there's, um, here, I'll go show you right now. So if you go over here, oh, I think it has to be on a sunny day though. I don't think it, I don't think it shows up during rain. Um, but here, I will show you if you go over here. I, I think it's on a sunny day, is what they said. 
So this spot here. Um, sunny days between 9 in the morning till 4 p.m. You can catch sharks here. And um, I, I've caught two so far. Let me see. I wonder if it shows up on rainy days too. Oh, actually, I think it's also on rainy days. Maybe? Or is this another type of fish? This one seems a little bit easier to catch than the shark. What is this? Oh, this is a clownfish. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm starting to feel tired. Oh, shh. Shit, I can't cancel this cast. Okay, well, if I... If I I'm going to use energy regardless. So let me go ahead and just try and catch another fish. I forgot my energy was kind of low. <laughs> Whoops. I was chopping down trees and stuff. My bad. Okay. Let's catch one more fish here. We'll go back to the farm to restore some energy. And then maybe we'll go over there. Yeah, I was hoping to catch one because they're valuable. But um, yeah, I think it's only on sunny days. I believe. And this must be another clownfish. Double. Nice. By the way, thank you so much, Shadows, for the follow. Thank you. Let's get back home. Going to plant the starfruit seeds. And then uh, when I get a little bit more cash, I'm going to buy melon seeds. Because those take, God, almost like half of a season to grow. Um, it's kind of wild. <laughs> so... There. Oh shoot! I need to say. I need to pay attention. I didn't. I don't think I gave any attention to my cow. I need to go say hello to the cow. My bad. Here, clownfish is good. Flower in here. Oh, this is not here. Go. Uh, get the fertilizer for sure. Okay, because these are very very pricey seeds. Let me update this. Good. This. Okay, great. There's that. Um, let me just eat a thing of candy real quick. Restore my energy a little bit. There we go. Sweet. Okay. And let's go say hello to the cow. How are you doing, cow? You okay? Good? You good. <laughs> Four hearts. Nine days old. Cool. Still giving us regular milk. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, the cows are really cute and chunky. I love them. Oh, let me go ahead and put some more hay in there before I forget. Here. Go. Don't rush her. She's doing her best. You're right. Uh, this. So that's good. Uh, I think we're good on the farm. I don't think I have to do anything else here for right now. Um, oh, nice. I got another one of these. Put this away. Oh, I have five of them. Let me see if I can afford anything at the... Um, I have 69 coins. Hell yeah. Let me go to the lab. I don't know how much I need for the other upgrades. I might have enough for one. Let me go check it out. I'm gonna dash on over there immediately. Oh, is it open? Okay, it's open. Oh. Huh. So, oh, I need seven. And then eight for the hay. Okay, so I need two more for that then. Gotcha. Hello. Don't let the rain stop you, Andrew. When I go in mine, you go in mine, fella. The island is your oyster. Watch your step. As the weather gets warmer, more animals will come to out of hibernation. Things up to? You can do your own kelp extraction at home if you want to be economical. You just need to make an extractor. All right, cool. So now 
let me go to the hot springs. We could eat candy, but it's still early in the day that we can spend some time there to rest up. And then we can go fishing a bit to make some more revenue so that we can hopefully get some of those melon seeds. Because they're... See, how much would it cost to make... It would be... I'd need 1,080 coins to get the uh, nine stack, I think. But I want to say they're 120 a pop. Goodbye. Oops, sorry. I like went the wrong way. I knew I was like near it, but not quite the right area. Here we go. In we go. Our favorite spot. Also, Adventures of Kid, thank you so much again for the follow. Oops. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. We'll chill here for a second. <laughs> I I think I'll have enough inventory space. I mean, we definitely got some trash and stuff, but we should be good once we go down there. Yeah, the hot spring is great. I have been making use of it a lot. When it's not raining and it's in the daytime, there's a cute little panda that's over there that plays on a flute and provides some nice background music. But since it's raining, they're not there right now. We've also seen, I'm not sure if it's the same panda or not, but I saw another panda towards the north of the island um, fishing. And uh, there's also, I remember uh, when I was looking at the map, a lot of people were kind of hanging out oh a samurai panda oh my god yeah that i guess wait I, I don't know if maybe they were a samurai panda um maybe they had like a weapon i even realized as they were fishing it's uh really cool that there's um animals that maybe we'll eventually get to see because it looks like the area to access their part of the woods is kind of blocked off with this like barrier so it kind of implies like that in the future we're going to be able to break that down in some capacity and be able to explore that zone and that seems like a really fun cute idea cool all right we have 400 energy that is a plenty oh hi not many visitors at the hot springs in summer i'm not surprised but i wish more people would come and visit i need to wash the hot springs sign uh by the observatory oh no talk about has a few typos it's been a while since I did that. Last summer, I think. Ah, uh, here. For you. Thank you. This is useful. No problem. Thank you for the free hot springs. Can't believe people don't use it. You kidding me? It's amazing. Are you open? Oh, you're open. You have a black bean. I mean, I don't have any money. I have another scarecrow. I'm gonna get 45k so I can increase my energy. Green tea. Very nice. Okay. Get back home. Ooh. Wait. Yay. Got a pipe vine swallowtail butterfly. Very nice. Taking the most unusual route to get back home. I don't know why I did that. Uh, to be honest, I think I got a little bit lost. I'm still a little lost. Oh, there we go. Actually, a lot later than I thought. Okay, that's okay. Go here. Put that off. Put this back in here. We need seven for the next upgrade. We have uh, another three in there. I might actually... You know what? I might go back to the ocean, actually. Maybe we'll do that now. I, yeah, let's... Because I'm going to need more bronze kelp. So, and we haven't done diving in a little bit, and we and we have a reason to go down there. So, let's go over here and uh, go diving. To go find bronze kelp specifically. Okay. Here. Got a scallop. I got regular CV2, but find any bronze along the way. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's some. There is something you can catch there, maybe. Oop. 
There we go. Got a jellyfish. I've already donated that to the museum, so we can sell that for some extra cash, actually. This. There, already we have 22 bronze kelp. Damn. No, I know what you mean. <laughs> I'm sure um, as time goes on, maybe they'll uh, change it a bit. I guess because like, like, you need to be able to like... You're almost kind of like hopping around more than you are kind of like swimming. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, Maybe that's the ultimate technique to do that. You know, to uh, maneuver down here as quickly as possible. The urchin. Yeah, I haven't found any of the, like, deep sea stuff that I need to donate to the box up above. What is this? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we can clear out the trash. Actually, this is great, because surprisingly, I was low on trash, so... And just getting some trash and whatnot over here will help. Oh, my God, yeah, I just completely, like, ignored this zone, apparently. My bad. Sorry about it. I think this was when I was desperately looking for other altars to put um, the orbs into. So I kind of probably forgot about this zone here. Oopsies. That's not bad. And this. I'll have some time to explore down here. Good. Pretty over here. Can't do anything in there, though. Okay, let me go more to the left. Trying to find... Well, we have 36 now. So, we should be good, I think. I kind of... I don't want to venture off too much because I'm scared that I'm going to get lost <laughs> and I really need to like go to that specific zone that we were at for the um golden or not the golden milk sorry the bronze quality milk thank god it's not golden <laughs> oh my inventory is full uh what can I get rid of because that scrap would be useful I have a bunch of wood back home already I just so I'll get this instead. That hermit crab, I could maybe... I'll get rid of the compost and trade it for that. Oh my god, please. I can catch it. Oh, you can hoe under ground? Wait, are there things to... Are there things to get down here? Like this? Wait. What are you... What do you use this on? I don't I don't know if you're meant to be able to do that. But you can? Yeah, I'm not sure if there's like Huh, I'm wondering if that might be how you get some of the other things that you need for the Oh my god, there's a chest. Oh, I really should have emptied my inventory. I didn't think this was gonna be an issue. You know it's because we start to get different qualities of different things. Alright, fiber. But this is good. This might have a artifact that I can use for the museum, so I think it's worth trading that out. Let me get this bronze kelp. Good. I think after we clear out this trash here, we can start making our way back to the anchor. Again, that way I just don't get too lost. <laughs> and I know where to go next time. Thankfully, we've actually we've done a really good job of clearing out most of the trash. There's a starfish here I could get. Uh, I could get rid of most of this stuff though. Um, is there a map for when you're underwater? Um, I'm wondering if there will be one in the future, but right now, oh wow, I guess like we're technically somewhere here. What the. F Whoa, we're like really, like I guess technically we're all the way down, down, down over there. 
I guess, because you can actually go all the way over here. Um, but no, the, like I'm, I'm wondering if that'll be something that comes in the future to kind of let you know where you're at. I think I have an idea of how to retrace my steps to where I was. I think I have to go down, then right, and then up. So I'm going to go over there instead of bringing the anchor to me just so that I know where to go to next time. Yeah, okay. I know where we're at. This is good. Okay, we can use the remaining energy to get more seaweed then. That way we can make more scuba snacks. The seaweed is uh, very regenerative. Like it, it comes back like every single day too, so you can get a whole bunch more. But just may as well to use most of my energy. Oh, it also drops fiber. But I, I've got plenty of fiber back home, so not too stressed about that. Oh, shit. Another one of these? Damn it. <laughs> ah, um, okay. I mean, I, I can use trash to make scrap, so that's fine. No, I don't want the wood. What the hell? Get out of here. I want the treasure. <laughs> I didn't expect it to drop that, to be honest. My inventory- oh god, it's like it's fiber again. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely recommend clearing out your inventory whenever you go to the mines and underwater. I just, like, forgot. Honestly, what I really should do... I mean, I know there's a bunch of things I already want to purchase, but one thing that I need to buy is another bag upgrade. Because right now, I only have one extra row, but the next bag upgrade is 3k, and that should get me another row, too. Um, yeah, there's a whole deep-sea diving stuff in this game. Which is what makes it really unique from other farm sim games. And you can get this resource called Bronze Kelp. It's really pretty. You'll see it kind of like waving around underwater. And you can grab that and you can take it to the science laboratory to increase the quality of all of the seeds that you purchase from the store and stuff. So that you get better crops and whatnot. Also, Helix, thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. All right. Well, that was that was good. We got a bunch of the bronze kelp, which is exactly why I went down there. So, because we need, uh, I think, 15 more total. And we have three in production right now. Here, let me let me uh, ship some stuff real quick. No, I'm I'm not. Um, just my VTuber holds one. I guess because if I, I mean, I guess this isn't the worst thing. But no, it's uh right now only supports mouse and keyboard let's sell these that i found for some extra money I, I have a bunch of these or i have a couple of these in my inventory already that's fine grab this and this that way we can queue up five at a time it takes a while to produce these so I'm trying to get on top of that and for the seaweed that's here let's make some scuba snacks Go to craft, make those. That way, next time I go out, I can replenish more energy. This gives 100 each, which is really good, actually. Uh, put my trash away. Oh, yeah, I I think there's, like, I don't know how effective it is, but, yeah, I saw there was, like, a workaround to try to get this, get the Steam Deck to recognize inputs. But I know it's, like, it's not officially supported yet, so it might be a little bit kind of uh, clunky at the moment. Uh, uh, we have an earth geode and some coffers. We should go to the blacksmith tomorrow and get those processed. All right, let's go to bed. See how much money we made. Hopefully a decent amount. I just need like a... I don't know if we'll make a thousand. Ooh, our ranching skill went up. Nice. Uh, also, our diving went up. We can make a scrap sign now. Sweet. Relationship went up. Oh, yeah, we only made 538. Hopefully, see, maybe there's some crops that are going to grow right now that I can sell. The beer really is taking so much longer to make than I thought. So, oh, okay, good, good, good. This should give us enough. I'm going to just sell these directly instead of converting them into anything else. And we've also got bell peppers to sell. Yes. Okay, great. Oh, so good, so good. So I need to buy... Let me make a list. Do I need to buy one here? No, so... I'm going to write this down on my notepad. So let me get this. So I need um, five flowers. Um, oh, thank you, Alpha. And then I need nine melon. So I'm hoping I can afford the melon. And then if I can get nine of the other crumb, um, that might be pushing it. 
I'll just go for that. I'll just try to go for the five flowers and the nine melon. Let the cow out. Oh, wait. Before we do interact with the cow, let's go here. So, ranching. Let me make it so that I increase your friends more. Or... Yeah, let's do that first. Fast friends. Because I'm trying to befriend my cow so I can get larger quantities of milk. We have this little zone down here too. This little bit here where we can put more. But um, I just, I don't have enough coins to get that just yet. Our house upgrade should be done tomorrow, I think, by the way. So are you ready to be milked? You're 10 days old. You have halfway hearts. <gasps> Yay, we're getting large milk. Yo, huge, giant. <laughs> Wait. Okay, great. Okay. Here, let's actually sell this milk. Oh, sweet. Okay, we're getting one step closer to be able to go more underwater. Because what's preventing us from exploring more underwater is the... um. There's a sea turtle that wants bronze quality large milk. Go there. Yeah, her name is Mukade. Uh, that was the first name that came to mind when I got her. Uh, the next cow that we're going to get in the future... I mean, there's other things I'm going to get right now, but we're going to buy a baby cow next time. And we're going to name the baby cow Mook. After the character on the TV screen that does the mukbang. Because they're freaking adorable. I can't tell which ones are watered and which ones aren't really. I'll just try to like... Oh, there's one right here. There's one, an extra thing to harvest there. Hell yeah, even more money. Perfect. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, good. We're getting to the point where we're getting through a lot of the large purchases, so we're able to, like... I'm excited to get to the point to be able to, um... You know, purchase furniture and everything. Which will be so good. Oh, there's something broken with tapping trees at the moment? Gotcha. I haven't actually crafted one of those yet, just because I don't have any fruit trees currently. But, um, that's good to know. I think that the mill is also... Or not the mill. I think the the silo is kind of broken too or something. I don't know. Raiden was saying something about it. Like you can still store hay in it, but uh, I guess it doesn't do all the functions that it's supposed to do or something. Currently. Thankfully, we're going to start making a regular cash flow pretty soon. Because a lot of these things that we planted give us crops, like, on the daily, which is really nice. That. Good. Do I have enough to make more fertilizer? Got sap, compost. I can go get trash so I can make more compost over here. There we go. Then... Wait, what does this mean? Oh, no, that's... Crosses wood into charcoal, scrap into glass, and sand into glass. Okay, gotcha. Um, that's fine. Here. If I can make nine, that's really all I need. I have five. Good. Okay, well, I will wait for this to finish. That way we get the most, like, value out of those melons. Because those melons... They take forever to grow, so I want to make sure that we get the most, like, highest quality ones that we can. And we'll probably turn all the melons and starfruit into juice and stuff, because, like, it'll probably increase the value by a substantial amount. Okay, so that's all good. Um, let me go ahead, go over to town. That way we can get ready to sell some stuff. Oh, wait. Actually, sorry. Hold on. I need to do one more thing. I need to go over here and... Wait, our house... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our house should be upgraded tomorrow. Um, What was I going to do? I was going to grab the things for the blacksmith. This. See if there's any new artifacts there. Because even if we get duplicate artifacts... um. We can still sell them for some extra coins, too. That'll be good. And then we might be able to catch a shark, actually, too. We'll catch one, and then... Um, maybe today can be a fishing day? I haven't done fishing in a little bit. 
So that could be nice. Whose birthday is it? Oh, it's it's uh what's oh my god, it's his birthday. It's the shopkeeper's birthday. Um, I need to find something to give him. Uh shoot. Okay, let's go to the like trails. I'm sure there's a flower or something I can find. Maybe. Um, me too, honestly. It's great. Go grab this. Oh, no, you're gone. Okay. Uh, there's gotta be a flower down here, right? Let's see. Uh, seriously? Let's see. Oh, well, this game is still very much in early access, so it's not finished. Still in development. I like what it has so far. Um, but it's proving to be a very great contender for a solid farm sim game comparison to, you know, Harvest Moon and Gardu, Story of Seasons. I know the latest Harvest Moon games have been really bad because I don't know exactly how that whole separation happened because the original Harvest Moon developers went off to make their own game now, which is Story of Seasons. Like, that's their new stuff. And then the old company that has Harvest Moon, they kind of just shovel out kind of low-quality farm sim games to retain the trademark so they can't lose it. Um, and that's why the Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life, when it's being remade by the new company, it's going to be Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life next year. Um... But yeah, no, it's I I think this is a really great game so far. I have played it for roughly uh where does it say again? I think it says does it say it somewhere? Is it an inventory? I like sauce. Hold on, is it a journal? Oh here we go. Yeah, I played it for 23 hours so far. Um oh wow, it has little things down here. Realize. Go back here. And then do this shop. Okay, so how much money do we have now? Okay, let me go down here. Okay, uh, let me sell one of them. Oh, damn it. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna go to my farm and bring you back something else, okay? I just need to get one more melon seed. <laughs> so I'll be back to give you your present. Just give me a moment. Oh, Marvelous was the developers, and Natsumi was the publisher for the Harvest Moon game. Yeah, so it's like, it's a whole thing. It has its all, like, um, history. <laughs> but I know the latest Harvest Moon games are, like, absolute trash, unfortunately, which is kind of a shame. Um, but Story of Seasons is really, really solid. And I'm excited to play A Wonderful Life next year when the remake comes out. That'll be really fun. Okay, we got compost and sap. So let me see. Uh, I still need a couple more, so we have to be a bit patient and wait for this. Oh, we need to put more trash in there. Uh, okay. Almost low on trash. No. Go here. Okay, that's good. Put this way. Then... Okay, we wait. <laughs> well, we can plant a couple now, uh, which is going to be down over here. I won't be able to afford my flowers, but that's okay. You know what? That's fine. We can get the rest of those flowers, and then uh, we can put the okra seeds here, and then maybe we can get another set of melons down the line and put them over here, and this is where all our melons can be. Our special melon spot. Uh, Oh, can't place... Items outside your farm. Oh, wait, what? This is technically not our farm? Oh. What about here? No? Oh. Interesting. That's not labeled as our farm there? Oh. So I won't be able to use that there. Um. Shoot. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to put it closer over here then. Um, all right. Didn't want to initially do that, but we can make a little pathway down here then. Kind of wanted to hold off on that, but that's fine. We'll work with what we got. Those go this way. Oh. Um. 
think. Okay. Put this down here. Too. Got it. Uh, do, 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 do. We're gonna do. Okay. Oh wait, I'm pressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. Um, I know. I love. I um, really love that series so much. Okay, that's fine. My chickens can fit through the gaps. Oh no. Not the chickens. Yes. Fine. I need to make another thing over here. The walk between your barn and your coop. Oh my god. Crash. Wood. Here. Okay, so I need to go to craft, make this, and I also need this. Okay, so we're good. We do that. Put this here, and this is where our melons will be. Okay, we fertilized it. Put the sign down. Gotta bring the scarecrow up this way, actually. Yeah, you can jump over fences and stuff. If you use the sprint button, you can um, jump over the gates and whatnot. So if you're too lazy to walk around and open the gate or whatever, you can opt to do that instead if you'd like. Here. I guess we can kind of just kind of build the layout here for eventually putting more stuff here. Craft more of these. Go. Okay, and then the two. No, it's one tile on the bottom, and then we. So I'd actually move this up above here. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Trying to figure this out right now. Which is, I guess this is a little excessive because we're not going to be, like, really in advantage of this just yet. But just so we have an idea of what it'll look like, that'll be cute. Okay, so I need to go give him a present before I forget. <laughs> So let me go do that uh, while I go and put this away. That goes there. That goes. There. I also need to go to the blacksmiths. But I'm getting distracted with a lot of things. <laughs> All right, let me give him um, a Cosmo. I'm hoping he'll like it. I'm gonna go process these. Let's go over there. And then I'm gonna put like some outdoor furniture there eventually. Just right now, it's a. Uh, Wrapped for cash. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, maybe we can try to catch a shark, like I mentioned earlier. <laughs> That's another thing I meant to do. Okay, so go in here. And then give him the birthday present. There you go. Enjoy. Yay! No worries. Summer vegetables are crunchy and vibrant. They're the best for the assorted grilled platter. There's still time to start planting. Just make sure you read the description to find out the plant's duration. Okay. So, actually, we've made... We've planted radish before, wheat, uh, these flowers. We've done tomatoes, corn, hot pepper, blueberries. I think the last thing that we need are okra seeds. So that's the, the last bit. I thought about settling down and opening a store like this, but between you and me, it really isn't my style, though. Dry rice can last four to five years, and they're filling, so I try to keep a couple boxes in my van. Alright. Let's go fish. The next birthday, by the way, is going to be later this week. Okay, we don't have to worry about it for a bit. And it'll be Eva and 
Emma? What's her name? Yeah, Emma. Okay. Cool. Bust out that fishing rod. Go up the past the clinic. I love seeing the cats just like completely jump up and hang up around or hang out around the uh stone there. Now listen, I know you really can't do too much about the oil spill. That's definitely out of your control. But damn, Zara, can't you just clean up around your boathouse just like a little bit? <laughs> Got so much trash down there. Damn. The sharks are. Oops. Uh, burn. God. I feel like I lose so much progress. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I have the patience to farm these. They apparently make you a decent amount of money, but I get annoyed at them. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So yeah, there it is. We got the great white shark. Incredible. We got a standard uh, one. We did. We caught a bronze one not a, too long ago, and... Um, we did uh, sell it. We've well, been planting coffee beans this summer. I prefer to brew locally grown beans, of course, but yeah, no, there isn't too much choice, unfortunately. We can only plant coffee beans here in summer, so that means I have to import some of my beans. Oh, I didn't see any coffee beans. Oh my god, there's Mark. Mark, why are you always there when I can never find you? Can you believe this heat? I've never sweat so much in my life. I don't go to the cavern unless I have to. I have no reason to going there since I don't mine or collect artifacts. Let me see. I'll see if I can... Okay, if, like, Mark's gonna hang out there for a bit, let me, let me give him his damn mushroom. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> it's so hard to find him. And also, if... Is Ben still in the shop? Okay, I think that's his name, right? Yeah, Ben. Ben and Mark are there. Let me go give them some mushrooms, because they love it. So, we don't know how much this one sells for, because we sold a, um... Okay, what time does the blacksmith close? Oh, we're good, we're good. Gotta go over there too. Okay, get two of these. Probably lost my train of thought. I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, that, that thought's gone. I don't know. What I, anyway, let's go give these mushrooms and get those uh, artifacts looked at. Ooh, actually, I can't because I'm broke. So I can't go to the blacksmiths. There you go. No worries. Because, yeah, I think it's like 20 a pop to open each one. I am so poor right now. <laughs> I spent 5,000 to upgrade my house, so it was like... I really took a toll on my funds there. Unfortunately. <laughs> it's just kind of a bummer. But it's fine. We're going to try to make some money back. That beer better make me some money, I swear. I'm broke, it's day one of summer, and I just want to buy all the seeds. It's such a struggle. I'm like, please help me. I'm poor. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Hello. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Summer is the best time for fishing. In this weather, you can toss out a net and pull in a ton of fish without so much as lifting a finger. That's right. Oh, Theo's fishing here, too. He's getting to me, Andrew. Should I go for a swim? I might if you will too. Oh my god. Let's go swimming. Nice cold milk sounds good, but I probably shouldn't. It upsets my stomach and my day's just begun. Oh, I was gonna say, I was like, oh, let's go get him some milk. But I think he'll hate that then. Never mind. How dare you. So, very quickly, let me go here and put the Breath of the Wild music while we fish. That'll be good. No! Didn't mean to do that. My bad. Okay, well, we'll get some fish for right now. There they are. Come here, little fishy. Thank goodness it's an actual fish. Not trash. Might be a clownfish, but... 
or mackerel? The mackerel. Hmm. After I catch this next fish, I need to look at my skill tree. I'm pretty sure I've already spent my ability points for fishing, but I just want to double check. Because I'd hate to be missing out on some bonuses if I've got some points lingering around that I didn't spend. But I'm pretty sure we're good. I think I've already spent them. No harm in checking, though. We got... Clownfish. Yay. Okay, so. Not yet. Okay, yeah. So we have all of them right now, which is a chance to catch double fish and lower the resistance. Thank you, by the way. Everything, Gwenny, for the follow. Thank you so much. We're just relaxing today. Doing some fishing. We did some diving yesterday. And the day before that, we got to the bottom of the second um, cavern. So that was cool. Got a nice little reward. Those, uh, that like thing that gives you a bunch of bonus energy. Yeah, I like it. Um, I'd say if you like Stardew or Animal Crossing, any game that's similar to those, that you would most likely enjoy this game too. Uh, it is an early access, so there are a lot of things that are missing, but they will come periodically throughout the months as updates and stuff. And right now it's on PC only. It is part of the PC Game Pass. If you have access to that, you can try it out for free through that. Or I guess not for, you know what I mean, if you're a subscriber of that, you can then try it. <laughs> um, otherwise, it's $25 on Steam for early access. And like obviously that means that you've like you have the game basically like when it's released you already own it which is nice and then um yeah right now it's only mouse and keyboard support too just as a heads up because i know some people prefer to play controller but controller is not supported currently i own my time at porsche actually i think stymie gifted it to me i i think it's been one of those games that like has been on my two playlist for like the longest time ever. And I know, I think, well, didn't the sequel come out too? My time at Sandrock, I think? I watched Lifeless play a lot of that and it looked really, really nice. Oh, it's laggy for you? I'm so sorry to hear that, Katie. I, I know how frustrating that can be when you have nothing but lag. Do I think this game is worth playing in early access? Um, For me, I, I've really enjoyed my time. Like if you like the farm sim aspect of stuff and like, you know, um, doing mining, exploring like the underwater and stuff, then totally. However, if you're a person that is all more so about, if your thing is like socializing in farm sim games, if that's your big like emphasis of gameplay, I would say wait because not all of the social events are in the game yet. Like the festivals are still a work in progress. Uh, there are certain heart events that are in the game, but it's only up to five hearts for the characters. And then the other heart events are going to come out through patches. Like, you can't get married and have children just yet. It's going to come in future updates. But so, like, yeah, the social aspects and, like, the romance paths are important to you. Um, that is not currently available. But if you don't mind, like, the whole gathering resources, doing the farming doing layout, decorating it with furniture. Um, there's enough in here that I think that the $25 early access point is justifiable. And I've been thoroughly enjoying it. Each time I play this game, I like play it for hours at a time and hours feel like minutes. But yeah, I think it's worth it so far. I, I really do. Just a heads up though. The... Devs have said in their FAQ that when future updates come out, they're going to do their best so that you can retain your save data and continue to use it in future patches. But there are going to be potential instances if the game changes pretty drastically that they're going to need to partially reset things. They've said that they have set it up, the framework, that you should still be able to retain your character's information, your stats, 
your skill tree, your money, your farm layout, the interior design of your house, all of that should still be retained. But like, let's say when the marriage update comes out or like the mines update or whatever, there may be a chance that like everything else may be reset in the town where like all relationships maybe go back and like everything outside of that gets reset to what it was initially. So it is an early access game. Um, I know not everyone's into that idea. Sometimes people prefer to wait until the full product is out, but I find it very enjoyable. Yeah, I'm gonna romance Raphael for sure. Yeah, you can keep decorating at least. So um, assuming like, you know, they're hopefully able to go on their board with that. Um, so I'm crossing my fingers that that will be the case for sure. Oh, there we go. We got some trash here. <laughs> Another flyer. Oh, no, actual trash. Okay. This way. Maybe we can go diving for just a brief moment and get some more bronze kelp and stuff, actually. Yeah, while we still have some time left over, let's go over here. Go diving. We'll stick around where our anchor's at. See if we can get some kelp, maybe some deep sea creatures to also sell real quick. There's some more bronze kelp over here. Do I have much uh, inventory space? Oh, I do. Good. I'm, I've been mainly catching the same fish, so I actually have a bit of space left over still, which is nice. You can also get some seaweed so I can make more snacks, too. So we'll go down this way. Ooh, hello. I'd like to catch you, please. Um, But there's also, like, there's been a um bit of quest so far. Oh, yes. So that happened. Uh, unfortunately, that was an error on their end where they updated. I guess it was, like, the wrong version or something. So, unfortunately, if you played the Game Pass version, you did lose um progress so that unfortunately did happen which i'm sure uh nobody obviously is happy about that that's uh really really unfortunate i would like i'd be very very bummed out i feel at that point i would like play on normal game speed time and i'd kind of just try to speed run some stuff i got plenty of stuff of that to get this here so um hopefully this will be a learning experience for them to really 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 double check that they are sending out the correct update so that our future save files are hopefully safe fingers crossed um i was saying this earlier though that like when the game fully releases though I may go ahead and just start a fresh new save file regardless. Um, just to kind of experience the game from the start when everything is fully implemented. And then I'm really excited also because I actually did not even know that multiplayer was even slated for this game at all. But they said that um, after 1.0, when the game releases, that they are going to work on implementing up to four player uh, co-op. Oh, that's good, Jessica. Yeah, I I know. There, there was uh, someone in here earlier that said that they had lost, unfortunately, like 20 hours worth of gameplay time. And I was like, my heart. Ugh. It, it's like, I nothing sucks more than that. Like, even, gosh, especially like with Sims files and when you lose them, it's a, it can be really disheartening. Like, damn. Like, I, and it's happened to me before in the past. I, it sucks. It really does. Now those keep this yeah like sims oh my god like i remember in the sims 3 love that game great game however one of its downfalls is when you're in build mode you can't save like if you're how do i say it like if you're in edit town you're building to like get free like unlimited resources and whatnot without the burden of using money cheats you could only save if you went to edit town and then saved. And like, I didn't know that at first. And I remember I spent so much time on this one build and I lost all of my progress on it because the game crashed and I never saved because I was unable to. It was like grayed out and only doing edit town. <laughs> 
So after that, I would actually, um, I would, um, make a sim and I would take them to the empty lot and then I would, um, so I could unlock the ability to save basically. The five hour renovation for Sims 2 Legacy and lost it. No. <laughs> You lost all your Sims 2 save files? No, that sucks so bad. I mean, oh, I don't know what happened. I could have sworn, like, I I know I had my save file for my Sims 3, like, Let's Plays and my um Legacy, like the Thorn, or, yeah, the Thornberry Legacy. I had those somewhere. I know I did. I know I did. And, like, I, I don't know what happened to that hard drive or what. Like, I don't know. It must have just got lost when I was moving around a ton. Uh, I'm still pretty bummed out about it because it, it's like it was just a very like important thing to have. So I'm, I'm bummed that I don't have it. But at least the videos are there. I also am bummed that I never had a chance to properly rescue my Persona 4 Let's Play that I did forever ago. Like a long, long, long ass time ago. Back in like 2009, I think. <laughs> Uh, let's see. How's the weather tomorrow? Sunny. Okay. Let's go to bed. No, that sucks. Adventures of Kid. Nice. We leveled up our fishing skill. And we got some money. Okay, good. So we have enough money to get some crops, uh, seeds, and everything. So tomorrow it's going to be sunny. Okay, let's go down here. And then get to watering. First, is any beer done? Damn, the beer takes forever. <laughs> oh, good. Oh my god, we're gonna be. Oh wait, is our? How long is it gonna take? Aqua, are you still here? Sorry to call you out of lurking. How long does it take for your house to upgrade? They said it's been. It's gonna take a couple days, and I'm like, it's been a couple days. Where's my house upgrade? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, I'm getting impatient. Go here. Yours still hasn't? Wait, what? What do you mean? I spent 5,000 gold on that. It takes a while. Oh no. Okay, it takes a bit. Gotcha, thank you, Raiden. <laughs> oh man, I'm impatient, I'm sorry. You can use your scythe to... Excuse me? You can do what now? Okay, thanks for letting me know that you can use your scythe. To harvest multiple crops. I did not know that at all. That is good to know. Oh, man. Oh, I forgot to water my flowers yesterday. All right, let me buy more flower seeds and then ochre seeds. And then... I think we'll have one of each crop growing. I'm pretty sure. That's good. And we got blueberries. Oh, I gotta ship blueberries, though. I gotta ship the bronze ones for the goal. Honey. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I'm going to make money tomorrow. I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to save up to upgrade my tools. That's going to be my next thing. That. Sweet. Thank you, Raiden and Aqua, by the way, and everyone who's been answering our questions. Since this game is in early access and everything, and, you know, everything's kind of tentative, there's not really much of a wiki or anything, so... We very much have to rely on the community here and talk to each other to, like, figure out certain things sometimes. Like, I would have never known that thing about the scythe, I don't think, if you didn't tell me. That's especially helpful if you have, like, a giant plot of farm and you're doing a bunch at once. There. I'm still, I'm, like, a little confused that it was saying I couldn't plant my seeds over here. They're like, this isn't your farm. Like, oh, <laughs> it says so on the map that it is, though. Don't have the permit for it, apparently. That's fine. We'll just make that a cute little um, area. Decorate it. That's all good. Um, so, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I do. I have a cow now. I need to go check on my cow, actually. It's reminding me. Go here and all the animals outside. I only have one cow right now. But um they're amazing. Their name is Mukade. 
She's great. I love her. Go and hang out with them real quick. A little pet. We have uh, five hearts with them. And they're giving us large milk now, which I'm very excited about. So I need to get bronze quality milk. So I can continue diving down in the water. It's great. Oh, okay, sorry. This time I can actually bring the stuff for the blacksmith to open. That's all good. Um, let me actually, I'm going to bring some more wood. I'm going to fill in the gaps down there at the bottom left then. And I'm actually going to remove the gates a little bit. We kind of don't really need this to be an enclosed space, really. Or I guess, no, it's fine the way that looks there. It looks kind of cute. Fine. Go craft and make some more wood floors. Be enough to patch this in. This is where we, there's like those cute little like uh, beach chairs. We could put some here. It'll be nice. All right, that's there. No, you're good, Cupcake. No worries. Um, let's see. I do want to get a coop eventually. Let's put like a, maybe like a four tile wide gap for the chicken coop. We'll do, um, let's see. I need to make, the, you know what? I have quite a few of those fence posts still. So let me go grab those instead of using my wood. Oh, so wait, hold on. Is the store open? It's open at nine. Open at nine. Okay, good, good. Uh, wrong chest. Oh, we only have two. <laughs> I really thought we were going to have more than that, but that's okay. I'm going to bring this to over here. And grab this. Okay, so. Do one, two, three, four. Okay, that'll be, yeah, I think that's a pretty good gap there between the cows and the chickens that we'll get eventually, which is pretty cute. Make like... Two of these good for us here. Oh, I see. It's going to go. Um, Maybe I can change this up a bit. Yeah, maybe I will get rid of this then, actually. Yes. Um, that was part of their Kickstarter thing. That if they reach a certain goal, that they would support mods. So that is in the... Oh, whoa. <laughs> the way that looked. Uh, yeah, that is that is something that they confirmed will be in this game. Hopefully, chickens don't need this much space. Bring this in. Good. This. And we can have this go as far as the cow's pen goes. Match up nicely with that. There we go. That's one, two, three, four. Go. Get rid of some of this. Make the pathing. And twice full. Oh, God. Fine. We'll put the gate here. Match the cows. Okay, cool. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll keep that fenced in. And then this will be our little beach zone. Wait, let's get rid of this here. Then... There we go. And then once we have furniture, I think this won't look as awkward. Okay, let's go sell some stuff. Actually, maybe... Hmm. What we could do... Okay, we need to buy five of those flowers, ochre seeds, and then... Yeah, that'll be good. Beer is still in production right now. Uh, No one's birthday is until, like, Thursday, which is Eva and uh, Emma's. So we're good on that end. Let me save a bell pepper and a 
I think I need to donate some stuff to the shrine. So, oh, hello. What am I, what am I doing over there? <laughs> and then he said, where's the other sock? I assume the joke is done. Well, I don't follow. <laughs> Sam, Sam, Sam. Listen closely, will you? And then he said, where's the other sock? Where's the other sock, Sam? That's the punchline. <laughs> oh, I see. Thank you for pointing out the punchline, Ben. Jokes often need explanation like that. Very funny. <laughs> You're trolling me, aren't you? Classic Sam. You don't think it's funny. Well, you gotta be there. Yes, come with me next time I go down to the bay. Oh, no, no, no. That's a bad idea. I'm sorry, Ben. You're right. I didn't think the joke was funny. I don't even think the punchline was a punchline at all. There was no sense of punch there. Why? Well, what do you mean? Punchline was totally there. You want to hear it again? I don't think you got the joke. This poor... Oh... <laughs> Please, I have a store to run. All right, you're you're lost, Sammy. Um, I'm gonna tell someone here about the joke, and they're gonna laugh. Watch me. That sounds like your dad trying to explain jokes to your mom. Oh, oh God, no! We were trying to just get out unnoticed. Leave us alone. I don't want to hear your joke, Ben. Maybe it's only funny when you've had your mushrooms, okay? Oh my God. Poor Sam. Here you go, Sam. Got some stuff to give you. Oh, shit. I meant to hold on to one of those. Um, whoops. Well, you know, uh, it's fine. These are going to keep growing. We'll go to the train next time. I promise. Okay, so get five of these. And then get nine of those. Um, and then one second. So they're 130 each. Get. But we can get another batch of nine. So let's do that because they just take forever to grow. So I want to just get some more. Okay. And now that I've, I feel like at this point we've got a lot of seeds and we planted so many. Now I won't feel so guilty about saving up money to like buy furniture for the farm and also upgrade my tools. Also, Jesus Christ, let me go to the blacksmith before I forget. <laughs> yeah, we've planted nine melon already, and they're... Oh, hi. Uncle Joko tells me festivals are a great way to meet everyone, especially since I'm new around here. Coconuts are seasonal here, huh? I notice each season has a different kind of coconut. Summer, um... Oh, God. Raphael, hello. Oh, it's a new week, isn't it? Can't I give you this? I appreciate it. Thanks. No problem. Summer is a little uncomfortable for me. I prefer winter. Maybe fall. Pablo and I went over to the inn and had a quick dinner with our niece Valentina to celebrate her birthday last week. Oh, that's so cute. Pablo gave her a geode because he thought that she would enjoy finding treasures, but uh, I guess not. <laughs> oh, that's so cute that they actually acknowledge each other's birthdays and stuff. I mean, you know what? Actually, I think Eva was talking about how... Her and Emma share them and how they exchange gifts. That's really cute. Oh my god. Go over here. Cross to some geodes. Yeah, so you can give people to get... Ooh, that's a dupe. Uh, oh, I got silver kelp. Holy shit. Oh my god. I also got a, a, a new artifact. Nice. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, well, I, my other thought, how much, let me see, how much to upgrade my seeds again? Curious. Let me see. Oh, I need six of them. Son of a... Oh, wait, but this only makes one essence. Oh. And wait, but that, I can only make the crappy sprinklers though, right? The ones that only go around... Which isn't like the work world I get. But um I 
Yeah, I mean, they're, they're not... I, I don't know. Maybe I'm alone in this. But you know, in Stardew, in Harvest Moon, this game, for whatever reason, like I never use the lowest tier of the sprinklers, really. I mean, I, I think I use it in spring for a moment, but then I kind of forgot about it. I just, I usually ignore them. I don't know why. I just, um, just do. <laughs> Because I'm like, yeah, they water like the little spots around them, but I just feel like it's such a small radius that I'd rather personally just go out and do it myself. But I, I get it. They are handy. They are handy. For sure. Um, let me go here. I sell this and that. Ready? Go back here. Put this away. Put this here. I need fertilizer. So I have nine things of fertilizer. I have some compost and sap. Are we out of trash? Yo, we're out of trash. Dang. All right. So we're definitely going to use the fertilizer on the melons. Uh, let me go here and do this this way. What? It says this isn't my... Oh, wait. Is it because I haven't hoed it yet? Is that what it was? Wait, was I dumb? Or, wait, what's happening? Let me see. Oh, I think that's what it was. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, this definitely has a lot more influence from Stardew, for sure. I feel like Disney Dreamlight Valley is much more like Animal Crossing to me. Which is still fun. But I, I totally get what you mean. Because this really scratches the itch of like a more like kind of traditional old school farm sim game like Harvest Moon and whatnot. So I get you. That. Oh, is there one? Oh, there's one there already. I just have not been watering it, apparently. My bad. Okay. Then I can make a little bit more fertilizer. The annoying thing about the big ones in this game is that they... Oh, they need gold kelp. And right now you can only buy the gold kelp. And they're not worth it, in my opinion. Ah, okay. Gotcha. So that other area down there was totally fine, but since we've gone out of our way to make this here, we may as well, you know, do this. I forgot to put a sign. Oh, you know what? I can't even make those signs because I don't even have trash. So, <laughs> to my surprise, well, I can't believe it. We actually got to the point where we've used all of our trash. Who would have thought? My God. There. What are these? Good. Okay. So. This is good. Nice. That's all great. Jump over here. Put that back there. Um, put this away. Did I water that flower? But, uh, nope. I totally forgot again. Jesus. What's wrong with me? <laughs> okay. There's that. Now, I gotta go donate this to the museum. And then, I'm trying to think. Yeah, we're, we're wearing shoes and shorts, but since it's the summertime, I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and um, not wear a shirt. Well, I originally did this because I thought that everyone was gonna change their outfits, which in the future they are. Just right now, in the current point in early access. Uh, that's not implemented yet, but it will be in the future. <laughs> so I was fully expecting to see Raphael in his summer outfit and I kind of wanted to match him a little bit. He's not shirtless in summertime, but he um, has a little white tank top on. Oh, Lady Beetle. Did I already... Yeah, I, I want to say... Let me just... I mean, the museum's right here. I could look to see... And the cot things. Yeah, 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 We can sell that then. Okay, that's fine. Oh, really? The gold, the higher tier um, sprinklers are only a 5x5 five five area? Oh, that's not worth it at all. Oh, yeah, no. The sprinklers seem a little bit weak in this game compared to some other ones. Yeah, there, there's some pretty strong ones in um, Harvest Moon and in Stardew. Gotcha. Yeah, that does not seem worth it. I agree. For sure. 
Okay, so there's all this. Um, go down here. Um, I'm trying to think. I actually, you know what? This is gonna look funny with this here. Yeah, I will undo this action and have this be more of a random kind of area. Maybe we'll plant some trees here, actually. Oh, actually, yeah, that would look kind of cute. Let's see. I'll, I'll worry about that some other time. Let me bring this fencing over here, though. I need to make more wood floor to put under the fences, too. Oh, shit. No, this should probably have met, met this, actually. I can plant grass later, right? Like, I can put... I'm about to get rid of some here. I think the general store sells it, actually. Hence why I caved in and built uh, sprinklers. The re Yeah, way cheaper to craft. That makes sense. Because, yeah, I guess, like, you have so much space that you can kind of, like, opt to make an automated water system. That way you don't have to worry about your energy or maintaining that. But in the long run, it's definitely might be worth it then. If there's no better quality ones, then I'll, I'll hold on to the silver kelp for now. And then that way, if I ever want to pursue that, then we'll be good. Let me, let me have this match with this up here, actually. My bad. Yeah, because I made this two tiles wide. I should have made that four. Oh, you know what, though? It's probably because of that damn. Yeah, there's probably all this stuff in the way. That's why I didn't do that. Okay, that's fine. Two tile wide isn't too bad. The general store sells grass, and you can get mode grass tiles from the furniture store. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, I will need to, I'll need to get some grass and put it in these pens. This is where my um, chickens are going to go eventually. So we got the cows up here, and then we'll put the... Go up here. Grab this. Very good. Well, stone. Then. Oh, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Um, okay, let me grab this and fill this in under here. I know all the characters in the game are super duper cute. It makes me so happy. How adorable they all are. Or I think we're going to need to chop down some more trees again. A lot more floor tiles than I expected. Evil stump. <laughs> Ruining my life. How dare you. And make this. Good. Okay, I will buy the grass tomorrow. I'll put it inside the pen. I'm gonna get rid of this so I can put my stone path. Oh. Thankfully, um, we do have hay for the cow too, in the meantime, as well inside. So and the hay is not too expensive, thankfully, too. Okay, there's all that. Let's wait. No reason to open this anymore. Because there's not going to be any grass here, sorry. Mookade. Don't worry, we'll get you some more in the future, I promise. It's all part of my end game, I assure you. 
cute. And our little farm. We've come such a long way from the first season. My favorite bit of uh, farm some games, in case you couldn't tell. I know, like, it's interesting to see just how many different play styles. It's just like Sims. Like, there's so many people that play in different ways. Like, I remember when I first looked at the Stardew Valley subreddit, and, like, there were people that were min-maxing and, like, sharing the most optimal, like, farm layout to get the most crops and sprinklers and all that stuff to make as much money as possible. I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> and I'm like, I must make millions of gold. I'm like, I just want to make a pretty farm. <laughs> What's money? What's currency? Like, I, uh... I do, I do like doing a little bit of farming, too. I don't mind making some money from time to time in the game, for sure. Always good. Make some money. That. Then... I don't really... I think I'll leave this kind of more... Uh, like this. I, I think I do want to eventually put a cute little, like, formation of flowers and stuff here. I just, I, I, I don't know how I'm going to do the layout yet. I need to get rid of this crap. So <laughs> that's why I really want to prioritize, um, you know, my upgrading my tools and whatnot. Oh, thank you, by the way. Sorry. Uh, Ka, uh, is it Kaisel Lauren? Thank you so much. Sorry if I butchered your name. I apologize. Can I put tiles out here too? Probably new. Probably not two tiles wide though, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll just leave that there then. That's fine. No big deal. Go make more of this here. Running out of stone will give me inspiration to go back into the mines and smack around a bunch of rocks. Need quite a bit here. Go. That way I know what to get rid of down here, too, because there's a lot of stuff in the way. I'll put down what I can in the meantime. Okay. Cool. And then I have stone fence. Now. Good. Yay! We have... Such a cute little layout. It makes me happy. I don't know why this brings me so much joy, but it does. That. Yeah, we really got to find a spot to put our little, like, trees at. I think this will be a good spot. Uh, out of the way a little bit. It won't interrupt too much with what I'm doing up here. So that'll be good. to make more wood tiles here. Go ahead and do that. Okay. Uh, we filled in all these gaps up here, right? We did. Okay. And then for this, I'm going to walk into the sign a little bit. Unless I move the signs to the bottom. Or if I just leave a little gap there. No, yeah. Let's just bring the signs to the bottom here. That'll work. I, oh, but if I take down the signs, I'll lose the symbols for them. But you know what? When I harvest them, I can reset the signs to have the actual, like, item rather than, like, the seed, like, the packaging. But I kind of like the packaging. But it's okay. Well, we'll just change it to the actual crop. Move these out of the way. No, the signs are cute. I was going to say I could just get rid of them, but they're cute. We'll keep them. There we go. It goes to this tile. Okay. Fucked 
ました。I could raise all this up by one. I can salvage this. Kind of. Yeah. I just realized. Because it's two tiles above. Oops, this should all be wood. This should not be stone. Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, oh, that's because I remember now. Last night I was going to eventually move this all down by one, but I couldn't because of my tools. Tools deep. Then. Okay, yeah, I think I can salvage it. That's why the sign wasn't working. Oh, God. I didn't need to do that then. Well, that's okay. <laughs> you live and you learn. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Not a big deal. Salvageable. This actually doesn't look all that bad. Oh, actually, it doesn't at all. I actually kind of like that, weirdly. Like, it doesn't match with this side on the left, but I could also... Honestly, make this a dirt path behind here. Or we could just raise this up. Yeah. Um... Yeah, let's do that. Thankfully, um, removing the tiles and uh, the fences and stuff does not take any energy, thankfully. You do have to use your pickaxe to pick things up, but a very nice quality of life thing is that it does not use any energy. So, do like that. That's good. This will give this a little bit more room in the back here from the barn. Ooh, nice. I like that the barn does go fully transparent when you're behind the building. Get access to whatever you're looking at behind there. Good. That'll do. Now that's kind of fixed, sort of. Yeah, and that that works. Okay. Um, otherwise, it just would have been if I tried to do it the other way. Oh God, it would have had to. I would have had to remove so much more of this down here, way more. And I was just not ready to do that. <laughs> not at all. I'm going to need to work on clearing out this space, actually. Uh, I guess it's not, like, super vital that I do that, because, like, I don't have, um, like, the intention to put that many crops right now. But next season, I could. For fall, I could essentially double the uh, space for my crops down there. That's good. Okay. Um, I hope I didn't miss out on anything else I was trying to do. I think we're good. Everything's watered. We have a scarecrow protecting all of our crops here. We've got a nice little kind of grid system going on here for our um, farm. Got the barn there. We'll get a coop down here eventually. And then yeah, I'm going to place a silo over there. Oh, wait, you know what? I think my mill's been done for a bit. What do I do with my mill? Oh, yeah, it's over here. Look at it. Oh, that's how I got hay. Okay. Yeah, I put it kind of over there because I think it just looked kind of cute there. So let me get fiber. Um, there we go. And go convert that into hay. Good thing. Uh, yeah, I chopped down a bunch of that grass. Get fiber. So there we go. There's that. Um, and then... I will put the silo to the left of the um, barn here, like and right this way. And I think the coop will go more towards the top left rather than the center. It'll be like right here. That'll be good. Can't wait to get some chickens. Be cute. 
Okay, let's go to bed. That way we save everything and we don't lose progress because, oh my god, I, like, change. It was so sad. The other day, I had, like, upgraded all my wooden chests to stone chests, which took me a bit to kind of transfer everything. And after I was done with all that, my game, like, had crashed a bit afterward, and I was terrified. Also, I think I'm going to go ahead and try... Uh, or here, let me just bust out the control. I like my VTuber holding the controller. Cool. We made some more money. Oh my god, holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, that took me by surprise. I was, <laughs> our, our house has gotten bigger. There we go. Oh my god. Oh, we, oh, whoa. Wait, this is so pretty. Oh my god. Wow. Look at our kitchen. Damn. Okay. Holy shit. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's so good. Okay, so let's grab this. We'll put this... Uh, wait, do I want to put the signs back where they were? Yeah, actually, I preferred the signs where they were. <laughs> Sorry. It's not that I'm indec... Okay, maybe I am a little bit indecisive, but... um. Yeah, I was trying to fix a problem that, and, and then I made it, there was an easier solution, and then I kind of soiled it, so that's my bad. But now I know how to fix it properly. That's fine. Okay, let's put this here. There we go. All right, cool. Oh, I'm so happy. That means that we can buy appliances now and everything from that one shop. Great. Okay, so I'm going to need... To get things. Ooh, look at all these tomatoes. Delightful. God. Our beer, by the way, is still in production. Holy shit. I was originally I was gonna say, oh I'm like, maybe we can oh there we go, there's beer. Finally. Oh my god. Okay. With this beer, get rid of those. Go over here. Grab some blueberries. Oh right, I can use the scythe you were saying to get multiple at once. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Um. Very nice. Oh, did I? No, 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 we're good. I forgot. Some of them grow faster than others. Okay, let me, with the stuff that I have, very quickly, let me go to the lake temple real quick. So that we can put some stuff in here. So we'll put a blueberry, a hot pepper. Oh, nice. We're going to get... Tomato seeds! Yay! Okay, so we've finished our summer sesogen. Uh, for fall, got those. These, very nice. So we got eight tomato seeds. Nice! That saves us a little bit of money. Very nice. Let's go out here. And then... Go get our watering can. Um, okay, so these are... Blueberries. These are tomatoes. And then. No, that's a lie. That's that. These are tomatoes. Uh, these are our sunflowers. This is this flower. Okay, and then. That's wheat. I forget what this is already. Um, oh, I think that's a star fruit, I think. And then we got melons over here. Okay. So our signs are a little all over the place right now. <laughs> Sorry. Kind of messed that up a bit. I didn't even need to, but fine. Here in water. Go. Good. Gonna need to go refill some water in a second. This. Or what I could do to salvage this is buy one of each seed, actually, in addition to whatever I need to buy, just for the sake of making that. Also, like, where do I get trash now? I need to get trash. <laughs> um, I guess just from like fishing, diving, and stuff. Because the trash was plentiful before, but we've uh, really, really used all of it. And it's actually su such a super useful resource in this game, actually.
Needed to make like fertilizer and stuff. Vines. Well, thank you, Simmer. I'm glad that you're liking it. Yeah, the trash is super helpful. I was surprised by that too. Like, wait a minute. Everything should be watered, more or less, kind of. Um, go here, fill up my water, and then... Yeah, this music is from um, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Really, really pretty. Oh, the flowers? Actually, let me start converting that into honey. Because I've already put the flower that I need to in the shrine. We're, we're done with that now. So that'll cause us to get some uh, free space. And then... Okay, so... Um... You know what? What I'll do, <laughs> as silly as it is, I'm gonna just put random little things there. Like, I'm just... <laughs> Until we get the proper thing, okay? Like, this is totally a lie. This is not cauliflower, but to us, for now, it is, okay? So, just so that there's something on there. It's it's placeholder until it comes in and I can replace it. Pretend those are carrots and that these are radishes. <laughs> it's gonna... <laughs> so, just, just pretend. Just pretend. Just so I can save money. <laughs> Alright, put these uh, radish away, the carrot away, cauliflower away, that away. I've been holding on to this for whatever reason, just in case. Then, okay, we'll sell those. Oh, we got tomato seeds. Um, is the store open? It is open. Okay, we can plant more tomatoes down here. Those are the kind that like, they, they, or you know what? We could just put eight here, right around this scarecrow. That way we don't, again, save money and it still looks cute. The tomatoes here. That's fine. Then we'll go here. Tomato seeds. There we go. Okay, and then we can go sell. Um, We might be... I think with this, we'll be able to go and upgrade something. So let me... Okay, this is exciting. Let me... What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm doing things. I'm doing things. I'm getting my watering can, and then I'm going to get... I think I just need bronze bar, I think, to upgrade my tools and money. So I'll bring my bronze bars with me to town. Oh, we have birthdays tomorrow. That's good. And then I think I'm going to actually spend today clearing out more of this down south. Whatever I can, anyway. So I'm going to upgrade... What should I upgrade first? I think the my wooden axe. I hope I can get rid of this with my wooden axe when I upgrade it. These two are really, really bothering me. Um, there's, like, some stone that's in the way, kind of, but it's not as... I probably need to upgrade this twice to get rid of this one. Uh, I'm probably going to need wood as well. Oh, shoot. You need bronze bars and wood 20 to upgrade? Oh, thank you. Okay. Thanks for the heads up. I think I used all my wood, so... Oopsies. Not bad. I will go get some more right now. Okay. Let's go chop down some trees. Preemptively. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Grab this. Clear out this here. I am um, very, very excited to play Breath of the Wild 2. The first game really took me by surprise. Like, I've always liked Zelda games. They've always been fun. But something about Breath of the Wild just was a complete different experience for me. And I got so addicted to that game. I could not stop playing it. It was 
so much fun. All right. So since we're not going to have our axe, because we got to I think it takes them a day to upgrade it. Oh, are they open today? They are open today. Okay, perfect. Go over here. And calendar. Oh, okay. So yeah, not, not for a couple more days. We're good. This here. No! You are the worst. <laughs> Why must you be closed today of all days? Why are you... I swear, it's like the most inconvenient time whenever I need to go to the shop and they're closed. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, it is just 2,000 at least. Oh my god. That is so sad. That is so, so sad. God damn it. Okay, fine. Well, well, you know what? Okay. I mean, you know, I this will give us an opportunity to... We gotta spin this. We gotta, we gotta look at the silver lining. This gives us a chance to use... Well, this is stupid. No, this is dumb. This is not good. Because I was like, well, we can just clear out the bottom. But that would be so much better with an upgraded axe. But, like... Oh well, <laughs> let's go down there and chop down some trees before we have to say goodbye to our tool for a little bit. Oh my god, that's fine. Sorry, um, I have grass growing near my barn. My cows, they all run around. <gasps> my cows! Sorry, I'm gonna read the rest of your sentence. Hold on, my cow, oh god, my cow. <gasps> Um, wait, what did you say? Sorry, they run around all the way to the gap in the fence to eat there because there's more grass there. Oh my god. <laughs> Here, let me go. Okay, we're shipping all of these. At least we'll make a lot of money. Um, yeah, I needed... So that's why I was so sad that the shop was closed because that those crops were going to give me enough to upgrade, I think. And, um... Oh, such a bummer. And, uh, yeah, Charm... Well, right now, we, we have shorts on, to be fair. But, um... You know, they... I guess it's not that much of a difference. I mean, it does add like like an inch of a, a seam there, you know? The glutes don't look as good with this, honestly. I mean, this is... Look at those. <laughs> but we got a... We have the little shorts on. Then... Uh, normally, we are wearing... Usually wear this. This is my spring outfit. Um, here, we'll gonna do my cow I was gonna go say hello to my cow and do this open the gate because there is some grass still on my farm it's just a little bit farther away hello smushy welcome on in how are you doing little cow by the way doing good you have some milk for me today <gasps> whoa we're going diving we got silver quality milk holy shit Whoa! Mookade coming in clutch! Holy shit! Okay, today's great. Today's the best day in the world. Oh my god. Okay, this is amazing. Uh, we don't need this. We don't need this or this or this. Okay, grab some of this. We'll wait until we're fully exhausted before we can see that. We'll be fine. Oh my god. Actually, hold on. Let me bring some of my candies. We'll quickly eat some of these. I know we could go to the hot spring, but we'll bring this for now. Very good. Oop, yes. Okay, great. Put that away for now because we have the Jammu with us. Um, okay, go to the diving pier. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Alright, this is great. Let's go. Oh, hi! Look at you. Sunny is the defending champion in the swimming contest. I don't understand how he can swim so fast for his age. Why do I feel like there's a new bug in town every summer? True. And let's go diving. Oh my god, it's time. Finally. Here we go. Here is a silver quality. This should still work. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> 
Okay, here you go. All right, enjoy. Oh my God, they devoured it, the bottle and everything. My God. All right, look at all this. Here we go. Great. Finally access a whole new area down here. There's a uh, thing right there. We're at 18 out of 20. We got some bronze kelp up ahead. Nice. Good, very good. Also, what is our gift that we got this time? Ooh, three scuba snacks. Sweet. All right, very nice. Thank goodness. So excited. Pacific oyster. We needed uh, another type of oyster soon, hopefully, maybe. Yes. Yeah, and also we're getting trash, thank God. I need that to make more fertilizer. And, um, oh, the signs. Actually, yeah, I want to make more signs for down there, too. Good. Eat. Oh, my God. We're going to make so much money tonight. We're going to be able to get a weapon. After we upgrade the axe, I think I can hold off on upgrading the pickaxe for a while. Because, I mean, we've already reached the bottom of the mines and, like... That's fine. Um, I want to buy some furniture because now that we have our house expanded, I want to definitely get some stuff for it. A little little jelly. I mean, home with me. This. orb is being very rude. Where is it? Oh, we can... Oh, this is sea salt. Hello? I forgot that you can pick those up. Are these the... Ca yes, there is caves at the top left. Uh, there's four. Right now, there's only two in the game. So you, ha you start off in the earth one. And then you can go into the uh, water one afterward. Here. And then in addition to that, there's also this deep sea diving. So there's um, three different kind of things that you can explore and get materials from and everything. This is the 19th coral site that we are going to take care of. How exciting. Should open. Ooh, hello. Offer. Should unlock access to one of these paths on the left side. Where are we going to? Let's see. Nice. Look at all that. Go away. Wait. <laughs> oh, wait. wait did I. Open up on the north side? That's what it was. Okay, cool. Look, there's the 20th Brian altar thingy. There's more sea. Oh, can I get this? Oh, no, those. Never mind. I thought this was harvestable. That's just decorative. Wheat. Oh, you know what? I can bring the anchor over here now. Let me do that. Nice. Got some bronze kelp down this way. Very good. Go. Beat. We're also getting scrap here, which is really good because that is something I really needed to pretty low on it. You need it to craft on, like, the silos and everything. Low salmon detected. Don't worry, I got a scuba snack. Okay, another one. Actually, may as well consume it all, just so that we get all of this empty. Okay, cool. That. Okay. 
here. Um, but yeah, the, to access the mines, uh, there's someone named Mark. He'll like he'll sh stop by your farm pretty early on in the game. Actually, it, it doesn't take very long. And whenever Mark shows up to your house, he's basically the one that tells you like, oh, there's mines now. Like you can access them at the top left, and uh, you can basically go in right away. And you'll you'll see a little cutscene and everything to get you all set up to explore in there. This. Ah, there we go. I found it. <laughs> that one was being very sneaky, but we did it. The 20th one, y'all. Oh my god. How exciting. I I know I've already said it before, but this uh, diving aspect is just really, really fun. I like it a lot. Hey, Cap Clone. Welcome on in. I'm trying to clear out this area because I think it's going to go over here. Yup. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to make room for you. I really am. Okay, there you go. Nice. The 20th one. And we cleaned out all the trash here, too. Sweet. How exciting. I like how there was those little goals, too, to, like, get those things that the turtles wanted. So that you can gain access to the different spots here and everything. Awesome. Oh. Hello? Oh? I don't remember where this was at all. I mean, I think I vaguely remember. Oh my god, wait, what? Okay, wow. I think that's like... Hold on, let me... I'm actually going to go back to the beginning. Let me bring the anchor here. And then we're going to reset this. Because I think that's closer to where, like, the start was, I think. So, reset, enter location. That way we start off from the beginning. There we go. Uh, for now, I'm going to ignore these things just because I want to see where that is. Ooh, trash. Okay, I won't ignore the trash, though. <laughs> Need it. Okay, I think we're getting closer because there was a lot of trash in that cutscene. That looks like a spot that I kind of left. Oh, hold on, was it over here? I think it was, yeah. Oh my god! Wait, they're actually in the game! <laughs> Look at them. They're so cute! Oh god, of course they're terrified of us though. Oh, oh my, look at them! They're gorgeous, oh my god. Denali? Uh, but, oh! <laughs> Oh my god, hello? A gung? Oh my god. Oh goodness, it really is a human, a swimming one at that. You, in the meat suit, approach. <laughs> Not the meat suit. <laughs> you have a lot to explain, human. Yeah, that's right. We're royal scouts from the Merfolk Kingdom and we demand answers. How is it that you can operate our devices? How do you use it to heal sick coral and remove that disgusting, sticky human goo? How did you make the root of the coral tree retreat back? How? Denali, enough. We shall start over. My name is Agung, and this is Denali. We're merfolk from the merfolk kingdom. Now about those questions Denali asked earlier. I see. The one named Ling appears to be responsible for most of this. We've paid no mind to the Super Coral since they appeared many years ago. But our modified devices, they are unexpected. We saw no such thing right up until the dark sticky goo entered our waters. Human from Coral Island, thank you for your cooperation. Denali, we must head back and report this. Wait, wait. Our... Report is still incomplete. I demand you give us your name. Andrew. Well, honorific Andrew, this isn't over. I still have questions for you. Farewell. 
Um, probably Calcu. I'm not sure if you can right now. The Merm uh, folks seem to still be something that's in development because um, in the roadmap, it says that the Merfolk Kingdom and everything, that's going to be, be accessible a little bit later on. Um, so there will be at least two Merfolk you can romance. Yeah, I would definitely be up for that for like a new game plus thing. Uh, so Raphael, like eventually when they add marriage and the ability to like romance people, uh, Raphael is still my go-to. I'm pretty like dead set on that. But I would totally be down for doing another playthrough where I would romance one of the mermaids. I would uh, totally be down for making another character in my next playthrough that um, I would either make uh, them a woman or non-binary and kind of like check out um, the game from like with that character. Go down here. Whoa, this goes so much deeper than I thought. Wait, oh my God, there's more. Oh, we can get so we need this for the shrine. We need this for the shrine. Oh my god. Cool. Oh, there's so much trash here to get. Oh, thank God. Oh, this is amazing. This is actually great. Okay. Awesome. Fairy stone. Oh wow. Dude, I love this so much. This is great. Um, hold on though. Let me see. Any turtles? Any turtles? Any turtles? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Or you know what? This is why we brought this. This is why we brought this. this why we brought. This. Okay. There we go. Get over here. Let's go ahead and start looking again. May as well. We'll have some time left over. Kind of investigate this a little bit more. And then, oh my God, we can get silver kelp. I can see why you, you made those uh, lesser quality sprinklers now, Raiden, because if you find sil silver, like if it's anything like the bronze kelp, like it actually is pretty plentiful. So, um, yeah, getting the resources to make that. Maybe I'll do that for fall, actually, um, where I'll have them all be automated after all. What? Once I have more, like I, I need to make more room. Because then, like, I can make up for the smaller sprinklers by having more rooms for crops. So that's what I'll... I'll, I'll do that more as my uh, end of summer, early fall planning. Thankfully, the uh, hot peppers or whatever, they're both seasons. So, um, those are planted up towards the north of my farm. And I can uh, just get rid of the middle one to replace it with a sprinkler. At that point... Eventually, but for now, I'm going to have it so I have all nine. So glad that we're getting so much trash. <laughs> Never thought I would be so happy about that. There's also more up above. I will need to backtrack and go there eventually to get more. But for now, since I need to clear it down here anyway to find the orbs, I may as well. Go down here. Found one, speaking of. Oh, uh, let me get the... Uh... I can make more glass later. Which one are you gonna lock? Are you gonna lock that over there? Okay. Yep, okay. So we'll stay in here for now because there's three that we can find in this area. So may as well stick to this zone. This. How much energy do I have left? Okay. Once I deplete my energy, we'll head back home and go to bed. That way we can make money. And then send our weapon to the blacksmith to get repaired. Then looks like we will probably come back and do some more diving then. Which I'm very excited about because I've been dying to get back to this. So I'm so happy. 
And we've a lot more to do here. Then, uh, after my, um, axe upgrades, the money that I make, I'm going to start buying some furniture. Obviously, you know, I'll still buy seeds whenever I need to, to replenish my crops. But I'm going to start working on decorating the inside of my house a little bit, just because got a bunch of space for it now. Now that we've got a proper bedroom. I also like how they, like, adjust, like... They kind of assume that, you know, in the beginning you're going to have a bedroom anyway. So they like, they move everything to you to the left. And then they put in the kitchen towards the right for you. Um, and that's just like a nice little thing. That way you don't have to like move it over there. Me too. Yeah, it's my favorite part of this game. Which normally I'm terrified of like water and video games. But obviously since this is a farm sim game and everything, like it's just very relaxing. And we've got very pretty merfolk people to look at. So... <laughs> and get to know so that's great let's bring this over here oh it wasn't that far my bad okay let's go out of here i love money <laughs> if you play it yes yes i um yeah did someone ferry me around oh my god yeah i i, I love final fantasy 14 it's one of my favorite games uh, and I know, yeah, it was a, what was it, Stormblood? Yeah, Stormblood that had a lot of underwater exploration stuff. All right, let me go to the shrine real quick, just to put this in there before I forget. So let's go here. Speaking of, um, I did buy my tickets. The Jumbo Cactpot is being drawn right now, or about to be drawn. I need to remember to log on before I go to bed to see if I won. I was so close. Find the screenshot. Gotta find the screen. Give me one second. This is important. <laughs> Hold on. Um, I play in Cactar. Hold on. This as image. And find it. Did I DM it to Lifeless? Remember, I play Lifeless plays it, so Raiden does too. A few people do. I, um, oh my god, okay, here it is, here it is, here it is. Literally, y'all, look at this. So, you can buy lottery tickets weekly for Final Fantasy 14. And this was so upsetting. The fact that I nearly won the Jumbo Cat Pot. But I was off by one number. I was so close. When you win the Jumbo Cat Pot, not only do you get a bunch of MGP, but you also get a very exclusive Chocobo ring that you can only get by winning the Jumbo Cat Pot. So I really, really thought that I was going to finally get it. <laughs> The ugly, I would wear it constantly. <laughs> even, I know, even though it's not that great looking, but oh, it's very, it's pretty gaudy, but I want it. <laughs> I want it so bad. Oh, so yeah, I was really close. Also, by the way, um, DX Machina, thank you for the follow. I'm so sorry. I think I missed that earlier. Um, did we put this in the shrine? We did, we did, we did. All right. I'm pretty sure we did. Oh, yeah, there was one of your alts. Oh, I'm so jealous. That's awesome. Yeah, I remember there was some that stopped by my stream, and um, we did Duty Roulette, and uh, they had it. What the hell? Uh, go here. Crash. This in here for now. In case I need it for whatever reason in the future. It's just what I keep telling myself. Scrap. Oh, I have 183 scrap. I am not that low on scrap as I initially thought. My bad. We converted a lot of our trash into scrap, so I think that's why. So, okay, I'm... If I run out of space underwater, then I can throw that away and... trade it for something else if I need to. Here. Put that there. Um. Oops. This. Okay, perfect. Oops. 
back. That's good. Okay, this is for the blacksmith. Which I'm gonna go tomorrow because I'm gonna upgrade my tool. Hopefully they'll be open tomorrow. Um this I can sell one of these because I donated one of them already. Then grab pickaxe again. Axe, watering can. Cool. You know what though? Actually, because we have so many of these things, like any extras or bronze sell for some extra cash. For things that we just got for the first time, just to see how much valuable they are. Because I am desperate for a little bit of money. Oh, let me bring this to the other chest. I mean, hold on to this. This, 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 this. Up there. Just looking over everything again, sorry. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to go to bed. I watered everything, right? Yeah. We planted some more tomatoes down here. Okay, everything's pretty good. The shops were closed, so I couldn't get more sunflower seeds, unfortunately. But that's okay. All right. Go to bed. See how much money we make. God. So giant now, I love it. Okay, so, made 1,700. Very good, very good. That gives us enough to get an upgrade. I'll take it. And then we can maybe go to the furniture store and maybe buy some things, too. For, uh, and buy some things, I mean, like, maybe one thing, because we'll have, like, 1,000 left over. Or, uh, who knows, maybe with... Oh, hi! Oh, my God, is it time? Is it time? Hey, Andrew. Today is the day. Opening ceremony day. No way. It's huge. I just wanted to pick you up so we can go to the museum together. You ready? Good thing I put on a shirt for this. <laughs> we also got some mail. Oh no, I forgot something at home. You know what? Why don't you go on ahead and I'll see you at the museum. Okay. Sounds good. <gasps> I love Splatoon 3. It's so much fun. Got a rush, Andrew. See you at the museum. Sounds good. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Where is this? This isn't the museum. What is this? Andrew, have you seen Scotty's late? He's supposed to start the ceremony. Oh my god. This is wild. Holy crap. This looks like a brand new place. <laughs> How much funding did we get? Welcome, honored guests. Holy shit. To the grand opening of the Founders Hall. Wow. Like, when they said they were going to expand it, I thought they would, like, attach another room, but they really just changed the whole design. <laughs> we want to thank you all for coming to this grand opening. This museum is truly a collaboration between everyone here and even those that are not present. We would all would like to extend our gratitude to all the backers who are here today and who believed in us enough to contribute to the building of our museum. This room, this Founders Hall, is the least we could do. Now, enough blathering from me. Time for us to finally officially open our Founders Hall. Mayor Connor, if you would do the honor. Thank you, Scott. I was skeptical of that this many people from around the world would want to give us money. I'm glad I was proven wrong. I'm sure you're all very eager to see inside of the Founders Hall. So with this, I declare the Founders Hall officially open. Cute. Gotta love how this is their little way to thank all the backers on like Kickstarter for Coral Island. That's really sweet. Wow, look, that's me. So that's what I look like from the back, huh? Thanks, beloved games, for the follow. Dang, it's even more magnificent in real life. How pretty. Nice. Good job, Scott. You pulled it off. 
Thanks for believing in me, Millie. Minus points for being late, though. That'll go into your annual report. Come on, I work so hard on this. You did great, but tardiness is still tardiness. Well, I'll leave you to it. Looks like Mayor Connor needs some help. You did good, Scott. Aw. Smiling. You know, I was actually really nervous there at the opening. I couldn't tell. Well, that's good then. It's really cool when you think about it, you know? I had this dream that I wanted to make come true, then I threw it out into the world to ask for help. I thought maybe a handful of people would see the magic behind my dream and help me, but I never thought that this many people would want to help make my dream come true. It's kind of cool, isn't it? I almost forgot. This is what I ran to get earlier. This is for you. Just as a little thank you for all that you've done for the museum so far. This is a soft bristle brush. It's similar to the one that I've been using to clean fossils and torn pages I found around the island. I think it'll be very useful for you based on what I've seen from you so far. I'm sure this brush will get a lot of mileage in your hands. Let me know if you find something exciting, okay? Cool. I can't wait to see what you'll bring to the museum. Damn. Acquired it. Unlocks the ability to recover fossils and torn pages. Cool. Oh, that's really, really neat. Also, greetings, Andrew. I'm happy to announce that Starlet Town has gained a D rank. Oh my god, we're up to a D now. We're getting closer to our previous rank, which can only mean good things. Due to the rank increase, we've begun gaining more visitors and old distributors. Now you can get unique crops from Sam, cheap from Jack, and... Oh, nice! More clothing and furniture from Waba Wabanama. <laughs> also, Joko can now build a stable and upgrade your coop and barn, so be sure to check that out. Thank you once again for all your efforts in helping this town. I can see our fellow neighbors regaining their passion for the town. Keep up the good work. Hello, Andrew. The laboratory pieces of equipment now can do more research, especially on crops, seeds, and the like. Do visit the laboratory if you have time to find out more. Oh, Raphael. Yo, with the town getting livelier and livelier, we finally upgraded our furnace. We can now process more advanced tools. Please come by and check it out. That's so cool. Oh my god, so much just happened in one day. Oh my god. The day's barely starting. Go and do this. Oh my god, the scythe tip is huge. Thank you again for telling me that. It really makes this a lot easier. Very good, very cool. Um, I don't know if this music is meant to keep playing. <laughs> that might be a bug. <laughs> I think it's the uh, museum music that's playing right now. Nice though. Don't mind it. I also like that that cutscene didn't take up any of our time or anything. We still, uh, you know, got plenty of uh, stuff that we can do today. Here. What are our crops? Go to the blacksmith. I do need to buy a couple more flower seeds and stuff. Or, uh, yeah, I should. I, I can still buy... I'll, you know what? I'll prioritize doing the upgrade for the tool first just to ensure that we have enough money. And then we'll buy a couple more sunflower seeds. I need to buy four sunflower seeds. Our corn is almost ready. That's exciting. That. What's up, Honorius? Welcome on in. This. No. Get more water. Oh, I'm so jealous. It has still been super hot over here. <laughs> but, uh, in a little bit, in a few more weeks, it should start getting chilly here again. 
I am looking forward to. Super over the heat. <laughs> Good. Okay, all of this is watered. All of this is watered. Oh, well, that's good. Um, can replenish this. I think I'm actually going to get rid of this after all. This doesn't take any energy. Let me go ahead and do it because eventually when I get rid of... Um, those trees down in the south. I'll be able to go there and I can get more goodies to put more pathing that way. Please go. It's a good thing that we got that upgrade and the higher town ranking because after we get more money, then we can upgrade our tool again, according to Raphael. And then maybe we can get rid of that hunk of junk there. Fortunately, <laughs> some of those things are blocking my fences. I tried my best to build around them, but you know, just kind of bound to get in the way eventually. Uh, also, other shops open today. They open at nine. They open at nine. Okay, perfect. Thank goodness. We'll go do that. Um, plant a couple things, and then we will go back to diving, because, obviously, a bunch of things down there to explore. I'll bring some of my things to recover energy. May as well deplete it now, because that drink to recover it gives me back, uh, 400. Pop down a few trees before I upgrade this. Fine. to get so much trash again good make more signs for this area down here fantastic good oh is it oh is my inventory full that's why no worries. Drop down this tree and then we'll go in the town. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Go this way. Put that away. Okay. That's all good. Oh, wait. Flowers, we're going to turn into honey. Uh, is that all full, though? I think that they're all producing honey right now, aren't they? I want to say. That they... Yeah, they're all full right now. Okay, so actually, I'm going to put these in here. Fine. Actually, they're technically, like, I'm going to put them actually in the same thing as my crops. That way... I keep the flowers that I forage separate from the ones that, like, I'm planning. Okay, that's good. Um, I need to ship the blueberries. The peppers I can sell. Anything else I need to bring into town? Oh, here. How many do I need to get here? So, one, two, th four sunflowers, and then there's one back here. And then two of these flowers. Okay. The four and then two. I can do that. Okay, let's go. And then we'll go back to our farm to get my Jammu. I forgot to get it. <laughs> then we'll go diving. Oh, birthdays are tomorrow? No, in two more days. Okay. So we're chilling. Good. Oh. Okay, so four of these. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, there's new things. Oh, that's right. 
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's so many new things. Holy. Wait a minute. There's coffee. Se Pineapples. Oh, shit. Hmm. Oh, man. Okay. I got to stay focused, though. Also, wait. I'm going to buy some grass starts also. Um, I just need 2,000. I can buy a few of these. 2,000 coins, then. Okay. 69. Cool. All right. Let's go upgrade our tool. I know. Pineapples. Wait, but how many? We're on... Okay, so it goes till the 28th. Okay, cool. Huh. Ooh, we found a catfish. Cool. Rush on over to the blacksmiths. What that music is? That happens whenever I go down here. I don't know what that was. Awesome. Okay, let's go here. Process these. We got a compass. Oh yeah, we can go check out the museum too. Upgrade tools. Okay, upgrade the axe. Fuck. <laughs> I forgot to bring the bronze and the wood. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Ah, I promise I'm good for it. I just, it's at my house. I forgot. Ugh. Okay. We had to come back anyway. It all works out. They're open for a while, so we're, we're good. We're good. All right, let's uh go here. That. Very good. All righty. And then with this. Oh my god, my cow. Poor cow. Come out over here. There you go. Here, let's uh put some grass over this way. Ooh, okay, actually that's great. It doesn't even it's not even that expensive actually. Great. There you go. There's grass for you, bud. Right, I'm gonna put some in the coop that doesn't exist right now. Coop will go over here, so put it like over here. Round area. Sweet. Awesome. Okay. Go and pet them. Pet. Pet. Did I pet them? Yes, I did. Did I? Okay, let me get my tail. Got bronze large milk. Very nice. Save that for now in case we need it for cooking recipes later. Okay, so I need to bring wood and I need to bring bronze bars. Okay, got wood and bronze bars. Also, M, oh my god, M, thank you so much for the four months. How are you doing, M? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi. Hello. Oh my gosh. Let me eat this. Okay. So let me here. I'm gonna do some things. We're gonna put away the pickaxe. We're gonna put away this and this. No, we're bringing this with us. Putting the watering can away. All right. Then here. Okay. Uh, all good. I'm good. I'm really excited because um, in this game, we just got access to be able to go more into the ocean, which I'm very stoked about. And we also have the ability to upgrade my axe because there's some annoying ass wood in the way that I want to get rid of. Which honestly reminds me of Disney Dreamlight Valley when there was those giant mushroom block things that were in my way that I couldn't get rid of for like the longest time. I'm like, finally, I'm dashing, moving everywhere. Here, uh, upgrade tools. Okay, my axe, please. Yes. Purchase. Yay! Okay, thank you, Pablo. Also, let me talk to you. Today's a busy day for me. I could use a cold drink right about now. 
I'm not exaggerating when I say that the beach cleanup festival is my favorite. I love seeing the islanders come together and achieve something. That is very nice. Is I'm getting rid of those? Yeah, I think it was uh, Merlin who I needed to talk to eventually. Get the stuff. Okay, now I do have some spare cash. So hold on, maybe, maybe. Over here. Oh, wait, I can buy things here now. I mean, it's probably way too expensive for me, but let me see. Purchase a seasoning set for 3000 Okay. I don't know. Any furniture out on display for a discount? There is. How much is this couch? 1800 Ugh. Jesus. Okay. Um, the... Oh, I want to continue. You know what? I might get the wood floor to be more consistent. I kind of want maybe the entire thing to have the same wallpaper and everything, maybe. Um. Yeah. Let's buy the wood floor. I don't think we can afford both of these, yeah. But having the wood floor be consistent will be helpful. And eventually I'll get the beach-themed wall again, I think. All right, buy that. And then that's really all I could buy here. That's okay. Oh, nice cap clone. Let me go to the museum. You can kind of walk around there really quickly. Just excited to get back to diving. <laughs> okay. Go in here. Oh yeah, it says a new, they had a new sign out there advertising the Founders Hall. Oh, wow. Dang. Oh, my God. Look at this. The scale of this place is so much more giant now. Damn. Oh, like, wait, there's a whole aquarium. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa. This is so cool. Wait a minute. The cutscene did not show all of this off. Holy shit. Oh no, this poor fish! <laughs> wow! Holy crap! Oh my, there's the shark that we donated! Hi, little shark! Not very little. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, is there something that's over here for real? Oh, oh, oh! I don't think I wanna. That might make me go off the map. <laughs> I might need to. I need to hold off on that. Let me not do that. Maybe there's something that's going to be there eventually. Damn. That's just the aquarium? And then this is like where the office space was. Wait. Holy shit. Look at all this stuff over here. This is so pretty. Oh my god. Damn. I didn't realize how much we've donated. I mean... To be fair, we have, you know, gone out of our way to donate every first thing that we've caught. But this is cool. I was gonna... That's good, because, like, in the initial museum, I, like, felt like I couldn't really see the things I was donating. You know? I felt like... I could kind of see them in the little small aquarium, but over here, it's much more noticeable. Wow, there's so many artifacts and whatnot in this game, actually. Looks like we've only found a fraction of them. Oh, and these are all the gems that we found in the mines. There's the diamonds and all the, um, the topaz. Oh, you can inspect them too, and it tells you a little blurb about it. That's so cool. Curios, thank you so much for the follow. And then this is the entrance here where the main donations are. And then this is a zone that's not open yet. Oh, wait, can we... I'm scared that I'm going to, like, fall off the map. Oh, you, oh, you just can't walk there. Okay. Eventually, I think the backers will probably be there then from Kickstarter that maybe uh, hit a certain uh, donation mark. But yeah, look, there's the, the signage. That's so cool. That is really, really neat. Wow. Glad that we checked that out. I mean, the cutscene, it did show off so much, but I... I thought that was like they they showed off the entire upgrade already, so yeah, that was a very very big surprise. 
that there. This back. Let me use this inside so that I can put the wood floor here so it's more consistent. Oh, oh, you got to get a couple of these. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> I did not know. Wait, oh, well, that's actually good to know. We could have, like, a different tile or something for the kitchen. But I, for the living room and all that, you literally just found that out, too? Okay, I'm like, uh, oops. <laughs> okay, good to know, good to know. No worries. Let me go here. I need to get my jamu and my... Uh, candies. There we go. And then you were like, yeah, because for how expensive it is, I really thought it was going to do the whole thing. But that's fine. Listen, we don't have to worry about the house upgrade anymore. Our tools are going to be upgraded soon. We're really getting to that point soon. I'm getting so excited to where we're going to have extra income to spend on decorating stuff. I'm so pumped. Here we go again. You know what? Actually, settings, the music under here is really nice. I like it. But, let me go ahead and listen to the Breath of the Wild music down here. I feel like the Breath of the Wild music really suits down here, too. So, why not? Kind of sh change it up a little bit. Because there's only one song, I think, that plays down here for the most part. Which is a good one. But, we'll uh, do this for now. Very good. The silver kelp over here. Oh, by the way, M or Aqua, was anyone playing DVD tonight? I wasn't sure if anyone was on. Like, I don't know if like Jess is playing or anyone. But if um if so, if, like if there's a group going on tonight, I'd be more than happy to play a little bit later today tonight. Uh, but I wasn't sure if that was happening or not because I know. Some people were doing D&D and other thingies tonight, I think. Or maybe that was yesterday. Okay, cool. Yeah, just let me know if you don't mind, Aqua. If anyone, like, gets on. If there's, like, a group of people. Gotcha. You could play. Okay. <laughs> I'm, uh... What time is it right now? It's gonna be 8 for me. Um, Yeah, I think I'll, like, play for another hour or so. And then, like, if there's... If you guys want to group up. Because I still need to do Halloween stuff there. Delivery sushi's almost here. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I'll have to take a little food break myself. And then... I might even do some Overwatch later tonight. I played this game for nine hours yesterday. And I played so far for about... Six, well, it'll be seven hours at least. Might be more. That way, I'm scared because I know like once I get to the end of the year, um, I probably won't have as much to do. And I'll have to wait for... You know, content patch to come out or something. This. Yeah, okay, cool. Awesome. Got another altar here. Sweet. Let's keep cleaning this up. Good. Sweet. Very nice. Ah, here's the other one. Hell yeah. Alright, we found all three in this zone. Very good. Get rid of this here. Awesome. Look at how nice and clean this all is now. So satisfying. Okay, well, don't look at these bits. Hold on, this is gonna get clean in a moment. Just wait for this thing to reach its destination. <laughs> and it'll be good. Oh. Oh, we're good, we're good. Oh, no. Am I stuck? Oh God. Oh God. Oh no. Oh, oh God. Oh God. <laughs> I wasn't trying to get in the way. Oh no. Wait, maybe I can get out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good. <laughs> I was like, not again. I did get stuck once early, uh, the other day in Mark's uh, house and I was so upset. <laughs> I had to use the I'm stuck button. Oh my god, you can go down this way too? Holy shit. Wait, wow, there's so many paths. There's another path upstairs too. Oh my god. This is amazing. Look at all this. Oh my goodness. There's a trip. 
So much to do here. So much trash. We love it. I can clean it all up and turn it into signs and fertilizer. Goodness. We got plenty of candy to restore energy too, so. Oh yeah, I also have to keep a lookout, so I need to get... It's, uh, we got the sea salt. I can get rid of that. We got the purple urchin. I need a blue mussel, eastern oyster, and a calico scallop. Yeah, the, um, this game is really, really stunning. I like it a lot. I think the visual style looks really great. Oh, there's a calico scallop. Perfect. That's exactly what I need to donate to the shrine. Nice. Hell yeah. Great. Oh my god, hello? Gooseneck Bart? Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. I don't think I can interact with this. Is it trash? Is it just... What's... Huh. Maybe that's part of a quest line or something later on. Interesting. Also, what was that that I just picked up a moment ago? A forageable ocean item. Oh. It must have a placeholder icon for right now. I think that's why I got a little confused there. Oh, that's going to be like the turtle, but it hasn't been implemented yet. Okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. Just a placeholder. Candies. Real quick. Also, hold on, real quick, I'm going to actually just get up and stretch real quick because my back is kind of killing me. So one moment. That was very much needed. <laughs> much better, much better. Uh, oh yeah, may as well actually consume that. That's fine. Why not? There we go. Hmm. Grab these. Help. Got some double kelp going on. barrier over here. It's kind of wild, actually, how much uh, stuff there is down here. Oh, oh it's going so fast. I actually did, didn't even see where the altar was, so. Oh, it was over here. I, I swam right by them and didn't even realize. I was so distracted with this. <laughs> it worked out, though. We still found it in the end. Oh yeah, we needed to clean out all that trash anyway. Very good. Good. Oh, nice. I'm not going to go there just yet because just like the other area that we went to, there's still another three shrines that are here. So may as well work on one area at a time before I move on to the next one. Otherwise, I'll get super overwhelmed. Ooh, a shimmering coffer. That's new. Oh, yeah. Ooh, nice. Got another one. Hell yeah.
Where are you going to? Taking the most unusual path. Oh, okay, I must be going towards the center here. I see. Gotcha. Oh, still blocked. My bad. I'm coming, I'm coming. I got you, I got you. There you are. Very good, very good. Eat. Thanks. Got another new area, too. Damn. Oh, low stamina. Okay, we'll eat some more candy in a moment. Very important. <laughs> Our most uh, trusty source of energy. A candied tree seed. Still one more orb around here. Oh my god, there's so much trash over here. Holy crap. Good. I'm like amazed at how just the scale of this game to be honest already <laughs> and the fact that it's going to get even larger in the future is kind of a trip to me i'm very interested to see what the uh merful kingdom is going to look like i know we won't know for a while but that whole aspect of this game seems really cool i'm into it oh there it is Eat. Well, since I need trash for all my fertilizer needs and whatnot, I will go ahead and still focus on clearing out this zone. And then on another day, we can come back and explore those other little zones that we've uh, unlocked. And there's also that bit at the top where there was more trash that I needed to get to as well. Get another thing of candy. Getting late. Oh, we will leave soon. Okay. No worries. Let's just do this at least. Then we'll bounce out of here, I promise. <laughs> Kibble's like, it's getting late. You gotta go. <laughs> Kibble, give me give me a moment. It's okay. It'll be fine. Stop yelling at me, Kibble. <laughs> Kibble, please. It's okay. It'll be fine. Okay, let's bring the anchor over here. We're doing fine, Kibble. We're doing fine. Don't worry about it. Kibble tucks you into bed, literally. <laughs> Kibble, it's okay. It's okay. You're worrying for no reason. Oh, no. It's a We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Don't even worry about it. Everything's okay. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, we'll leave. We'll leave. Sorry, Kibble, for freaking you out. All right, but I got... Before I leave, though, let me wait until this finishes. Was there something over here that... Got... No, okay. So the new accessible area was towards the right. Okay. We'll bounce out, Kibble. That way you don't freak out at me anymore. There you go. <sighs> Pizza. I can't wait. I've got some myself. I'll heat some up in a bit. Alright, I'm gonna put the stone here, the scrap, the glass. Uh, I guess I'm gonna keep this, even though it's a placeholder item. That. I'm gonna... Keep one of these. Then I need to donate that to the shrine. Let me go do that before I forget. 
I actually don't remember what the reward is. So after we finish the ocean one, we will get a bro oh, bronze kelp essence. I think at, after that point, <laughs> I feel like silver should really be what we get now. What? <laughs> um, but it'll still be... Oh, well, the essence? So, like, it'll already be processed? Okay, wait. Actually, that's maybe more worth it than I realized. Never mind. Eastern oyster and a blue mussel is still what I need, but we've uh, put three out of five in there. And then we'll just need to do fall and winter to get the greenhouse. Cool. Back here. Then sell this. That. Oh yeah, Essence is the process one. Ooh, we can take that to the laboratory tomorrow. And we can actually uh, upgrade fruit trees or the um, A. So that'll be good. Put this here. Well, oh, I forgot to deposit this over here. We definitely have enough to make a few sprinklers, actually. So now that y'all... You've all convinced me. I was talking smack about the sprinklers earlier today, but I now I've seen the light. I've seen the light. Okay, let me grab my tools. I'll need my pickaxe. Oh, watering can. Go. Um. Okay. I think we're good to go to bed. We watered and planted. Everything's filled up right now and watered. Cool. All right, let's go to bed. And then our weapon will be ready tomorrow. I really need to buy more of that floor. Dear God, that's gonna... <laughs> Ooh, we can make a wooden arch now and we can make wooden chests now too. Cool. All right, nice. 208. Yeah, we've been making some really good progress. Actually, real quick, let me go here. And then let me do this. I'm going to put this over this way, I think. Or, yeah, we'll welcome that almost. Oh, I can't center it at the door. Never mind. Put that over here. Um,. What did you do to level wooden chest? Uh, I think it was forging, was it? Was that right? Hold on. Um, I'm not too sure. It's also the same as the stone chest. It holds up to 40 objects. And then I have a wooden arch. Really? I think... I, I can't remember. I'm sorry. I think that's what it was. It had just happened. I don't know if anyone was paying attention. I'm sorry. Wait, that's really pretty, actually. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, that's cute. It was from foraging. Okay. Yeah, foraging. <laughs> Wait, that's so pretty. I want another one. <laughs> and another one. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, well, that'll do. It won't be exactly centered, which is annoying. Um, maybe I won't put that one there then. Can find use for it elsewhere. Oh, towards the bottom here, actually. Yeah, I'll, I'll need to have one at the bottom over here. So that works out. Okay, cool. That works out. Okay. Um, I got more honey. Ooh. This was... Oh, the star fruit. That's what that was. Okay. We got a thing of star fruit. I definitely want to... Turn this into... Oh, it's still processing here. Hmm. Hello, bro, Dane. Welcome on in. We got more sunflowers. Nice. We can turn that into more honey later on. More of this. Oh, we got corn for the first time, too. 
Sweet. Okay, so. Corn. These are bell peppers. Very nice. Zip, zip, have a good night. Got blueberries. That's all good. Oh, more of this here. Maybe I'll just sell the start fruit directly. I just, I kind of need money now. It's fine. I only have those kegs. Of, I mean, I, yeah, it's fine. It's making my beer. I didn't realize the beer was just going to take so long, <laughs> to be honest. The juices are really quick. Okay, I need to go over here. I got mail. Okay, let me sell that. What do I got here? Uh, residents of Starlet Town, stop by Socket and Pan and take a look at our kitchen appliances. Each will help you cook different dishes, hone your cooking skill, and expand your culinary horizon. Yeah, you can use your scythe to harvest multiple crops at the same time. It's very useful. It's all full, right? Oh, now it is. Okay. Go. Got more honey, too. Now that. I say crops. Oops. Uh, I guess I should probably hold on to a couple of these, huh? No, it's... Uh, yeah, sure. One of each for now. Okay. Fine. The flowers for sure, because I'm going to turn those into honey. Okay, that's good. Let's get to watering. Uh, the shop opens in a little bit. I'm going to need to go buy a couple more seeds. Sometimes can't tell if things are watered or not due to the shadows, so I may be double watering a couple things. But fine. I forget what these were. And then the blacksmith will be open at 9, so we can get our new tool and see if we can kind of uh, finally tidy up these little pieces here. I hope. Time will tell. We might have enough money to also... Um, what's it called? Might have enough money to get more of the floor tile, maybe? Or No. We don't have that much to sell because I'm holding a couple of the crops, actually. Uh... No, we don't... Sorry, I'm, gonna, I'm changing my mind on that. Because I'm going to get more of this anyway. They're going to come more. Um, And, like, the honey takes a while. I'm only going to process the silver flowers. How about that? Because it takes a while for that to go up anyway. I'm a little strapped for cash again. To plant flowers with the... So it works a little bit different in, than Stardew. Or actually, I don't know. Do you get a bonus from doing that as well, like in Stardew? Because I know to make the honey, you have to deposit the flowers into it. Or is there like a bonus if it's next to it or something? I wasn't sure. Uh, as for starfruit, um, sunflower seeds. I think, you know what? I'm good on sunflower seeds. We'll wait for these to phase out. We'll wait for these flowers to phase out too. We got plenty. Fine. Good. Can go get more water. That. You put the yeah. That, okay, cool. That's what I've been doing to make honey. Very good, very good. Because yeah, the way that it works in Stardew Valley is uh, you put the flowers around them, and then that's like how you influence what kind of like the value of the honey. I think. Oh my God, Taco Bell sounds. Really good right now, actually. Okay, that's all good. And yeah, star fruit takes so long, so I'm gonna just I'll just harvest that and we'll be good. Okay. 
Um, let's go into town. Let's go into town. Grab some goodies. And then we'll head back. And then we're going to chop down some more trees and stuff. Which will be good. Birthdays are tomorrow, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So let's go sell some goodies. Go. Sell that. That. That, 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 that. And we're selling these two. Okay, nice. Let me... Oh, you know what? I forgot to turn the music back on. My bad. Let me put this back. So, I need to fix the flooring because the flooring is going to drive me insane. <laughs> I only need to get, uh, well, here, is there a tile? Let me see. Go here. My indoor furniture. We've got wood floor. Uh, oh, there's this like art deco flooring, but a tatami mat flooring. The catalog patterns, I guess. Ah, uh, only what's available. Osan flooring. Hmm. I'm wondering if that would look good. Let me. If it looks horrible, it's okay. That's 840. Okay. Go back. Do beach style. Uh oh man, those are pricey. Okay. Um the classic chair. Oh right, and then the wallpaper. Okay. Oh, I can't afford that. That's okay. So let's purchase these two. At least. Get out of here. No, you're going to buy a horse, but Jack is too busy doing yoga? Please. Jack, think of the horse. Think of Raiden, please. Ooh, candy. Sweet. All right, give me my upgraded tool, please. Yay. Okay. Hallelujah. I also got a flying dragon teapot. That's cool. I just love summer. Everyone is out and about, and we all have a lot of fun. I also feel like summer clothes suits me better. What do you think? We'll find out soon, hopefully. <laughs> Sometimes being a blacksmith sucks. Oh, no. Okay, let's go over here. We'll head over to... Pablo, I need to see you in your summer jockstrap that I can answer. <laughs> Donate that artifact in here before I forget. Go. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, I really hope this flooring isn't garbage. Oh god, I'm nervous about the flooring. I can't really tell from that preview picture what it is. But we'll see. <laughs> it kind of sucks that it's like a one-time use thing. I wish I could kind of like preview it beforehand. But... Can at least fix that little gap towards the left here with this here. What? It used it. And it. My money. My money. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that looks cute. Okay, that looks cute. I am so sad that that didn't work. We started the day without saying, what did I do? I just sold stuff, right? Did I just sell stuff? I think I just sold stuff and I got my thing back and I watered things. Do I, do, is it where you're positioned? Is that what happened? Because I think I walked over here and then I did it. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's where your character's standing on. Does anyone know? Hmm. I wish... Let me, yeah, let me, I don't think I did that much today. It only placed one wall. Oh, you've only played, let me, yeah, just for the sake of 
testing this out. Let me let me do that. Uh, it'll be a good way to test and just kind of know for sure. Let me. Oh, try an axe. Can you try using an axe? Uh, let me see. 